Ah, welcome to um, the biggest money match in eight ball history in uh, in WA. We're at uh, Sonny Lister versus Matthew Bolton for twenty five thousand um, dollars. A lot of interest today. A lot of people watching from around Australia. So welcome everybody. Just going to wait for my. Uh, this is Ron Kelly here, by the way. I'm wait, waiting for Alan Brown to come join me in the commentary. A lot of mixed opinions about today. And uh, let's see how it unfolds. <laughs> Sunny looking pretty relaxed as usual. Okay, hello everybody. Yes, I was on mute there for a moment. Very excited, Ron. Very excited about this. It's, this has been buzzing around WA for for months now. So it's been a good build-up to this one. Much anticipated. And uh, can I get a prediction first of all from? from uh, well, I've uh, I've put it out there that it's going to be 18-13 to Mr. Lister. Um, I'm not going to change from that, Ron. Any particular reason for that? Well, oh, I think tactics. Um, I, I, you know, I'm just sort of thinking to myself that Matthew has the uh, massive potential to go and run out seven, eight, nine, ten times, whatever. But I think that's still quite away from the finish line. And um, sure. uh, that's that's what I'm running with. These are two brilliant players. So uh, you, you two really contrasting styles. Oh, major, ma you know, almost conflicting styles. To be honest, I, I. Yeah, it's going to be ha it's going to be hard to pick the winner. Whoever 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 gets a free run on their style of play is going to take it out. That's that's what I believe. But this is fantastic for WA Pool. Absolutely. I found it very difficult to pick a winner in this one, and I've kind of tried to keep my mouth shut. But uh, I was asked to make a prediction, mm. and if I had to uh, go one way or another, it would be uh, probably Matt, eighteen fourteen. So. Okay, well, that's so you're okay. with Sonny and, and I'm with Matt. Yes, okay. Purely because of the, probably his match fitness. He's pretty match fit. He's, he's had some big tournaments during the year, even though it's eight ball. I think yeah. um, you know he'll handle the occasion pretty good. Not that Sonny won't, but uh, I just think the preparation that he's had um, mm. under the match conditions that might just benefit him a bit. Mm, yeah, possibly. Well, I mean, he's he's had the biggest 2014 you can ever imagine from anybody. So. Um, oh, it's just that oh, I don't know how many people are here right now. What would you say, around 100 people? Probably 100. I think there's there's even more expected later. Yeah. Um, and plenty would be watching online. Um, yeah. Uh, well, Sonny's. Um, I, I'm sure Matt would be used to this, but I, I know Sonny plays in front of two, three, four hundred people at mining camps when he's doing his exhibitions and whatnot. So I. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, Sonny, I think Sonny certainly won't be faced, and I uh, don't think Matt will. And actually, a beautiful little shot there by Matt. And uh, first opportunity for Matt. Mm. They've got plenty of time to settle in anyway. Yes. Well, they're going to take a five-minute break after every six frames. Okay. Yeah, and that should give them both well, both time to evaluate what's going on in their last session. I think they're going to take a 20 minute break a little bit later on. But yeah. For the brain it's pretty hard out there when, you, mm. when you're concentrating so hard you do need a bit of a break. Yes. But, um, 
if you, you can run this one down the rail, he's looking pretty good in that for the first frame. Yes. Looking Q queuing the ball nicely. Yes, he is. Well, he's, uh, he's certainly, he's certainly um, had a fantastic 2014. He's got to be coming into this with all the confidence in the world. Uh, and why wouldn't you? He, he looks confident too, and he sounds pretty confident uh, you know, talking before the match. Not overconfident, but confident. And, uh, you know, he knows how to play pool too. He touched me up about three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I, I, I did watch some of that as I was getting touched up on the other table uh, <laughs> by Nathan McMahon. <laughs> actually, actually, Matt hasn't lost a money match this year, I think. He's played um, he's played Nathan McMahon, Dax Wasley, uh, Rocky, and he's stitched them all up, and me. So yes, that's right, that's right. He's no stranger to the pool. Um, and, and, and all you, the three you guys are all freestyle players. You, you'd agree with that, Ron? And, and, you know, you've been out the game for a couple of years. Um, this is definitely totally different kettle of fish for, for Matt it today. Is. And, um, but, you know, he's more than capable of just blowing anybody out of the water. And uh, if he does that, well, there's not much, any tactics from Sonny he can do, you know? I mean, but if situations like this, if he, if he wasn't to go out, and uh, there's no reason why Matt shouldn't, but if he wasn't to go out, well, um, yeah, well. you, you'd be very lucky to see anything again. They're both going to have to take their chances, but um, you're right, today is a little bit different. A lot more on the line. And uh, maybe a bit of a fine cut here, but. Uh, yes, more than capable of doing that. Probably holding off that red towards the middle if he was to do that. You know, tell him, Cameron, maybe a little bit of check into the red, as you say. Okay, chance for Lister. Might see a couple of those early brownie. Yes. Until oh, they, until they get absolutely. their touch and. Uh, absolutely. Oh, these are two fantastic players. The other thing is, as well, Ron, is that, you know, um, actually playing for this amount of money live stream, it's not something these guys do day in, day out. No. You know, I, I, I've got to tell you, I wouldn't really want to be out there right now. <laughs> so, oh, I just give these guys so much credit for being out there, both of them. They're two great players, full stop. And, and, and like and you said... And anyone who's played on camera for, you know, for money and, and the big crowd watching, they'll appreciate how tough it is. Mm. And it, it's very easy for people watching at home to, you know, sort of... Be pick critical. matches to be yes. critical, <laughs> but uh, it, it is tough out there. Yeah. And, uh, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. You just have to no. ride the wave, you do. persevere. Yeah, it's and a race uh, to 18. There's right. plenty of time to get into it. And in this first session, I think if it's 4-2 either way, everybody's comfortably in this match. Yeah, I think it'll be close a lot of the way. Yeah. I think it's what everyone wants to see as well. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic chance for Ronnie. I mean, it looks like the red near the middle's off the rail. Hard to tell from here. Can he get down there is a question. That's a very good shot. Looks like very he's on good it. shot. Looks like he's on it. can be tricky to tell on the camera, though. Yes, it can. But it look, he, he looks confident out there. He's just dropping this in. The white's running over. Yes. Very good shot. First part to Sonny, and you can tell he's got a bit of support here, Brian. Yes, he does have support. <laughs> hey! Yes, yes, it was very good. And uh, a little bit unlucky by Matt there. Oh. <laughs> Just the ball probably ran one inch too much there for him to uh, have a real good crack and feel comfortable about that ball, his last yellow. Yeah, you'll find his touch. You'll find his touch. Probably take a few games for both of them to settle in, but uh, that was a nice finish there by Lister. Yes, very, very good. And that'll make him feel comfortable too. Well, he's got the shirt on. <coughs> probably, probably pretending he's playing in a national, uh, mm. and he's done that plenty of times, yeah. as you say. 
loves playing in front of a crowd. He does love playing in front of a crowd. He's a bit of a showman, Mr. Lister. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, this is right up his alley, this one. Actually played him Thursday night. Did I tell you that, Ron? Uh, no, where, you uh, didn't oh, actually. Oh, Wednesday night, should I say, yeah. And how, you know, how did that go? Well, not too good for me. Not too good? Um, that's okay. <laughs> um, good for him, then. It was very, very good for Sonny. Confidence and, builder. Uh, he looked a little bit more focused than I was. 18-3, uh, actually, I'll put it out there. Never mind. <laughs> You're kidding me. You didn't play 21 frames. We you? played, yeah, well, it was supposed to be race to, eight, race to 18, but we didn't think we'd probably finish it. But because that was the... Uh, I only got three frames. Brownie, you're a nice guy. I reckon you could have at least won seven or eight if you were really trying. And yeah. You got his confidence right up. Well, I do. I've uh, got a couple of dollars on him too. So. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some vested, vested interest around the country at the moment. Quite a few people over east watching this. Okay. Hello to everyone over east. Um, and there's actually there's some people in Mandurah that, that couldn't make it today because there's a fundraiser there, Brownie. Oh, just, there uh, is a fundraiser for, for the... Worth mentioning, for the Mandurah members who yes. are going away for the Nationals in Darwin. Um, yes, there's a fundraiser down there all day and there's a, a knockout at 7 o'clock at Miss Q's. So uh, anybody that uh, is down that way that can't make it, they're actually streaming this match down at Miss Q's. So. Oh, fantastic. So get in there, support the state team and, um, and you can still watch this match. Yeah, I, I I seen out there on Facebook as well. They've got a um, they've got a wind up presentation night in Karatha, and they've got a big screen there. That's going to be beautiful. Putting this match out there, so that's no, oh, it's fantastic. Been uh, so much sort of uh, uh, so many people just looking forward to this match today. It's it's been fantastic. I I, I believe we'll probably get 200 people in here by the end of the day, and it's going to get rowdy. I think you're right. And Matt's got an opportunity to um, level it all at one all. If you can just uh, one awkward yellow here at the top of the table, where you can drop on that, he's looking pretty good. So I'll probably use this, this yellow down the bottom left, Brownie, maybe to, to run up the table and try and get rid of that, that top yellow. This is the only difficult one at the moment. Yes, it is. Probably just get through the gap of those reds and yellows now. It'd be lights. If it can. Okay. Yeah. All right. I could be looking to try and just clear the bottom end of the table. Uh, black goes in both pockets, so if you can just get. Looks like he's now he's going to use the other yellow. So he might just be dropping this one in and using the, the yellow in the middle to get on that last one. It looks like he's got a perfect angle. Oh, he is. Absolutely perfect. That's a great shot. And that's clearly his strength here today. And his pop position is... Yeah, uh, his pop position is just absolutely... Oh, millimetres. You'll be happy with that one. Black goes bottom right. Right hand side just yes. to hold that off a cushion. Mm, okay. There we go. There'll be a few claps here too. Let's hear the noise. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Matthew. Yes, very even support either side at the moment, Ron. Well, that's a good start, one each. Well done, boys. From a neutral point of view, going to the wire would be absolutely fantastic. I'm sure these guys don't want that. <laughs> no. Well, it's much easier watching than it would be for them if it was 17 all. Yeah. Well, there wasn't a hint of, uh, of anything going wrong there. You look solid. Matt and that pot out. Oh, very much so. And, and you know, Sonny is the same. He looks uh, very, very comfortable. I thought when Sonny walks in the room, I'll pretty much be able to tell how that guy's going to go today. And, uh, and he looked fantastic. He always looks pretty relaxed. Though. He does look pretty relaxed. He's a pretty, pretty cool relaxed. customer. There's certain times there when, um, 
when you think to yourself, oh, you know. But, um, and Matthew, Matthew never particularly changes, does he? He's just, uh, he's always ready. At any, at, a, at any code of the game, too. That's right. Which is, that's um, which is just absolutely brilliant to just do what he's done in snooker this year and then just sneak into these little pool comps and, um, <laughs> and play with the small white like he's done it forever. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I just think that the, all those big matches that he's been playing for the last 18 months, he's been yeah. under plenty of pressure. Yes. He's, uh, he's withstood that pressure mm. and um, he's just going from strength to strength. I mean, he's already a brilliant player, but he's... He's probably just getting more well-rounded players, especially in snooker. He, you know, he's really hit his straps in snooker. As he said, I think I watched an interview the other day. He'd never really put his foot down with snooker, but now he's really getting into it, yes, and he's he getting is. some really yes. good results. Massive he's always player. been a champion billiard player. Um, yeah. Twelve just, times Australian billiard champion. That just sort of, you know, takes some stopping, doesn't does, it? Yeah. But you're right, he has spoke about sort of getting into snooker about 18 months ago, getting into snooker really full on and giving it a good crack and look what he's done and what's since. happened. Yes, it's, you know. I suppose one day you might say I'm going to get into pool full, full time and give that a good crack too and who knows what will happen there. Absolutely. Well, no limits as to what he can do. He's, he's uh, a world-class no. curist. He's come up dry on that one, so... Ooh, uh, he has. Let's see what Sonny can do here. Looks like even the starting ball is probably the reds, but the yellows. Oh, yellows are fantastic. Bit he can get a yellow. He'll be taking that one closest to him now because that's his only... I mean, it might be one of his most difficult balls, but um, if he, it, I don't think he's on anything else. Oh, he's got the one in the middle. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't Seven like it. I think he, he is looking like at yellows. It. Yeah. 30 seconds. It does go top right, that, that yellow it next does. to the white. So it's it okay. does. He might be giving it a nudge. Even though it does go. Um, Possibly, if he can just drop the yellow in. The yes, middle. and then he's on the middle and... And then nothing can go wrong. No, that's right. There's no guarantee if he does give it a nudge that he's going to be sitting on a yellow. That's right. But uh, he might not have the angle to do anything different. That's a great shot. But, uh, That's a great shot. So he's kind of funny. He's, he's just waiting for that shot where he's in the perfect position, but the first couple have been a bit tricky, so he's, he's not exactly where he wants to be. But after this next shot, he can just drop on it perfectly in this next uh, yellow. That's uh, ABC from that. It's probably just going to run through for the middle pocket. Middle, yes. Okay, now he's in a good position. He's got a nice yellow to drop onto the la on, onto the black, so the one on the left hand side. So it looks like he'll be going top right after this one. And the yellow at the top of the table, so it's all there for him to go 2 1 up. And this is, this is the part of the game that we're talking about tonight, today that will be the difference. Sonny the tactician and Matt the pot machine. Matt has to come along to a little bit of tactics to win this match and Sonny's got to be taking these. Oh, I, Sonny, think, you, you know, I think you're definitely going to see some aggression from him. Yeah. Um, uh, there's been a lot of talk about how Sonny's going to tie Matt up mm -hmm. and frustrate him and all this type yeah. of thing. But, uh, yeah. you know, Sonny can pot. Sonny, oh, Sonny's absolutely. <laughs> He's, he's, he does it all the time when he goes away and he shows and everything. He, he, he pots like a demon. And don't be surprised if you see him sort of attack a little bit more today. He's not going to rely on his tactics to beat Matt. We're trying to give him a t probably a taste of his own medicine. But, um... And you'd really sort of... They're probably both, you know, just um, playing with the thought of catching each other out too, you know. Matt having a little bit more about him on the tactic side and, and, and Sonny showing what he can do with the, you know, the clearances. But you're dead right. It, it all comes down to who's going to take their chances. Yes. And um, Sonny's run out of position here. So... That, that you know. doesn't go across to the... 
to the right button. No, it doesn't. Yeah, well done. That's a great hit, Sammy Lister. Okay. A bit of a nervy black when you've got the white on the rail. Yes, and the black absolutely. <laughs> Uh, He'll be a happy man when he sees this yeah, going towards well, the Yeah, well, this make a big difference. Okay. All right, let's see what Matt can do here. And they're the ones, aren't they? I mean, they you know, are, whoever, they are. Whoever can take the chances uh, when the game's there to be won, will win the match. But early days, as we say. He'll hit, his, he'll hit his straps eventually. Doesn't take much though, Brownie. One loose shot. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we sort of run our position. He played a fantastic shot. To, you know, and, and he's landed sort of on the rail there pretty much for the black. It's yeah, it's very difficult. You know, he's half an inch off and it, makes it, a lot it easier. just makes such a difference. But a uh, great opportunity for Matt now to take control. Probably be, be thinking about trying to get two, maybe, but the, I mean, the black's in a pretty, yeah, it's in a pretty uh, tricky situation. If he doesn't lay a really good snooker, then uh, he's only going to just pot it, but it's also difficult to pot out from here. So, is he, is he going to try and go, or is he going to go up to those two reds? Yes, okay. So, you can see what type of mood he's in. Yes, he's uh, he's looking like um, I'm at the table. But if he's going to lay, if he's going to try, try and lay a snooker, um, possibly down this end of the table would be the better, better option because the black's on the other side of the, of the pocket. Yeah. Difficult to pot and the possibility of going it off. Yeah. But yeah. now it looks like he's going to play the, the top. It's actually a good snooker because he can't get across the table now. Sonny won't be able to get across the table. It's a good one. So, the right yeah. shot. Yes, that's a, that's a very good shot. I don't see any angles from there, do you? Not really. Might be looking just to make him waste a shot. Okay. Oh, he's going to do a showman shot. Oh, okay. Sonny Lister. One all race to eight. Mining Why camp not? at the moment. Oh, great hit. Unlucky. That was a great try, should I say. Probably thinking, you know, one all. It's a race to eighteen. Yes, absolutely. A, and look, at the end of the day, he, he had snap. no options. <laughs> <laughs> the options were totally limited there to something like that, you know. But, uh, he wasn't totally off the mark there. Great chance for Matt. So looking to develop this red, and then uh, he'll be happy if he gets two on the run on the rail. Mm. I don't even know. He's just going to sit behind that red and take it up. Same pocket, I would say. I saw him lining it up. I think he was... Okay. As long as that goes right, it's yeah. okay. I wasn't sure if there was any need for that, but that's okay. He's got two shots. He's, he's looking great. No, he didn't want to kill the black, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he's trying to take that one clean. He's going to take two on the dead red, but um, it's changed a little bit now. I think this will be a 
Going for the double, trying to promote the black. He's still got two, hey? Yeah, well, if he goes in, he's, he's uh, that's fine. Oh, the triple. I didn't see the triple, did you? No, I didn't see the triple, but Matt <laughs> looked very, very confident about the whole deal there. There was, uh, that's what he was going for by the looks of it. <laughs> Good shot. would go down the bottom mate I wouldn't flinch on the whole deal you don't want to be overrunning it no no I'd be uh, I'd be taking it down the bottom part this okay. is Matt Bolton yes okay just, uh, well, I'll knock that in the middle that's fine that he could do that but things could happen that's all that's the reason I wouldn't but this is fantastic for money and this is this is the good thing about sort of watching watching yeah. Matt is he, he does different things to, he does to pool players um and uh, you know some pool, some pool players would still play that shot, but most of them probably wouldn't. No. Uh, but it's good to see contrasting styles and and um, you know Sonny Sonny would have would have run that down to the corner definitely. Oh, without a doubt, you know. Uh, there, there's no but, question there, but uh, but. Yeah, oh, well done, Matt. Look, yes, he got himself he, out of he, position, he, and he, and he, Matt, he knows what, Matt knows what he's doing, I and mean, it might be slightly different to somebody else, and. Um, if it's different to me, that's probably not a bad thing right now, Ron. <laughs> oh, I think it's good to watch. You know? it's you. Oh, Brownie. Yeah. No, no that's... Um, it's t I, I would expect it for a while to be a little bit like this, Ron, frame for frame. Um, you know, who, whoever had, gets that mo little momentum. Yeah, you know, we've had uh, a few predictions. I think uh, Jimmy Searcy said 5-1 to Matt. Sonny will peg him back. It'll be 10 all, yeah. and then Sonny will race away with the match, about yeah. 11, uh, 18, 18, 12, or 18, 13. Yes. yes, we've had quite a few similar. Many different permutations, I oh, think. It's but, a, and, and you know what, I understand every one of them, yeah, absolutely, because yeah. it is just so hard to predict. Um, it's gone from, you know, 18-7 to Matt to, uh, you know, 18-11 for Sonny or something crazy, and uh, it's got that's to go, totally fair enough. That's a fantastic break. Oh, and they're all there. His eyes just lit up. Yeah. This, is, uh, Ooh, this could be... Uh, looking at these pretty tasty yellows. Mm -hmm. If you can uh, just negotiate the, the couple of that are down the bottom right. Um, you know, no reason why you can't go out here. Well, absolutely none. And this is where it comes back to what we were saying. You know, they're there. You want to be taking them. There, take a chance. And yeah. They both look highly confident at doing that, so you know, that's it's great. I'm not exactly sure how he's going to go about this, um, but key shot here. If he's, if he's going to drop in the, uh, he, he might choose to play the one in the black now because he could play the one up the top, but then he's got to get back in a good position for the one down the bottom. But he might be leaving that one up the top for the black, but he's not. So, key shot here. Just, just make, su make sure you get position on the next yellow. I'm not sure. That's beautiful. Oh, yes. That's a great shot. And I think he's looking at the plant, but he wants the right angle with the white ball. He doesn't want to be dead straight. I think that... Uh, That's pretty good. Yes, that's a that's a good shot. White ball coming up the table. They might not be playing a play. No, no. Same pocket with the with the second yellow here. It keeps on tricking. Yeah. Great hit. Can. Oh, well done. Yeah. Very well done, confidently Sonny played. Yeah. 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 
the that, was a pretty, that was a pretty cool kind of pot out, that one. Yes, it was. It was very confident. That, I mean, I don't know what it... It's hard from the when you're looking at the screen on where that last yellow was, but he played it so confidently. I did. Yeah. Uh, I'm, he, I'm, he I'm thinking of a, Yeah, I'm thinking of Sonny Lister in or over there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was so confidently played. Um, they're both looking good. This is this oh, yeah, is, is going to be a good match. No, I think anything, any, I think even half a chance. I think you know Sonny will be a little bit more aggressive today than, than usual. Yeah. Everyone's expecting him not to be. And I think he's going he's gonna to try and show a bit more aggression. Yes. And as it goes on, I mean, I think Matt will play this a little bit by ear. But as it goes on, Matt might just show what he's got to on the tactical side because he is he's a clever guy. He doesn't play this all the time, but he, he knows the basic tactics of this game. And with that sort of supreme pop position that he has, he, it makes him a very hard man to beat. I think he's been playing for, for what, five or six years now? He, yes, he has. So, you he know, has. he's picked up a lot along the way, and I saw some of his games at the West Coast Open, and um, he's definitely got some idea of the tactics. Oh, yes, yeah, getting, sure. getting better all the time. Yes, so. he is. It's just, I think, more than anything, is when you, you see a guy playing at the high level that he plays in snooker and billiards, and then just to re to come to play with a small white, is, it must be really difficult, you know? And he just seems to do it really well within, you know, just a, a week or so's practice of doing that. And here he is playing for 25 grand. True you professional. Know. Yeah. Very good cure. Very, very confident. I'm sure he'll be in the Western National run. The Western National, yes, he will. <laughs> he will. One of a lot of big guns that'll be coming we to have WA. Got some of the best players in Australia coming over to Perth next year and I think a couple of them might even be watching at the moment. Hello Rusty. I oh, know he's watching. <laughs> um, one of the favourites. Look buy in buy and start in, a, in, a, in about a week, Al, but um, I've got uh, I've had interest from from guys like Rusty, um, Brenton Collier, James Delahunty, Alec, Joel Younger, Ben Hoon. Yes. Jake McCartney, Jakey, you know, Justin, Justin Sage, all, yeah. the, all the best players uh, coming over to Perth to play off for $40,000. Mm. And um, for anyone that doesn't know about the Western National, it's based on the satellite, buy-in satellite concept. So you can either buy in or you can play in a satellite. And um, for anyone that doesn't know about it, you can go to Facebook and type in the Western National uh, and you'll find the, the page that we've got up there. Um, well, that all starts in January. Well, the satellite start in January, and the main event in May. So, and a lot of a lot of preparations to do before then. But um, oh, we're absolutely. really looking forward to it over yeah. here. Yeah, those guys that you're talking about, there, they have to be in it. You know, I mean, that's that's what this event's all about. So, they do, uh, and uh, um, and we want the best over here, and it's going to be a cracker. And we want them to come back every year. Oh, and, absolutely. Um, so absolutely. Looking forward to that run. Yes, as am I. Thank you. Yep. Uh, the guy sitting next to me on the other side will be here as well, Dan Lynch. He'll be streaming the whole the whole tournament, so we'll be looking forward to having him back here again. He's, uh, we're talking about getting a holiday house here in Perth. Yes, that's fair enough. a couple enough. of times lately. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes the idea. Yes, yeah, I'm <laughs> sure Dan won't mind that. Well, here uh, we go. He's, uh, he's half a... A chance for a tactical frame here. Mm -hmm. but, uh, That'll be very interesting. A first glimpse of tactics. Yeah. And he is a master at blocking pockets. That, oh, that one my God. In. There you go. The guy's just a pop machine. What can you say? <laughs> There's a lot of focus. Look at that. Well, he'll probably be looking at trying to take control of the bottom right, bottom right pocket where the black and the yellow are. Mm. Um, whether or not he can do that, I'm not sure. There we go. Okay. Oh, get that ball over there. And yes, here we go. I think there's a big chance it could end up a little tactical frame here and we might all learn a bit. 
Well, I mean, you might you might see Matt. You might see Matt push that red onto the yellow and cover the hole. Or you, or you might be able to pot a ball and then run run one of his yellows down here. Al. Well, he'll, he'll be trying to get another yellow down here for sure. And it looks like that one on the right hand side is yes. going to be the ball. Yes, he'll be taking that down. Sonny, Sonny will already be thinking how many yellows he's got to pop before he takes control. He'll be thinking, oh, I'll just be putting that red straight onto your <laughs> yellow. <laughs> oh, and that's good. very good by Matt to do. Oh, that's a great shot, but I... That's I, better than it looks, because yes. now he can't put his red onto no, his yellow. No, he can't. He's got to think of another yellow on red on yellow. Very good Near shot. the black, so, you know, to do that, which is a lot more difficult than things can go wrong. He won't be doing that yet. He'll be looking at covering up. And then he'll, he'll, he'll strike. He'd be happy if this goes in though and, and covers the hole. And he's covered it? Okay. I think it's all right. I thought he might get a bit closer before he'd done that, but uh, suddenly Lister's the man. He knows what he's doing when it comes to that. That's, um, that's a pretty good shot. It is a good shot. That yellow didn't come out too far, I don't think. Um, is Matt going to be looking at partner ball and, and, and getting into those a bit now? Straight well, off the know, pot? The one ball in the middle of the table there that he can. It depends how aggressive he wants he to can be. Do like that. that red, that red near the hole was in a position for Matt to to put a yellow inside and actually kick the other yellow out. So if he wants to be really aggressive here, which I don't think he's going to be, um, you know that that red that sunny has got near the po pocket is in a good spot for Matt. He can he can kick it out and develop the other yellow. But I think Matt's probably going to be running this yellow towards the. Oh, he looks like he's playing some type of plant. We'll yes. Just, we'll just see what yes. he's going to do. I'm not sure. Probably trying to kill that red near the black. Towards those other two reds. Yes. Oh, was... He had a plan. I'm not he exactly did. sure what it was. Yes, it was. I mean, he was just trying to push that the red near the black towards those other two reds, I think. But, you know not go too near that yellow and red that is still now over the pocket um he's still in a pretty good spot i think i mean even if he even if matt pots sunny's red uh and leaves sunny the pot up the top of the uh, up the top right hand corner yes it's, he's still got two shots but he's got three pretty difficult reds there mm. um, could this be a billiard shot and potting the red yep Master oh, Billiards player. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good shot. That's a very, very good shot, Matt. Makes it tough, you know. Yeah, very good shot. Well, he's obviously got to put that ball over the pocket, and all Sonny would be thinking about is, po is trying to gain control of that pocket again right now, or at least remove all his balls. Well, I can't see him doing that, so he's, he's, he's going to have to try and gain control of that. He's done well. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. He's done well to make him play the one over the hole. Because the only other option for Sonny was to try and get the black up there somehow and, uh, and take control of the black. Oh, I'd be pretty stiff if he was to... Sonny's... But look, look, so far, I mean, Matt's done everything right. That was... Um, yes, yes. A tactical frame and, and Matt's come out on top uh, so far on this one. Played the right shots. Yeah, I, I have to agree there. And it's almost like winning. It's almost like a double hit, isn't it, when you win a tactical frame against Sunny? Like it, like it. If if Sunny goes out, you know, a few he's times. Expected to win. Yes, he's expected that's to right. Win those frames, isn't you it? know, it, it really is a double hit. You'd probably be putting Sonny around the 90% mark on winning the tactical frames, you know. And uh, if Matt, if Matt knows what this would mean right now, as well. Yeah, you know. Probably have a little sly smirk to himself if he can, mm. if he can pull this oh, one off. There's no question, and he might even mention something. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow's on down the bottom left. Yeah, he, he, he might. If it well is, it would be perfect because he could develop the other black and the yellow. He might even do that anyway. He's probably going to play the yellow in the middle. Yes. Just checking if this yellow down the bottom right is, is on. Uh, past that red. Just 
concentrating on the pot here, I think. He yes, make sure right, he gets well, that's all we need to too. do. The white will run through around the middle of the table. Okay. That's a little bit more tricky. He's going to have to um, just back it off and might even lay a snooker. Get the ball on the rail. Just a containing shot. Looks like that's what he'll do. Let's play that nicely. Okay. Thank you, Dan, for that angle. I don't know why I'm leaning to the other side of the screen. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't really make any difference, does it? <laughs> no. That's still a pretty good shot. He's left Sonny a shot on one red, which he'll be skimming over, trying to get under that yellow, I would imagine. Yeah, so what what are your thoughts? To, well, probably, probably first and foremost would be not to leave Matt anything, so mm. leave the white down there and maybe trying to just bump one of those reds out into the open. I so think he'll try and cover the pocket. We'll, we'll get in front. Yeah. Yeah. That was a brilliant shot. Yeah, hard to tell from here whether he's covered that pocket, but that, that was a good shot. I don't think Matt would be able to actually pop that yellow from here. The only uh, reason I wouldn't have thought of that shot is because it was quite risky. He, it, over that distance, he had to play it really well, and he yeah. did. Yeah. And, um, and it's just those three balls down there, and he's probably thinking to himself, it took one shot and might be able to gain control. You know, and at the, rather than take three or four shots to just. No, he did. I just. Yeah, but uh, but absolutely wrong. Absolutely, to play it and he did. Yeah, and if you don't, it's all over. You're right. Well, it might still be all over because yeah. I think Matt's thinking that that goes inside. Yeah, and, it uh, might just drop in, in or over, and that's the only ball he's got. Um, could well does, be enough. Well, if it does go, that's all. Just thinking, maybe just don't leave him a shot get one of those yellows, uh, reds out into the open. So even if Matt does, can play one of his top yellows, then that, that red's available to do something with. Um, but we'll see how it unfolds. I, I think he's going for it. Yeah, well, maybe that just sneaks inside, Ron. And uh, I mean, that would be a pretty good position to be in, don't you think? If I think just it does, Brownie. Off the jaw, off the red. Okay, well, he certainly played it like it does. So. Okay. Still a pretty good position to be in. Sonny's really pretty much got to pop this ball and, and would you say try and get sit the black on top of his red and pop the yellow? It would probably, that's probably the first thing you looked at, yeah. Yes. Um, or, I mean, it's, it's not so bad. I mean, you could just try and get two shots here. Yeah. Now, because there's okay. nothing really. You get two shots, you get, you get that red out with one. Yeah, the you just black's potable. Yeah, you just don't want him starting to push the black or the reds towards that yellow. Oh, you know, sorry, and, 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 and give them two or three that are sitting around it, you know. Yeah, a bit of a tricky one. I mean, if Sonny did put the black onto the red, it would have to be perfect because, yes. you know, you're, you're giving Matt two shots yep. on the black. And uh, it's not perfect that he just bumps it out with one and pots it with the next. Yeah. So, I think Sonny's just, you know, probably trying to get two shots. Matt's probably going to try and push it a bit closer, is he? Ooh, this is, uh, yeah, this is... Good uh, touch required. And good shot. Wow. Very good shot. Very good shot. Mm. If you were going to go again, that's the ball you'd want out first. He's not going to get that option. Well, and what does he do? Does he do the same again, or does he put these two balls to land on the bottom rail to try and... He might be thinking of the same thing, you know. The black... If I can get that red out with, with one shot... Yes. Um, 
Probably obviously pop this red first, and he can get the red out next shot. He, he might be able to land on either one of those reds. So, oh, he wanted that to go in. But, yes. Um, that's okay. He can reassess. Probably play the same shot. You know, run off the red, push it towards the other red in the hole, and, and get the snooker up the top top of the table. Um, Matt kind of runs out of options. He can't play the same shot as he did before. I don't think he'll be pushing the red any closer to the yellow. I think he probably just seen run off like that. And, um, well, you know, mm -hmm. what does Matt do now? Well, Matt would... Yes, all a bit tricky now. It's all very difficult tricky. for Matt yeah. to give away two shots without, without. making him waste one. Yeah. So. It, it really depends on that red and yellow right now where they're sitting. Okay, quite so hard to see from here. He's going to pot the red, but make the other red go over the other side of the table. Yes, and take the white up the top. Yeah. As I think that's what he tried. Yeah, he did. He did. Ooh, Sonny can get the bad red out first here now. Yep. Off the bottom rail, kick it out. Yeah, so it just needs the um, the white to land in a pretty good spot here. Okay. But he's going the other one first. Okay. Oh, I think what he might have been looking at before, he might be able to face cut this back. Yeah, he's looking at the face double back, back to the corner pocket. Again, tricky to see on the camera, but he was looking at that before. Yes, he was, yeah. Yeah, um, they look almost touching to me, though. Uh, but uh, obviously they're not. Same deal. Yeah, well, he might be looking to... Um, we just, just make sure you can't... Pot a red first shot, honey. That's what we were trying to say. Um, is he going to push the red over? I think he's going to try and pot the red and take the white right back up. Yeah, it's very good. It's a good shot, but um, I suppose it just doesn't look close enough. It had to be. <coughs> well, we'll find out. But if it was on the top rail near the jaw, it would have been would have been perfect, but I just think he can get enough sight on that. Yes, he can. Out. He can, he can get enough out. It's just all about where it lands now, isn't it? Yeah, so he still needs a bit of luck, but he's got that black there. If he runs into trouble, he's got the black to try and snooker behind as well, so... Yeah. Okay, that's not bad at all. Difficult. He might be running straight into that yellow. I don't know. Yeah. Sure yeah, just a. But he'd be happy with that. Mm. Little bit of bottom on this, I'd say, just to off the bottom rail, land for the black. Oh, well, the plot thickens, Brown. Yes, it does thicken. <laughs> Oh, He's two gonna all. Go for the double, though. Exciting stuff right now. No, he's going for the snooker. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I know don't if know. he can, well, he can get under there, can he? But it looks as like if he can get I right through there. I would prefer to see him take it on because even if Matt gets out of the snooker, he's definitely going to pop the yellow. Yes. And, he, and he gets the first crack at the black. Yes, right? and which is probably a double, you know, and now so. all of a sudden he can get through there and he's probably going black in the same pocket as this yellow. So I prefer probably just to see him have a crack. You don't want to die wondering. In no, so you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, There's that, enough frames for you to have a crack. That could be what's going to happen here. Ooh. What a great shot. Yes, very good. Uh, that was a good little match. That's the first one where 
I think they really had to think about it. Well, it's good. We've seen yeah. some attack. We've seen yeah. some defense and tactics. Yeah, and, so. uh, and Matt ended up winning the very first tactical frame. Yeah. But, you know, Sonny probably should have gone for that double brownie. Yeah, no, I, I, I think so. And that's the bit where, you know, that's been spoken about as well. Sonny's got to take those opportunities like that, hasn't he? And, uh, he's a great player. He can do that. No problem at all. Um, I think if, it, if I, think, I think the next time he gets an opportunity like that, he might. He, he probably might go for will. It. And um, I know I did speak to Sonny early on through the week, and he said if he's a, if as long as he's not totally out of it in the first round or the first session of six frames, he'll be feeling good. And no matter what happens in this frame, he's not out of it at all. So uh, no, good tight match so far. Yes. So uh, oh no. Hopefully this everyone is, watching is enjoying this. Yeah. Is it possible to see how many how many viewers we have, Dan? Hundred and twelve online at the oh, moment. 112. That's great. 112 online, that's very good. Probably expect a bit more when it comes down to the business end. Yes, there'll be more online, there'll be more at the uh, at the venue. Um, there's nine ball. Did you know the nine online. ball yeah. state titles were on today? State nine ball up, yes. uh, up in Joondalup, Q Power. Yeah. Um, not sure how that's going. No. As soon as that finishes, they'll uh, they'll be on the way down. But, so. but the the crowd has already increased here. With, I really don't know how many, but maybe maybe 120, 130 could be. that open table is it Al? Yes I, I think it, we were just sort of talking for a moment we moved from the screen and I think the ball's just been broke. We'll be back on track in a second. I think yeah Matt broke first so it must have been Sonny's break. Sunk a couple of yellows off the break. Yeah, Sonny's gone reds here and he's looking, well, he's looking fantastic here, Ron, to level the match. Here's the opportunities we were talking about. Just needs to negotiate one or two of these reds in the, in yeah. the middle. Yes. Um, getting, yeah, so he's clearing, the, well, ideally he'd want to clear that middle pocket as soon as he could because one of those reds will have to go in the middle, possibly top corner. If he can pop this one now into the bottom left, and um, um, I don't know if the angle's there for him to screw into that red above it and just kick it out of the way a little That's bit. an option. And it's all wide open. Yeah, and if he could hit it fat, then uh, yes. he'd be in a prime posse. Mm. Okay, that'll, that'll do, he says. Scratches his head. I don't know if he, he might have been trying to land on the other. Yeah, you know. yeah. I actually like the shot that you just said. Um, yeah, yeah, just get... It's the only one in the way of everything, really, Because wasn't you it? would have landed on yeah. two reds. Options are everywhere, but... So easy from here, Ron. <laughs> it is so easy. <laughs> That's a foul. That did not touch the cushion. So, obviously, that top red goes into the bottom right. Um, yes, it does. Which, in that which, pack of three. Which we didn't really... See, look obviously. At, no. Okay. Oh. So he had his plan. Well, that'd be frustrating for Sonny, that. But a fantastic opportunity for Matt to take a lead in the first session. Well, there's nothing worse than giving away two shots oh, when I'm hitting a cushion. Yes. When, when you Probably when you're actually going it. for the pot as well, you yeah, know. It's pretty frustrating. Yes. And you think, why, oh, why? Yeah. I'm not sure if Sonny will be thinking, oh, should I say, uh, Matt will be thinking about uh, taking a 4-2 lead here now. Certainly will. Just a matter of what order, he's probably... Thinking about taking the top one now. Yeah, if he I drops that in, he'll be more yeah. than happy. And he's, if yeah. it sits, it makes it a little bit more complicated. Oh, 
Nice drag shot. That's what you want to see in that type of shot, I think. And, uh, probably just going to stun or screw back just a, just a couple of inches and, and leave the, the yellow in the middle and drift out for the, the yellow on the left-hand side, I think. But, no, yeah, another idea. Very good. Very good shot. Yeah. Take his time on this one. Knows the importance here. Using his two. Be dead straight in that one in the middle when it's shot. But, um, no problems with the black. All about touch, a couple of cushions out in the mm. middle of the table. Uh, Matt looks very much in control of himself. Looks pretty composed. Yes, he does. That's pretty much perfect. Yes. Black goes in the left hand corner. Yeah, so he'll just be running this one through, I would imagine. Uh, no stranger to the jigger, is he, Matt? <laughs> no. He's used that thousands of times. <laughs> and he executed that one perfectly. I probably used it about ten times in my life, Ron. I tried to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> well, there you go. Well done, Matthew. Well done. Well done. So, there you go. four two Five. to Matt in the first session. And Five minute break. Five minute break. Bit of a recharge for the players. That was a good start. Good entertaining start. And uh, myself and Brownie will take a five minute break as well. So we'll be back.
And we are back with, uh, after our first little mini break here. Uh, Matt's 4 2 up. It's just broken. It looks like a pretty nice open break there, too, on that. And uh, something. Jumped off his tip to the right hand side, looked like quite a fair way too. So he missed that ball, Brownie. He's, um, Matt's, I don't know, he looked at his tip straight away, so there's something funny happened there with his, uh, with his cue, but he's, oh, wait a minute. I've got to unmute Brownie. There we go. Matt's broken, um, potted the ball, gone yellows, and, uh, and fouled. He missed the, he missed the yellow altogether. Something. Came off his tip a bit funny, I think. Threw a bit more than he was expecting with, that, with the left-hand side. <coughs> so now Sally, a perfect opportunity to go 4-3 oh, down. And that, and that you'd probably have to say is, is the first mistake. Yeah. Matt no, he's been, he's been solid. Well, just spoke to Sally then, while he was uh, getting his first beer to the day. <laughs> he said, I feel really good. That's, uh, and that's a great thing. They both look pretty good. Yes, they do. They look fantastic. Matt looks absolutely rock solid and uh, really sending it just, you know, giving two shots away with that ball over the middle. Um, that's about the only real thing you could see, isn't it? Yeah. And, um, and that's nothing. You're not going to be too pleased by one shot. One or two mistakes in, in six frames of pool. It's, <coughs> um, you know, you've got to be happy with that in the first six anyway. Very clever little shot there. Just those little kisses and touches that make it easier for uh, finishing the frame. The sooner you can do it, the better. Yes, absolutely, but uh, Sunny would feel quite comfortable about that. So it's all about whether he pops a black here. He's not really moving the right white ball around too much. Just uh, plant left hand side, right hand side, and pot the black. And he still wants decent position on the black. Probably doesn't want to be you know, tucked up on the rail on the right hand side or anything. So we're looking just to get that white ball out a bit. Maybe thinking, don't. Oh, he's going to this white ball. Okay. Taking that other line. Yes, through the middle of the table. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, really, is not He's just going to be running that through the middle of the table now. And that probably Towards looks the, the better line, too. Just make sure you get on it. If he, if he had the opportunity... Oh. Brownie is talking to himself. Oh, now dear. We, now you're right. There you go. Well, I was talking to myself, sorry. Um, so I think if he had the opportunity to just use the cushion there, maybe he didn't, maybe it was too straight, but, you know, use the natural angles. That, that screw shot was a lot harder than what it had to be. So opportunity to go and beg him there. See what Mac can do. So 
not happy. You can see him mumbling to himself. Mm. He's going to shrug that one off. And he will do that. He'll just be looking at, if he gets another go, what he can do. You know when he's not happy. He, yes. He's got that face on. Yes. There's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy face. Yes. Yeah, and you can really tell the focus <laughs> and... Uh, uh, or they're not being happy, you know, you sort and, uh, of... Oh, what could have been <laughs> double face, but uh, uh, that's okay. He's professional enough to shrug that one off and yeah, get right. on with it. Okay. That's interesting. Can yes? He, can he hit that black? If you can hit the black, there's a good chance of putting it. He just hits it on the left-hand side. He's got that red there. Off the bottom rail, I mean. Yes. Off the bottom rail and into the red. Mm. Probably not too full into the red, but... Uh, You'd expect him to go close because oh, he's playing yeah. trick shots all yes. the time. Yes, this is what he does. So, uh... Good effort. Yeah, it was a good effort. Okay. First order of call was to not give way two shots. Yes, yeah. absolutely. There's a ball close to the rail. Uh, I'm sure Matt can take that one. Probably next shot. But um, it's not. It's not a hundred percent here. Okay, tried to kick it off then, but he's still sort of. Uh, he's still looking fine. Black's almost in a position where you could probably just try and pot it and, and land on it. Well, it is a bit tricky. He'd be more confident with it off the rail, but he might end up doubling it or just running it running it down to the pocket. I don't know. It's uh, well, you, it looks you, like he wants to pot. Well, you don't want to be leaving it till your last ball, and it would it would have actually been nice if for no. Matt if he was to leave himself that. There's just nothing he can... Red he over can't the run that red down the rail and, and just drop on another ball. Um, because they're, they're in that in a bit of a tricky spot. So, no matter what, he's either going to have to double it or give it a little bit of pace. Yeah. Oh, he's gone for the snooker, and that's... Okay. That's a very good shot. That's okay. Well, now he's got the ball, but he can just run that red down the rail and he can just... He doesn't have to worry about the white because he's got that red over the hole. So that's, it, that's, it, that's right. That's why that I was, was saying. That was the problem before. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Certainly be looking at popping this ball and killing it. This, uh, sorry, uh, hitting this black and killing it. You know, I mean, it's. Do you think? Or will be? Can we get a different angle? Yeah. Uh, that's all right. I wasn't sure if you could see. Was he going to have a bit of a hoof? Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, it's a good decision to make. Do I, do I try and just pop this ball down the rail or do I try and develop it? And if he's going to develop it, maybe now's the time to do it when he's got those two reds over the hole. Um, See what his preference is. Develop it with the other one. Okay. So he's very comfortable with his angles. Developing the red off two rails. Thought he might, maybe he could do it with the one over the hole. Down the bottom right. Well, that would have sealed the frame straight there if he would have took that ball off the rail. But uh, he's still looking very good here. Harder and harder and harder. <laughs> I don't think the double's on. Um, and now he has to play a pretty good shot to escape from this. Yes, he does. He does have to do that, but... Um, there's no easy snooker. There's no easy sort of containing shot. He either has to offer Sonny a really hard pot mm. or try and get a really hard snooker. Um, just 
snooker from there is not easy. Got a really pretty good touch. Just don't think that double's on, is it? It's not on. No, it's not on. It's not on. Can it? Can he? Or the cut? Is it? Can he clip that into the middle? If he clips that into the middle, he should land for the red on the rail, and and he doesn't have to do much with that red apart from pot it. You know, he isn't gonna. Okay, I was assuming that wasn't on, but <coughs> the camera's playing tricks on me again, obviously. Okay, he's just run a bit too far. The beginning of the second session, they're, they're both looking a little bit, a little bit anxious. I mean, there's twenty-five thousand dollars up for grabs there, wouldn't I? I'd, I think I'd be feeling a little bit more than anxious right now. Just a little bit of money. I reckon there'd be a, quite a few people watching at the moment that feel a little bit anxious. Around yes, absolutely. I was anxious when I woke up this morning. I'm not even playing. It's, it's terrible. I think that's why there's 250 plus people watching. Yeah, oh, fantastic. A little bit of vested interest around the country. Yeah. How many people are in this room right now, would you say, Rob? It's absolutely... Well, I can't see the room anymore because now there's heaps of people sitting oh, in front of me. Yes, there is. Uh, or maybe they've just all moved around. But the, well over 100 anyway. At least 120, yeah. I think. 120 or 30. Nice shot there, there you go. Well, this will be, um, be an motivational and uh, inspirational shot from Lister. He loves these. Might even see a fist pump, but no, he's going for the... Yes, that's very clever. You go for the snooker, if not, you're leaving him something big. Which he likes dangling people. the carrots, honey, <laughs> doesn't he? he? He's really good at that. He says, and, he says uh, to Matt, if you're good enough, get it. Yes. And if you don't, the black is mine. Yes, absolutely. Well, I wouldn't dangle too many carrots to Matt, would you? <laughs> He's pretty good at eating them all up. So, uh, but that's the that's the way Sunny plays, and it's just worked so well for him. I don't think for he's a comfortable long, long with time. going for a pot, though. Here, Brown. I think he's looking at playing a safety. He's a bit of a bit of an off the side rail snooker coming. And look at his snooker skills come into it. Yeah, yeah. That's just. He's, uh, I mean, that is perfect pace off the rail. That's just a brilliant shot. Perfect, it really is. Perfect pace and then the all of a sudden. Play that shot again, Lister, and you've uh, you'll have to snooker me this time. Now, if for some people you watching know. that uh, <coughs> that don't necessarily play much pool, that would probably not look like a real hard shot, but that was oh. a brilliant shot. Yeah. He's got to land pace, right there. Off the cushion and the felt. Oh, and That's he's put the white safe. Either. That is fantastic. So said he'd be very happy. A um, bit of a giggle between the two. Great to see they're having fun out there. And that's, that's really good. A lot of respect between these two players. They both know how hard today was going to be, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty happy where I'm sitting. Oh, yeah, oh. me too. I'm very comfortable here. <laughs> What's he doing? He did fancy the face. Putting the cut. black on the top. Yes, he is. Oh, that's a great hit. Well done. So there comes a time when someone's either going to play a bad safety or someone's just going to pot it. Now, is he going to go for this? Come on, Sonny. Have a crack. A bit more pace than that because that... Fortunately, he just did it up for him. I would have thought the other hole. Maybe he wasn't trying to do that. No, I think he might have been pushing it towards the um, bottom side rail. To the right you know? Right. And, and yeah. well, Alan's just having a toilet break, so... 5-2 to Matt, and... Um, a couple of chances there gone begging for, for Sonny. It's still a good match. This is what some people predicted, that uh, Matt would race out to a lead and then Sonny would peg him back frame by frame. So we'll see how it plays out. 
Both players still look pretty good. Getting a few text messages on my phone, and uh, looks like people are enjoying the enjoying the match, enjoying the commentary, which is great. Good to hear. I'll give them a shout out. Daniel Marshall, good day, and uh, Ben Bowdy. Hey guys. Hope you're enjoying the show. Yes. Well, those last three frames have been really anybody's, haven't they? And both had a couple of chances. And they, yes, they both had the, the chances to win the frames. Matt's got the lot. So, uh, long way to go here. Of course, when you win the frames, it doesn't matter how you get them. It gives you confidence as you go along. That's right. But, uh, but Sonny... Uh, and he said he won't be two phased right now. He'll probably at some point get his, his back up and uh, won't be, uh, well, he'll be well, taking if those if opportunities. If you, give, if you give us a couple more away, he'll say enough's enough. And um, yeah. he'll put a stop to that. And look, race to 18, 5-2, under normal circumstances, might, might seem like a pretty healthy lead, but um, he's got plenty of time to pick him back. But Matt, Matt will be having other thoughts. He'll be thinking, OK, now's my opportunity to get a five, uh, a four or five frame lead and really put him under the pump. So they both have different trains of thought at the moment. Yep. Matt really wants to dig his heels in here and take the frame, take it to a 6-2 lead. Oh, he'll certain, certainly himself. be looking at 5-2 lead. It would be nice to run out a few times and, you know, open up that, that yes thing. yes really Expo try and expose Sonny for you know and, and that's going to be difficult to do he's 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 got to be able to do that you know it can, Sonny ain't going to go away and um, uh, if, if he creates some momentum himself he could turn this around very quickly Sonny's a frame to frame player a lot of people would you know have a five or six game deficit and, mm. uh, and think that the match is all over but in the end you know You've got to play each frame at a time, and uh, as long as you've got a shot, you've got a chance. So you play it frame by frame, and and get back into the match slowly, and and things change. Oh, your absolutely. opponent changes, you change. Yep. Uh, your mental state gets better, and, and theirs gets a little bit more nervous probably. And um, but at the moment, it's only a three-frame deficit. Oh it's yes, nothing. absolutely. I've spoke to Sonny a lot of times about you know the difference playing race to 11 and one frame pool, we all know there's a difference there in the, in, in the way you approach that, but Sonny says, I'm not totally sure what you're going on about. I don't think there's that much of a difference. If I play best of 21, I'm playing one frame pool. Well, you've got to play a frame by yes. frame, don't you? Yes, and, uh, and um, you, you guys go ahead and do whatever you do. And if you want to be a little bit loose, go for it. But I'm going to be playing one frame pool 21 times if that's what happens, you know. So can't that's argue right with that, can you? It. you? really can't argue with that. Matt's looking very, very good here. You'd be tempted, though, wouldn't you, in a race to 18, just to... Oh, you do. Just to yeah. Play a few Ooh. shots that you might not usually play. Oh, without a doubt, Ron. Mm. Um, one of the main reasons I lost 11-6 to Nathan McMahon. <laughs> 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 uh, apart from me, was just better. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you do get a little bit looser. You think, well, that's a lot of frames to lose. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go here. And then, uh, all, might, of it, it, all of a sudden, it might be too late. <laughs> I 
Well. So Sonny will be happy that he's been let back in here with an opportunity. Yeah, I think it's sort of, he can possibly see half the ball. I'm not totally sure. But Sonny will be thinking right now. He, he sort of doesn't want to lose this frame. He wants to, if he's got control, he oh. wants to maintain it. But um, I... And you know, if he gets back to the table, he's got the golden opportunity. To take it, yes. Just had a text message from Justin Sage. Yes. <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, Matt's glove? And uh, first of all, <laughs> hi, Justin. Um, <laughs> Well, I can tell you that uh, and Matt came in here a few hours ago and it was very humid in here and uh, and he had the chance to have a 20-minute hit hey. and um, he um, <laughs> didn't want to take any chances so he went home and grabbed his glove, made sure he was queuing nice and smoothly, didn't want mm. any sticky cues or anything. Mm. Um, look, Justin, I like the black. Um, it's a power colour. Black, <laughs> black is a power colour. Yeah. Just like Matt's shirt and his trousers, he's looking pretty good today. So. Um, I don't mind it, Justin. He actually all. told me it was a bandage, and um, <laughs> I sort of a bandage. believed him there for a moment. <laughs> no but glove for Sonny, though. Nah, nah. Gloves Sonny, are off. Sonny will not wear gloves. <laughs> but it has, uh, it has cooled down in here. It's not quite as humid as it was before, apparently, so it's actually quite comfortable. Well, it's very comfortable here, Ron. Very comfortable. No pressure here. Booth. Well, regardless of what's happened in this frame, Sonny, Sonny will be feeling comfortable here right now. You know, this is the way he likes it. And, um, oh, this is his... Um, yes. Yeah. If it takes that extra shot or two to win the frame, he wouldn't he wouldn't care less. No, when he feels like the time's right, he'll go. Yeah. And, um, and that and that. We'll see if he goes now. And that sort of helps for Sonny a little bit more. So we know that Justin Sage has moved to to New South Wales. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> hey, and, Justin. Uh, and, <laughs> There you go. I, I've had a couple of private messages on Facebook over the last couple of months, and, and <coughs> it actually says, you know how you can see the location where they send it from? Yeah, it yeah. It says from Kellyville. So Kellyville. So you just can't get away from it. Oh, there you can go. You I want to move to a suburb as long as I can name it after <laughs> my hero. <laughs> so you just... Help it, Justin. <laughs> Well, obviously that yellow a above the red goes just into just the middle. Yeah. You'd yeah, be running like that round. Right running this ball down at the bottom right around for the ooh, middle, I would say. It's just going to say, it's just a matter of what way he wants to go. And, yes. And, uh, I think I've been wrong most of the time. There you go. Beautiful shot. That looks okay. Yeah, well, he'd be just dropping this in now, won't he? And Pretty basic from here. Just cue through this white ball. Just nice smooth stroke through the ball and you won't miss it, Sonny. Just don't think of that first black. Beautiful shot. Now is he going to come up or is he going to just... Make sure he's on the black in the middle. Yeah, I think he'll be just looking for the middle. He, he never strays too much from the obvious. There you go. Make sure you get well a shot. Well done, Sonny. This is almost identical to the first black, except that the, the white ball's off the... Get him! Oh, listen to that support. Yes. Oh, there you go. A lot of happy people in the well done, Sonny one. Lester. That's, that's four frames on the run now where they've all had a little sniff of it and it's 3-1 uh, to Matt. 
probably a pretty fitting spot. Yes, I, I believe that sits nicely right now. Well, well, just imagine the noise when it gets to a 15 all brownie. Oh my god. All. Well, uh, have you got any money on this today, Ron? I've got to ask you. I have not put a cent on this match. Um, I honestly couldn't pick a winner. Uh, but as I said, if I had to make a prediction, I, I would have picked Matt 18 14. But I wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong. Yes. Uh, yes. That was if I had to make a prediction. Um, but it all comes down to the day. It comes down to the break. It comes down to whether or not they finish off. That's uh, really, the, the really, fans. really, I must say, it's really brave of you to sit comfortably on the fence like that, Ron. Well oh, done. I'm very Covered every on angle. the fence, yeah. I'm going for, I'm going for Sonny to win 18-13. Okay. I, I, might, yeah. I might make it 18-14 now. Okay. Yeah. But um, I, I still believe Sonny has got what it takes to win this, but we are talking about two fantastic players. You know, Absolutely. So, um, I, you know, I could well be wrong here too, but I've actually uh, not sitting on the fence. Put a couple of dollars on on Sonny to do that. Just a couple? Just two dollars? I think it was, yeah, it was a little bit more than that, but I put something on it. <laughs> look, there's, there's been quite a few people that say, look, Matt, Matt will just blow him out of the park, you know, 18-7, and, you know, uh, I just don't yeah. think you can, it's not that black and white for me. No, um, but I can understand that too. I can understand You know, because, because it's, it's Matt can do that. Yes. But it's but certainly we, not black and white. There's right. no precedent. We've never had a match like this before. We no. don't know how it's going to go down. No. Um, and all we can do now, and the day has finally come, we can just sit back, relax, and watch how it unfolds. And so far, it's been really entertaining. Yes. And really great support, too. Yeah, fantastic support. That's that's really, really good. Everybody's back in their horse today, and that's, that's great. There's, there's pool players on either side. Looks like snooker players only on one side, but that's okay. <laughs> Sonny don't mind that at all. He sees the red and yellow on the side left rail and he starts looking at Let's create a bit more disturbance here. Give me time to sort this frame out. Matt's saying, oh, well, I'm going to move that ball. Sorry, Brownie, is it open table here? Or is uh, Sonny's on the reds, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, that was very good by Matt. It might not seem much at the moment, but that makes a big difference in the frame right there. Moving that ball, especially when you're playing Sonny Lester, he will make a meal of any ball that's on the rail. In or over here for Sonny? Over. He's hoping. He oh, would yes. not want that one in. Oh, Matt's doing very well here. That's two balls on the run where he is just not allowing Sonny to settle in. Especially while Tactically. That, that, especially while that uh, there's a couple of sort of difficult reds, it's all you really need to do, isn't it? You, you get your balls out. Yeah. Uh, uh, nothing they, special. You just make do sure see you don't get tied up in two pockets. Absolutely, but you just see some snooker players that you know He's that, thinking well. That that wouldn't do that immediately and he really has to do it first shot. If he doesn't do it first shot, he's gonna have another ball sitting somewhere else too, so very impressive so far for, for Matty. In the thinking department. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Sonny's wife just giving us a wave. <laughs> I think if Sonny wins, he, I hope he takes her out to dinner. Brownie, he'd want to. Yeah, possibly. Mm. Maybe that's why she's here. Make sure he's yeah. winning and she gets a good meal out of it. Yeah. Now, opportunity, I think. You know, he can kick yes. This out. He's, he's going to try and go game here, Matt. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, that's very the, well uh, done, Matt. Yeah, very well sure. done. Still a little bit to do, but that's... Uh, just this red, the yellow near the black. Is it? Yellow near the black. He's looking at the middle. I don't think he can, he can 
drop it into the bottom left. Must be the middle pocket, I think. But he's got enough balls here to land on it. It's, uh, he's in a good spot to go 6-3 up. Not easy. But with his position, positional play, you'd expect him to go pretty close. Just needs to think his way through it carefully, which he will. Yellow might have gone the opposite right hand middle, Brownie. Oh, it if, might, if it through. does now, he's he's home, isn't he? If not, it'll probably be his last ball. He might just run through on this one, pop the other the other yellow in the bottom corner, and then play that yellow in the in the right middle to get on his last difficult yellow. I mean, if that's on, that's the that's the way to go. But he might be just. Well, where the white is now, he's probably going to come across the other side of the table, isn't he? Yes. And still have that yellow in the in the left. Yellow. Yeah. Which would be his last ball, but I, in, like you say, Ron, if it goes in the opposite middle, it's. Um... Just don't think you can hold for that now. No. Yeah. Possibly right. not. Possibly not. Looks like he's got it all under control. Yeah. Very well done. He's played that perfectly. Just wants to make sure he's got a touch of angle. Doesn't want to be straight and certainly doesn't want to be too far, so we can play the uh, eight in the right hand middle. I've been wrong that many times. I, mm, no, I would have. <sighs> it is on, isn't it? it looks yeah, like it. yeah. It's on from there. Very easy from here to say what you'd do, isn't it, it <laughs> really? Is, yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know. Just look pretty natural to me. Yes, it? yes. I agree with you, Ron. But, uh... I think he was going for the middle. He just yeah. overran it, didn't he? Yes, he yes. That's all. That's all. Okay. There we go. There we go. This is the thing, you, 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 you get your one chance in a frame, and um, now it's Sonny's turn. Yes, and it really is Sonny's turn too. One I mean, chance, 5-4. Yeah. Um, you can't mess around here, you, you, you should be taking control of the table right now. You have control, you should be maintaining it. Played a bit of his own little snooker, snooker. The only thing that was stopping him there was that dead red. So, if we can get to, he's laughing. Even if he doesn't, he's favourite to win the frame. Now, oh, so. absolutely. But two would be fantastic. That's absolutely right. Very difficult to win from this spot if you're Matt. You really need to rely on the other person making a mistake, don't you? Um, unless you fluke it out of the sneaker. Oh, gee. I don't know f how far away that was, but it wasn't much fun. Wasn't that oh. That was a great try, and he's going to give it a kick and see if it can go somewhere, you know. Half a dozen pockets. Good try, Mike. It's a good feeling, though, when you see your opponent trying to get out of a snooker and they miss it. Yeah. Sonny would just breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, absolutely. A bit of pressure off his shoulders, two shots. Um, Stay composed, and, you, and now he finds himself 5 4 down. Just like that. Two down to five four. This horse is coming back. Oh, there we 
guys. Too high. Nice. There you go. 5 4. The plot thickens, Ron. Oh, there'll be a few more twists and turns to come, I'm sure. Yeah. Fantastic uh, money match taking shape here. Did you watch, um, had the uh, Cue Ball TV done the Empire Classic? There was a money match there, South Australia against Victoria. I was just saying, I got to watch about five minutes of it, uh, ah. unfortunately. Well, uh, I, I only watched the, the closing stages of it there. And, um, it was I heard one, there was a huge comeback against Brenton. Oh, it was a massive comeback by Glenn Ferris, who I have really From done. Ireland, apparently. Yes, I don't know Glenn Ferris at all, but I sort of... I know the way he plays now. Hi, Glenn. He's very, very good. And uh, it was a fantastic comeback. I think it was something five like down. six, three or something down to win seven six. I think it was actually five nil or five one as well. Yeah, yeah, I, yes, it probably was. Well, I, I think I seen it as six three, and a, as Brenton took that frame to make it six three, and then. Um, and, and that's a perfect example of, of one frame pull. You take one frame at a time. Yes. And and it slowly starts to build on your opponent. The closer you get, the harder it gets for them. You've got the, the momentum. Um, you can just never, ever give away a match. No. Um, no matter how far you are behind. Well. Oh, and a half break by Mr. Lister. Oh, sunny sunny half breaks and pops two balls. That's pretty impressive. So, we'll just be trying to take some type of control here somewhere. I just had another message asking me if I am playing the winner of this match. And first of all, I played, uh, if Matt wins this match, I played Matt a few weeks ago and I got spanked. Um, <laughs> <and> <laughs> uh, if, if that was going to happen, I'll, I'll play him in about 12 to 18 months when I'm pretty confident with my uh, own game. But it's going to take me quite a while. I've been out for out for a few years again, um, just coming back now, and it takes me a good 15 to 18 months to sort of get back to my to my best. I think um, if it was sunny, I'd think about it. <laughs> no offence to Sunny, but. Um, Matt was on fire when I played a few weeks ago, and if I made any mistakes, he jumped on it. Uh, that was Daniel. So, Daniel, I'm just going to enjoy it for a while. I'll put in some practice and and play in some, in some pool comps, uh, playing snooker once a week. Um, and, look, give me give me 12 to 18 months and, and ask me again. So, not, not for this type of money anyway, Brownie. Uh, a lot of money, Ron. That's at least a year off, two years off for me. I think that's a great thing about um, WA at the moment, is the fact that there's, um, well, there's an obvious buzz going on. Mm. Uh, there's so many people that are that are new to WA that are playing the game now. It's exploded. It's, um... And and and, um, and and all the the players like yourself and Paul Dickinson. Um, Rocky, all these guys that seem to be coming back, but you're still a bit rusty. You're still a bit rusty, so there's a real level playing ground at the moment, oh, um, yeah, and which is just create. Well, it, everybody feels they've got a chance of winning tournaments, so it's actually quite easy to run a tournament these days because of that. But like you say, in 12 months' time, when you're if you keep going, well, look, you have yeah. to be realistic, yeah. don't you? I mean, I can't, I can't just sort of start playing and, and within two or three months expect to be winning. Uh, you know, money matches or anything no. against high quality players and I'm going to have to go through plenty of downs, uh, ups and downs before I really hit my straps but um, yeah. you know, you have to go through that and, uh, Well you haven't think, done think, too bad so far Mr Kelly well, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with how I've gone so far but you know, it's some LPQ's people LPQ's champion, yeah. runners up in the west coast, my gosh, you're in the final of state singles, you're not doing too bad 
And I just might say that that entire weekend, the West Coast Open was a real struggle for me, and I, I never felt great. And I was just stoked that I could make the final because yes. I never once really felt really comfortable. And um, anyone that that's sort of played at a top level and has had a long time off would know that coming back is pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And um, you know that's what I'm going through at the moment. So I'm just trying to be patient and um, put in the time as much time as I can which is probably only about an hour a day if that um, it just takes time Brownie oh absolutely I'm with you Ron well, I, I really haven't picked the queue up this year apart from a couple of events and I've just turned up to them and um, so well, you know what it's like it and, you, and, you, and you need the passion as well don't you <laughs> you do don't you need well. the passion and I yeah, yeah. haven't but really had that and, uh, and, it, and it shows in the results but as you say, a couple of the guys that haven't played for a while, like Paul Dickinson and, and, and Rocky, who said he had lost motivation, what was he practising for? Um, you know, there wasn't all that much to play for. And now everything's changed. We've got all these money matches. We've got two or three brand new tournaments a year. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just a lot more to play for, a lot more to practise for now. Um, oh, absolutely. You can actually make a bit of money yes, in, you can. in WA now, which is great. And... I think, you know, we've really turned a corner, so... It's I don't like think the, any... It's the I revolution. Think it, yes, everybody's <laughs> realistic enough to to know that you're not going to be uh, sitting back and making a, a you know, full-time wage out of this right now. But it does give you a reason to practice when there's some a decent amount of money up for grabs, you oh, know? You can make some good little bits of cash here and there. So, credit to everyone involved, I think. All the players are supporting it. Matt's, uh, Matt's looking pretty good here to go 6 4 up. Oh, it went in. <laughs> Cheated the pocket, pocket yes, perfectly. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect now. Before his heart skipped a beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that's. Um, he's looking good now. Looking good for 6 4. that together nicely. Well done, Matt. 6-4, Matthew. Bit of support from the Matt yes, clan. Yes, yes. Seems to be getting a bit louder on that side. Just looking long around the room, everyone, yeah, everyone's enjoying this. So oh, they are. Everyone's pretty happy. Everybody's been talking about this for the last six weeks. It's sort of been brewing for quite a few months, and the uh, last six weeks it's really heated up and um, just gone a little bit crazy over the last week or so on Facebook. <laughs> um, but um, felt like forever, but now, now it's finally here. Yes. Well, in reality, you could probably say it's been brewing for about six or seven years, really, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Pool against snooker, whatever you want to call it, but I... Um, well, I'll tell you what, Matt didn't waste any time putting it out on Facebook once he found out that he could play something for this amount of money. He yes. put it straight out there Yes. and uh, made sure it was going to happen. And uh, yes. you know, what it's turned into is, is, is uh, something to see. So. Yes, absolutely. But... Um, Yes, yeah, Sonny was pretty happy when that went out there. <laughs> okay, Matthew at the table. A little bit tricky for both of them, isn't it, really? Okay. Not 
sure if a couple of those reds go. No. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm guessing he's not going to be... He's probably not thinking pot out at the moment. No, not at all. Not, he wouldn't like that red at the top, for one. You know what Sonny's like. He'd be looking at sort of removing that while he's still got the opportunity. Follow through on this red and then run the other one down. No. We'll just see. Yeah, we might have to here. He's going to put both over the pocket maybe here, Ron. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot. Good try. Matt's only really got one problem yellow here. Yes, he does, actually. Off. That's that, that red to the left sort of didn't cover, not. did it? So it was a little bit of a... Not careless, I won't call it careless, but I, don't, I just don't know if... Sonny assessed everything on the table then. Well, the most important thing was to cover that bottom yellow. And um, he didn't do that. OK, here's a, here's a chance for Sonny to try and uh, rectify that. Do you wonder if he'll try and take this red into the middle of, off the yellow and try and push the yellow down towards his red at the bottom? Difficult to see uh, the angle. The angle. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't know if there's any value in keeping this red up here. But um, oh, he's going to he's going to kick that yellow over towards the red now. And again, it's not really. Mm. A little bit harder would have done, but that's two balls that aren't just certainties for Matt now. And, um, well, if you're going to do that, you may as well just cover the, cover the pocket with a red. He's he's tried to kick, he's tried to kick that yellow over there, but he's well short, and I don't know if this plant's on over the hole, but they're all actually on there. For yes. The pot out. Yes, they are. Yeah, you're right. So they probably had a couple of options, but maybe just covering the hole with one of his reds would have been better. Okay. I think you might. Oh. Sonny will be bridging here, but he'd love to probably take the red in the left bottom over the you pocket. Could do that now. I mean, I'd but I'll make sure that this, this red down the bottom is tied up. I still think taking that red into the middle off the yellow and kicking that yellow down is more Sonny's style, you know? Well, I don't think there's any value in really leaving the red up there, so he's, he's playing the right shot now and getting rid of it. Okay, he's just... Yep. And now, he may just cover the hole now. Um, Kind of one step ahead, although... You, you want to make sure you do that. Um. It's not a frame-winning shot, but it's the right shot. It's pretty good. So at the moment, there's a couple of saving graces from that, and that's those, the one, one red in the middle, the yellow, and the one over on the rail. But, uh, not too much in there from here. Probably looking to clear it again, knowing that Sonny's got a couple of awkward reds. That went inside. Oh, that's a great shot. Couldn't see that shot either. Like that red was a little bit further in the hole. Very good shot. What, you, what are your thoughts, Ron? Maybe just leave him behind, right. just so you can only see this? Or would you double it over? I don't know if I like the two shots here. Okay, well that's, just that's risky like business, that, that one. There's only one tough ball on the table, and that's the yellow, which he can get out first shot. He get out first shot. Uh, Sonny was trying to obviously I cover that one, but uh, that was always a difficult shot to do. Yeah, I just don't... Uh, look, it was the one thing... The only thing that I would pick... Sonny's brilliant at tactics. The only thing I don't like sometimes is that he leaves the opportunities like this, which I don't even think Matt's taking. Um, where a very good player will put out. Absolutely. Would 
expecting him maybe just to develop that yellow the first shot, Matt, but he's got something else in mind. Now that was a good that was a good shot. That was pretty much the one that counted for me. That maybe it goes. Maybe we just don't know that it goes. No, it doesn't go, but he can pop one of these middles and then probably use one of his shots to get that out and then back to the middle. And He's probably thinking at first if I could develop it and still have my two shots, I'm in a pretty good posse. There's the shot so now. If he can, he'd be nice. probably just promote it now. Yeah, you don't really want to leave it to last. So he's negotiating that now in his head. Maybe going off that red. Might just push it off that red. But you don't want to kill the black either. So. No, you don't want to kill the black. You want to make sure you... Oh, OK. He's, he's going to leave it till last. Obviously, coming off that red, we'll, we'll get it close enough. Yeah. Probably give him a chance to pot it first go. Well, he's happy with, with bumping it off the rail and landing in a good spot to get on the black. And he's played that pretty much yeah. pitch perfect. Really, really good. So well done, Matt. Well done. I just think he was a little bit quick, Sonny, to give away that two shots. Um, because a good player will pot out. He, was only, he only really had one dead ball then, Matt, not two. He only had one dead ball. The way, probably the way he left it, left the white, Ronnie's, um, Sonny's probably thinking the yellow on the top rail is probably dead too. Reasonably dead. It wasn't, it wasn't just sitting there for him. He but there was a plant, wasn't there, before that? What, but he'd probably have to take that ball first. And that's, that's what he did do. But I think the main problem that Sonny did there was the fact that the ready hit, he didn't cover that yellow. And, and that was pretty important, yeah. as it proved. But he was still pretty much given Matt a massive opportunity to go out, yeah, for sure. He was. Like I say, very easy from here, Ron. <laughs> it is. Very, very easy from here. 7-4, Matthew. Last frame before for the, the next, next break, is it? Yeah, for the next five minute break. So plenty of interested spectators and you'd expect it to get a little bit more crowded towards the end. Still yeah, uh, like I say, the, the state nine ball championships are on at the moment. And, um, and then 142 now online, Al. 142 online. My God. 142. Well, I, well, I hope my daughter Millie is one of them. Hello, Millie. I did promise I'd say hello to you. Hello from Dad. And Jakey. Sunny just broke, and um, yes, foul break by the looks of it. Oh wow! Well, how old is Sunny? Is he? Is he 50? fifty-two? He's fifty-two. Fifty-two so years. Maybe he just can't hit the ball any harder than that. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, I'm, um, not, I'm not going there with that I'm one. I'm guessing that the next break he has, he's going to just give that a little bit more power. Because uh, <laughs> you oh. don't want to be foul breaking guys that too, too often. Replay, yeah, saw the replay, it was two or three. Two yeah, two. It, oh yeah. So now Matt gets three breaks in a row. And this yes. one two shots. Yes. And this is a bonus one. Very much so. And 
as it happens so often, you don't even get one off the first, uh, off your first visit. You don't get one <laughs> off the first, but that's a fantastic break, Ron. It is. Um, he's got a fantastic. Every all one of them is. Si the yep, yep, they're all sitting there. I would say I'd be quite shocked if that didn't go. If it, if it doesn't go in the bottom, it goes in the middle. He'd be pretty happy with that. It's just his starter, I know, but that, that yellow does go in the middle from, from where he is. So I think he's got a starting ball. They're all there, as you say. Opportunity, 8 4. Very good opportunity. Sonny biting his nails, thinking, oh, no, that, am I going to get back there? Am I going to get back to the table on this frame? A bit more of a chew. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the other side, you've got Matt, a picture of focus. Trying to go 8-4 up. needs to decide what he's going to do with those two yellows. He's going to play plan. He's going to try and get on the on the top one. Looks like he's lining up the, the bottom one from the middle. A few things he can do there. Just uh, figure out the best option. Developing. And yeah. Worked out pretty nicely that's, here. That's very good because I, I was wondering what he was going to do there. It was just slowly becoming more difficult if he didn't do something like that. You know, they might look all there, but you, you know, when you've got to start sort of weaving around them the way he does with uh, one on the rail as well, well, it becomes difficult. It was a great shot. Yeah, well, it worked out perfectly for him because if you just get the wrong the wrong kiss on that, it, it could all go wrong very quickly. You know? He's developed that perfectly. Yes, all the other balls he's, he's developed have. have, have um, turned out pretty good as well so he's really working that white ball exactly where yes, he wants he to. Yes he is. He's, he's playing very well. Can't be argued. Commentator's curse. Okay. Again. Well I do have it's money on go. Sonny you know so. <laughs> <laughs> Did that make you happy? Did that, that, that <laughs> no show? it didn't. I'm joking. <laughs> Matt's uh, capable of anything here. Mm. How quickly you can change. Yes, absolutely, because um, yeah, it's actually quite difficult now, Ron. Well, you're almost cruising to an 8-4. Yes. And, uh, and it's only a, a centimetre or two. And, I mean, can he, can he ever go in the middle here? Or is it... Well, he's going off the black, is he? Okay. Tough shot, no matter who plays it. Off the yellow and the black. Right. Yeah, well, he ran out of position. It was always difficult from there, wasn't it? So, chance for Sunny. Well, if you're Sunny, you, you're just thanking your lucky stars that you got a chance. Oh, a absolutely. You, you, you've just got to be saying, saying to yourself right now, I've got a chance of seven five. My God. Make sure you take it and. Uh, it was paying a dollar five for for eight four, so um. Nice. That's more like even money. But you definitely want to be in sunny situation. Hey. Go Al, or he can he can snooker. Uh, I'm not really willing to say what he's going to do because I've been wrong quite a few times. Yeah, I'm, I think he, Sonny's going to be. We don't know what frame of mind he's in. No, I think Sonny is is probably just going to try and cover up here. 
He's got this ball next to the yellow down there, and I think he's potting. Okay, well, yeah, that was a. Uh, he was obviously trying to come down for the bottom red. I think he'd be taking that ball off the side rail and probably snooking up the top there. What are your thoughts? I mean, he might even he might even just cut the red in and just try and come, and back, run come back down where he wanted to be on this shot. Yeah, uh, okay. I think he might have already made up his mind. He wants to attack. Okay. But now he's looking at that red. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't do what either of us said. We've got other ideas. It's only got one shot, isn't it? Oh, he's giving away two, did he? Oh, yeah, two oh, shots. Oh, wow. I did, sorry, I didn't know that. Did you know that, Dan? No, none of us did. None of us did. So knew. it's not just us. Dan didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> and and if, if, if the people at home knew he had two shots, they're thinking, why would he sneak him when he's got two shots, you idiots? <laughs> So forget everything we just said. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, um, it wasn't the best two shots you've ever seen in your life. Uh, yeah. Probably could have done a bit more. I don't know what it was for, actually. I have no idea. Unless Sonny thought because he's 7-4 down, it's only fair that he gets two. He didn't feather the white, did he? I'm not sure. We'll find out from somebody. If he can, just, if he can cover a hole, it's, um, it'd be a good shot here from that. Although, it looks like the other, the other yellow goes as well, doesn't it? So maybe a guy's potting. Oh, look, oh, at, look this. at the nick. Oh. Look at the nick. Oh, my oh. goodness. You almost feel like he deserved more than that run. Oh, look, great pot. Yes, it was fantastic. Pot. I don't think it's on. I mean, did he get more? I think it's very close. Okay. Dan Lynch is going to check for us. He will let us know. Okay, well, Matt's probably thinking it's at least going over. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah, that was really, really good by Matthew. So. And that was very good by Sonny too. He stopped the obvious up and down. So um, yeah, what so do you reckon, Ronnie? He'll be well. looking at given two, maybe. Pushing this red to the left, back over towards the yellow. If he, if he can get the red onto the yellow and to make it touch, it'd be a pretty good shot, but I don't know how close that yellow is to the hole. If he can just if he can get that red right up tight with the yellow, it'd make it hard for Sonny to get it out at all. Um, that'd be a good shot. Um, yeah. But if he's going to leave him a shot on it, he needs to really kill one of his other reds, or the black. I think he's going to actually get out of the snooker. Yes, he did. So and probably this is a huge chance for Sonny because that's a big pocket up there for the double. Probably the a double. pretty low percentage you know, shot to get out of the snooker. Even if you get it, there's a good chance you're going to go in off or just snook yourself or mm. hit that red and the white's going to stay down there. So Yeah, Sonny is looking at that big double. It's not there. He's... He's got two shots again. We know that he's got two shots yes. this time. Um, you know, nothing wrong with getting it out altogether here because if he's not happy with where he is, he can, he can sneak it behind the black. He can sneak Absolutely it behind the black and can. the red. He's get it out. and then, get um, it out. And then see how you go from there. He might even be able to do some developing right here. He's got those two reds to land on, uh, land on at the top is what you want when you're developing balls. You want something to land on, something to guarantee that you're going to be able to pot afterwards. Um, so the opportunity is there. I just don't know. It looks like he's got the angle. So he might be going for a snook. Because if Matt gets out of the snooker, the black 
won't go up the top rail because he's going to block it with the red. So that's he's, what I'm thinking he's going to do he's, now. He's, he's pretty much got to make sure he's going to do that though, Ron. Yeah. He's got to force Matt to get out of this snooker to get the white up there for the middle. Just wants to block it. Um, yes, he has. It. He has blocked it. Well, that was pretty important. So Matt, if you're going to get out of this, you've got to give it a lot of pace, and I think he knows that. <laughs> you want to get up the back, up the other end of the table. Yes, he has to. And hopefully that you catch that yellow fine. So you hit it thick. White's well, not going to travel at all, but he may even be looking at the black now. But if he's going to play this black, it would have to be a very, very, very good shot. He's going to try and put that black on the yellow. Yes, absolutely. He's really got to sit it. Because Sonny's pumped. Yeah, no, it's um, yeah, a massive, massive opportunity for Sonny. And I wouldn't mm. be taking that one first, I don't think, unless the plant's easy enough. The plant's easy enough, and he just. As long Sonny, as he's, Sonny yeah. just wants to make sure he gets underneath the black. Yes. And, uh, so on that no, occasion, you, you'd probably just want to just try and get out the snooker, I think, because at least then you're a chance, yes, even if you're yeah, on the black. Absolutely, you're giving yourself a chance to win the frame, rather than uh, giving two and taking it. You know, I mean, that had to be absolutely perfection, didn't it? The really? shot that he tried was very yeah, hard. He's so. got to sit it right on it. Seen him do that against Luke Foster. Yes, and, I, uh, I saw that. Uh, uh, my uh, God, you know, and then Luke played the shot of the century. You sort of learn from that, surely. You know, that, that was the most amazing get out of jail I've ever seen anybody play in my life. But again, you know, Matt's thinking. He's thinking about things. Yeah, and absolutely. He's... And, and, and you would still play those shots every time. Yeah. That's very good, Sonny. Very good. Whoa. This should be... Uh, Sonny would be happy with 7-5. Seven, five, seven five. Oh, massively. And, uh, it could actually be a little bit worse right now, Ron. I mean... Would you say 8-4 is probably fair? I mean... Yeah, 8-4 would, would... I think Matt would be thinking I should be at least 8-4 eight eight four four up. And, and Sonny will be thinking, that's I pretty good. I should be 8-4 down. I'm pretty happy where I am I'm right happy now. with 5. Yes, yeah. uh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, 5-minute break. 5-minute break. And we'll see you shortly. Back.
and we are back after our second intermission and I have someone else next to me now, uh, Rocky Hammond, otherwise known as James. Hey guys, how's it going? How you going, Rocky? Not too bad, Rob. Enjoying the pool so far? Yeah, definitely, mate. It's been, um, yeah, it's been some real good pool and, yeah, a couple of mistakes here and there. Probably um, a little bit of pressure out there. But, uh, I, I think they've, 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 they've done pretty good so far. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird because they're both feeling it straight up just by looking at their body language, but, yeah, it's um, well, a couple it of... towards the end, we might see a little bit of, a little bit of more pressure, but, uh, you know, with 25 grand on the line, you've got to expect that. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's a bit different to playing for a grand, isn't it? Like, Could stand for the all the same. You know. No, these guys are playing awesome. Um, so you don't normally miss those, do you? Finding rubbles. Just saying that uh, on that break, Matt, well, during the break, Matt's probably thinking uh, more along the lines of 8-4. He'd be happy with 8-4 because he probably had opportunity in that last frame and Sonny would be happy with 7-5 so yeah for um, sure and saying that a bit on the other foot the way uh, the first four frames went in all fairness Sonny could have even gone 4-0 up but so I think Matt had a pot out of two there didn't he so uh, I, they started off pretty good both of them but, um, yeah there you are princess thank you no just um See how the next six unfold. Yeah, yeah if um, Sonny keeps with him all the way and gets level with him, it get a lot more interest, don't I? Yeah, well, if we're neck on neck all the way, then we are one third of the way through this match. Yay. Maximum 35 <laughs> frames. Just see if uh, anyone opens up a bit of a. If Matt can open up a lead. Or if Sonny can peg him back. And, um, yeah, I noticed... Um, a lot of people watching with interest. Ooh, tipped him the way Just through there. The, the yellow. Yeah. Not well, really wants not, to see his red. There's not really been... Um, during the match so far, there hasn't... Maybe only been probably three frames of the whole lot. Where they've just been like sitting ducks. The rest have just been... No like majorly easy appearance, but... I've had a couple go, of technical frames. And oh, how uh, good was that? Yeah, how good was the one where um, when Sonny and and uh, Matt had the black in the middle, and they when Sonny played the uh, snooker behind the black, and then Matt got him back, and and then Sonny got him back, and Matt got him back again, and then yeah, he played the black up the top there, and then uh, yeah, Sonny ended up setting it up. Yeah. yeah. We, we, just out of curiosity, I was discussing it with a couple of other people. Wouldn't, wouldn't you have had a crack at that? I would have probably liked to have seen him have a crack at it. He, I think he was trying to maybe put on a side rail or, or something. Mm. It's, um, it was a pretty pretty tough shot from there, yeah. to, to put it so. The long doubles aren't impossible, and if you can leave the wide up top top rail, then probably... Yeah, like a... In hindsight, uh, for Sonny, it would have been the way to go. But, you know, hindsight's a, a wonderful thing, thing sometimes. <laughs> Not, a, not always that easy when you're actually playing a shot. Yeah. We just had word that Rusty Wheeler is really enjoying the match, so that's great, Rusty. Keep watching. So is Mr. Wheeler coming over to your um, tournament that you're doing next year? He is. Uh, he actually called himself Kid Dynamite, Rocky. Kid uh, Dynamite. Roll out the red carpet. Kid Dynamite's come to Perth. Is I like it. His exact words. Um, I like it. So looking forward to having Rusty over here. Yeah, and we've just got an update on the fundraiser uh, down in Mandurah for the state team, uh, for the members of Mandra of Miss Q's, isn't it, Susie? Miss Q's members. Uh, so a fundraiser update. Car wash and sausage sizzle, uh, sausage sizzle were washed out, uh, and now they were counting on a cash comp turnout tonight. Uh, so we want a big turnout for our cash comp tonight at 7 o'clock. So please get down there and play in knockout at Miss Q's. Uh, and a big thanks to everyone who weathered the bad weather uh, and brought their cars down. We raised over $350 in the rain between cars and sausages. So well, $350 uh, for the members of Miss Q's for their state team uh, trip to the Nationals in Darwin. So well done, guys, and get down to Miss Q's tonight for the knockout. 
Yeah, no, Kerry puts a lot of um, effort into Miss Q's and everything she does there. And um, yeah, everyone enjoys playing as we all know. She's a brilliant She's host, Kerry. Oh, Hi, Kerry. Fun. You're watching. She'll be yeah. hosting the Western National, Rocky. Oh, that'd Miss be good. Hughes will be hosting the Western National. Couldn't, uh, couldn't be a better venue. Lovely tables, nice atmosphere, good service, friendly smile faces behind a bar. But, um, yeah. Hey, I was, I was actually playing snooker with Kerry till 12 o'clock last night. Yeah, you mentioned that. <laughs> Many centuries? Um, no, but she did say that anybody that does a 147 at Miss Q's, quote, 147, is going to get a lifetime membership. She stuck that out there. A lifetime membership? A lifetime membership. I think that's uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I potted a, potted a red and screwed into the uh, pack and then potted the black and then screwed it and opened them up and then went... So you were on the 147? I was on the 147, of course I was, but so I mean... you made the first eight points? I made points. the first um, eight points and it went sour after that. <laughs> well, you were on the 147, that's the main thing. A few balls short, but you'll get there. This is an interesting frame, that's a great shot by Sonny. Just turned it around. So it looks like we might have an, another little tactical battle on our hands here. Yeah, Sonny would be the um, yeah would be our WA tactician, wouldn't he, out of all of us, as he's been branded by quite yes, a lot of people. Yes, he's uh, been around a long time, Sonny. He he was back playing in the days of Avelino de Freitas when he was at his peak. Not sure if you know Avelino. I was going to say who's that. <laughs> Avelino, well. He's a master at the old rules, shot. and uh, you know, hmm. even towards the end of his career, he was still playing against Sonny. Um, so they were the two main tacticians here in Perth. A um, little bit different, obviously, with the, with the new rules. Um, was that Bapto rules back then? Pardon? Was that Bapto rules back then, not World rules? Obviously. Uh, I don't know. I think it's still World rules, but when they changed the rules to, you know, you have to get a cushion on every shot, things like that. Sonny, oh, yeah. Sonny adapted to it pretty well. Maybe, you know, probably better than Avelino, I think. Um, but two masters in their own time, and and even now, Sonny's still very good with the tactics. He's like a Australian uh, Keith Brewer, kind of. Really? Keith's pretty good with the tactics, is he? I haven't seen a lot of him. I've seen, probably saw oh, him Keith years Brewer, ago. Keith Brewer, tactics sensational. Yeah. He's, he's um, definitely been branded the uh, tactician of uh, the tournament that was in England. Always good to have that side of the game to back up on, Rocky. If you, you, know, if you can't pot out, good to have something to fall back on. And I've got neither. <laughs> oh, we know you do. <laughs> I'm a donkey. Matt's already proven it. <laughs> don't be modest. Matt made a donkey out of me as well, so don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, so, this goes right. Yeah, going to go for the, yeah, that's what we'll be doing here. No, he's going to play it safe, that's a very good shot by Sonny. That's uh, wise, wise shot. I guess when you can play that, what's the point of uh, having a jab at him and risking leaving the yellow over the pocket as well, by playing the uh, triple? Another plant. The Another plant, the yeah, plant. yeah, yeah. Mm. I suppose it's a better shot, but just looking at it, it looks like that yellow would be veering off to the side right-hand rail. If he did play the cannon, the, the red would stay down the bottom as well, and he would hold the white, obviously. Well, Sonny has the best view, so he obviously didn't think it was the right time, or the right shot to play, but the way he played that red up top, he played it just about perfectly. Hmm. That's a good shot by Matt. Uh, you know, there's going to be a time, Sonny's just going to have to say, OK, I'm going, and this would have to be it. Um, yeah, so, I'll say in a minute, he'll be looking at playing to get out of this, off the side row, and playing the cannon, instead of putting the red in the top and then playing it. I can't see the exact position of the balls, but I can't see why he wouldn't just go for this, uh, yeah, yeah. and he is yeah. going to. So I, don't know, I was thinking there, for the way he was queuing, I thought he was going to be queuing off the side rail to play the cannon, but yeah, don't know why I thought that. Make or break. He just wanted the right angle with the white as well. You need the right angle with the white, make sure that everything's going to be on 
next shot. So he's pretty happy with it now, I think. And as you say, the red will be on the bottom cushion and the yellow to the side. And just That's a like great that. shot. Yeah, it's one of those little delicate shots, isn't it? You can't really pump it or like well, to take go it wrong. the right angle. They can go wrong, but if you... He's obviously happy with it. He executed that pretty perfectly. Ooh. And, ooh, the crowd just went, <laughs> because we all thought that was going to go <laughs> about another foot. Go silent up there. <laughs> ooh, and he gives it the big Q pump. Fist pump. He's back to 7-6. He, he would be very, very happy with this. And a good effort, too. Because it could have been a gift, uh, bigger gap than that. Nice. He's getting pumped, Sonny. He's getting pumped. Looks like it's going to go all the way to the wire. Ooh, a minute. I know, um... I don't know if what I've seen when, when Matt's under the pressure, he uh, closes up a little. Um, but once he gets a couple of frames in front, from what I've seen, he normally opens up and, you know, it's a pretty hard man to stop. Yeah, uh, and... Uh, minutes uh, and he's holding on in there and doing pretty well, really. Yeah, toe to toe. Well, we're just saying, it's... Uh, when you're actually out there and you're, you're playing, it's, it's a whole lot tougher than than us watching but but I was saying before Matt has he's used to this type of pressure well maybe not this atmosphere but he's used to the, the match pressure especially in the last 18 months he's played some massive matches so well, I wouldn't it. I wouldn't uh, expect it to um, overwhelm him at the minute yeah overwhelm him or, or affect him too much yeah. uh, but you know when someone gets on a roll and they get pumped up like Sonny seems to be doing now then and Matt needs to find a way to stop that and that's when a truly good player can stop you, is they won't let this sort of overrun them. They'll yeah. be able to find a way to stop them. And and if Matt can take his chances now and put a stop to the right, um, you know, yeah. it's going to make it a lot harder for Sonny, but that's what he needs to do. No, so I 100% and I, agree. And I would think that Matt is certainly capable of doing that. Oh, definitely. I like the way... Um like how Sonny always plays with his tactics and mind games on the pool table, which we all know is exception to that. And then, as you've seen, he's he done that sort of the first five, six frames. In the last five or six, he's actually had a go and opened up a bit, and he's speeded up a little. Well, yeah, quite he's quite looking, he's, he's looking a lot more confident now, Sonny. Hmm. Just his body language as well, standing there now with his hands on his hips and jiggling his yeah. cues. He does. He looks, he looks happy, confident. Giving Matt something to think about, but um, yeah. In all honesty, Matt doesn't look 100% himself. <laughs> that was almost a genius, genius shot. <laughs> <laughs> Double rattle, bottom rail, rattle. <laughs> yeah, and no, Matt, Matt looks comfortable, but not 100%. Probably doesn't look quite as comfortable as he did at the beginning. I think he, I think they both look pretty good the first four or five frames. Yeah, um, Matt. Yeah, it seems like it's just dropped off that little bit. Nothing major, but I mean, noticeable. But, but they've got time, you know, it's a long race. Um, yeah, it is. Just tip of the iceberg at the minute. Lap ups and downs. So, what's Sonny on? Oh, Matt, I mean. There's pocket down the bottom right here, I guess. But if he takes it, you know what's on there, doing straight away. Red on to red and cover it again. This is not easy to cover either, eh? Well, it's really difficult. I don't think he's going for the cover. I actually think he's going to clear the pocket. And, um, you reckon? Yeah, I think he is, because... Told you he was going for the cover. Yeah, you were right, Rocky. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think he was thinking, I've got enough balls on the table, I can probably try and develop this, this yellow at the top right, but that's worked out really nice. Bloody oath. Yeah, I guess he goes for it. He's, like I say, he's got two balls there that he can use to get the uh, yellow out on the top right hand corner there. But as it happens, we don't need to talk about it because it didn't happen. 
I'm loving these comments, people all watching and happy with the with the with the streaming, Dan, happy with the commentary, which is great. So, Mike and Mayana, uh, I, I guess they're back in Kalgoorlie. So, hello to you two. Thanks for watching. And uh, Paul Dickinson's watching as well. Dicko. We love Dicko. Hi, Dicko. He says um, they're not quite free-flowing. I won't say his exact words, but uh, I hope you're enjoying the, the stream, Paul. Kerry uh, from Miss Cusa sent a message. Thank God, thanks guys, you're awesome. Cheers, Kerry. We know we are. <laughs> <laughs> was that to your phone? Was it, Rocky? Ew. Oh yes. I Why? Don't it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that wrong. Wrong number. <laughs> now, does he have an angle? <laughs> Dicko's just sent a message. Do you reckon I should repeat it? <laughs> no. Sorry, Dicko. Computer says no. What we'd like, Paul, is for you to come down to the venue and support you. Yes, you could. Instead of texting us and uh, leaving us to do your dirty work. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, if Matt, if Matt can pull off this double, he's a very big chance of taking this frame out. And he's, uh, yeah, it's would be huge if he gets us bring the house down. 100% focus on the pot and see what we can do. Played it well. Beautiful shot. Brilliant, Kieran. That we brilliant, just Kieran. Another, another couple of inches, but he might. I just don't know if he can get on the... Uh, what do you reckon he's going to do here? Load of bottom with a shitload of left and go on to the underside of the black. Sorry about my S word there, folks. Sorry. My language isn't the best. I'm trying to behave. Yeah, do you reckon he'll uh, screw into the middle and just go to the underside of the black and... Try well, and get that, across to that, the uh, yellow for the bottom left corner, do you reckon? That's one option. Difficult shot, but it looks like that's the way he's playing. If he can get underneath the yellow and come back out, see what he can do. Underneath oh, the yellow yeah, and come yeah. back out. Yeah, it's not quite. Beautiful angle. Do you know what it might be an idea for the lads do? Because they've been playing on it for so long. Now it's been uh, 11 frames would be... Uh, to brush the table and iron it, maybe. Slowing down a, a yeah. little bit, do you think, Rocky? I, I'd say so, definitely. It's I a lot they slower did than what it was. Break, but I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, he's got a two. That was Dicko put us off the game. Yeah. From Dicko. We've got to stop talking so much. Well done, Matt. Yeah, good cheer, Matt. And, uh, both players now, Rocky, they are getting pumped. The good. adrenaline is running, the emotions are flowing, and it's great. Everyone's it's getting into it. Yes. The atmosphere is building. Six no. eight. Eight six Matt. Can you imagine what it'd be like if it went all the way to the wire at 17 all final frame? Look, I think everyone would love to see that. Um, that would be pretty tense. <laughs> <laughs> and the way it's going seat. at the moment, there's every chance it's going to be a close finish. So, uh, Mrs. Yep, that's, uh, Mrs., uh, Matt's Bowens. wife just came past. She's pretty pumped as well. Beer, giving us a thumbs up. Yep. She's bringing, she's thinking the same thing as as, as Cod, which is uh, Sonny's wife. Bring home the money and, and take me out for a nice meal. Exactly. Maybe even to a hotel. I reckon it'd be crown tonight without the it? kids. Penthouse suite. Pretty uh, Chinese there, 200 bucks a head. Yeah, well the champagne will flow for whoever wins this match, I'm telling you. It's going to be a big night. The Moe. That's a nice break by uh, Matt there. Yeah, certainly a lot more voice at the moment. People are getting into it. Do you know, the breaks haven't... They've been nice splits, but I mean... Like they, that, that been, so much, yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of work had to be done to... To clear them, there's been no dot to dots that your sister would get, you know. I don't. Do you have a sister? I've got two. Oh, the, you know what I'm talking about. Cool. Uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, um, I know what you mean. Sometimes they spread nicely and they're all on, and other times there's always that one or two awkward ones. And yeah, they're having to do a little bit of work, but. Uh, and he's gone for the hard one now. You got all it. In all, the quality has been pretty good. I think Ooh. both of them are doing very well for the. The situation, twenty-five thousand dollars on the line. Just a huge, uh, huge amount of money, eh, for for April. 
I've never seen anything like that in England. Now, or Rocky, I know that spell. this is the biggest money match uh, in WA of all time. Um, I'm not certain on the history in Australia. So mm. if anybody has uh, has information on any other really big money matches in Australia, then send it through uh, on, on the YouTube chat. Interested to know if there's any that uh, around this, this mark. It's 25 grand, a lot of money. So if anybody knows of any, send them through. Maybe a couple in Victoria or, or South Australia I don't know about. Hmm. Yeah, I know, um, I know, uh, what was his name? Um, uh, mind blank. Oh, that's unlucky. They like that. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the two twins, Appleton brothers? Sh not Shane. Darren. Uh, Darren, Darren Appleton. Um... I think it was him and Ronan McCarthy from memory. They had a really big uh, money match back in England. That was like £20,000 each, which was a lot of money, obviously. Especially when your uh, pound goes double what it does here. <laughs> yeah, no doubt there'd be some big ones overseas. I'm just uh, curious about Australia. So, I, know Sorry, that, I, know that, no, I know that Ronan McCart McCarthy came over here and played Mark Williams in 2003. I'm pretty sure that was for at least 10,000, but I can't be totally sure. So if anybody's got some info on that, send it through. Um, Matt just fell out of position. That's oh, what a shot. That's what a naughty. shot. That's that is a naughty. brilliant shot. <laughs> Threaded the needle, put Straight the black over there, it. blocked the pocket, <laughs> left the white on the red, which I think is okay for Sonny, but gee whiz, that was some shot. So who's on the uh, news feed on here then? Warren Ackery, Daniel Marshall, Steve Jamison. Are they all Vic boys? SA boys? I believe Steve Jamison is from Ireland, is that right Dan? I heard him commentating the other night, is that right? No, no, that was Ryan Kennedy. Was it? Uh, sorry Steve. Uh, Steve Victoria? Jamison is TV. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Victorian, yes. Hmm? Warren, is he from Victoria? No, Warren Ackery? No. I reckon that uh, black goes past that yellow eye. We've got, anyway, we've got people watching from all over Australia, so... Yeah, it's good, good to have them all. Yeah, Sonny's got a uh, pretty straightforward out here if the black goes past that yellow in the bottom corner. Just gotta play this and get on it nicely, but this won't be easy. Gotta miss that middle. Mm, certainly got a chance. Mm. We're looking to leave this. If that eight does pass through, past the yellow, he'll be Keep looking to leave that this, this awkward red till last. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've got information. Mark Williams uh, played Ronan McCarthy for twenty thousand, and Ronan won, and that was in Adelaide. Pretty sure that was 2003. Remember that one? That was the Empire Nationals. Oh, yeah. So thank you to whoever sent that through. Mike Williams, Rona McCarthy, 20,000. Yeah, big one. Is that 20,000 each? Or is that the whole prize fund? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Rocky. I don't think we'll mention that one. <laughs> I think it was the total, just like this one. Ah, oh, yeah. Cool. Still pretty huge, there's no difference already, eh? I know of another big one over in Victoria. Uh, Paul Dickinson played Michael Skerry. That was for, I think, uh, 3,000. Did you say that? Hmm? Did you already say that, did you? 3,000, um, Paul Dickinson and Michael Skerry. 3,000. Yes. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good game to watch. 15, 14 to uh, Dicko. And another one just came through. Uh, Hawk, is there a last name for that? Hawk from Sydney. Hawk from Sydney played Ben Noonan in American 8 Ball for $10,000 each. I wasn't aware of that one. Thank you to Mikey Cacciola. Ooh, so he's in the run that a bit. And um, I wonder who won that one, Mike. Can you. Benny, Benny won it? It's on Q. Oh, it's on Q Ball TV. Hawk versus Noonan, 10000 each. Big shot, everyone. And this is the money ball for Lister. Mm. Not easy from here. 
And he mustn't play it too slow because he catch the yellow and snook himself. Oh, what a big shot. Could have been 8-7 and it could still be 8-7. It's, it's not easy. Not over yet. Not easy for Matt. Not over till my mum sings. Yeah, this isn't uh, easy because it's got to pop the uh, yellow up from the top there and use the one over the bag to to get onto the other yellow, really. So it's pretty pretty to order, isn't it? Not unless he's going to well, play safe and cover the bag and leave the water on the side rail. I think he's probably going to go. He's got plenty of room underneath that, that right-hand yellow to get underneath and, and yeah, because he can land it anywhere. Pockets. Yeah, he can land it anywhere within a square foot bottom side of it. To uh, yeah, like you say, got three pockets. If he underruns it. You got the top pocket, corner pocket in the middle on the middle left there. Thank you. Ooh, got food. This looks good. One of those. Yes. And he's got huge, that one. huge shot by Matthew Golden. Beautiful touch with the side. It's a great curious, isn't he? Oh, very good. Yeah! Yeah! Well done, Matt Golden. That's a beautiful finish there. Just that one ball, just Kerry. half a centimetre. Could have been eight, seven. Kerry from Miscues well uh, just sent us a photo of the live feed. They've got it up on the wall on Miscues. How cool is that? The live feed is, is on, on the big screen on at Miscues. <laughs> That's wow. wicked. Look at that. She said it's pretty electrifying even at Miscues. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Is That's cool, eh? I wonder if the commentary's on the, on the speakers there. Um, I'm maybe pretty sure we'll find out because Kerry's uh, obviously now going to text us because uh, the whole room, I no doubt, can hear us. <laughs> Well, the room looks great there, Kerry. Glad you're enjoying everything. The match. We've got party pies coming around, so we're well taken care of here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Actually, isn't bad, eh? Very nice. What else do you want? Thank you. Oh, put a few on that, buddy. Check it hmm. Cheers. Yeah, because we're wasting away, aren't we, Ron? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to reset. Now it's Matt 9-6, opening up that three-game buffer again. Mm. It's a um, big one for both of them. Maggot's in front. He opens up four in front, and that's, uh, that's a tall order to chase him from there. You know, four or five frames isn't insurmountable, but when you're getting close to the end, you don't yeah. want to be 15, 10 down. Do you know what? Um, the amount of, amount of times um, when I was on tour in England, you play races to seven. The amount of times I've seen six nils up and lost seven six is not funny. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's all the breaks. About, it's all one frame pull. So, hmm. yeah, one, one frame at a time. Exactly. No lead is insurmountable, but you just have to take that approach one frame at a time. There you go. <laughs> just what's mountain here, yellows. Mm. That's unlucky by Matt there. But it's killed a red, kind of. Oh, just to clarify, that money batch I was talking about with Paul Dickinson and Scary, it was 6,000 total. Not 3,000 total, it was 6,000 oh, total. Really? So, what's a decent bit of money? I wonder if there'll be a rematch there somewhere along the line. Yeah, I'd like to see that one. If uh, maybe Scary makes his way over to Perth for the big comp, or maybe uh, maybe Dicko will travel, I'm not sure. Maybe be a good rematch. Yeah, I was, I was chatting to Dicko earlier. He was saying about um, going over east next year to play a lot of snooker. And, um, okay. Yeah. Um, Look out. Dicko on the snooker table. Hmm. So Sunny's on reds here. And one ball tied up on the left-hand side. And 
probably can't go game unless you... I wonder if he can double that red. If he doubles that red and it goes, it'll be over, but if he misses, he's 10 6 down. Maybe if he could um, play the one in the bottom low and screw back. Oh no. Yeah, sensible. Played a containing shot, I don't think the. Yeah, because well. Matt, Matt's got his yellow tied up and Sonny's only left him on the. The one colour he could have kicked his red out near the yellow to do a finish. So it's a pretty clever shot, really. Well, it's a good shot because Sonny's, Sonny's reds are on. Um, Dim they've, both, they've both got one problem ball. No, thanks. I've just had one. Shot too by Matt. Very good shot. Well done. So look, now Matt's one, one shot ahead, really. I mean, if, if Sonny just covers his hole, Matt doesn't really need to do anything special but knock his yellow out. So, the shot that, just, that Matt just played then was pretty clever, but Sonny might just be looking at a double if he, if he wants to attack. Do you know what? But if, you're Matt, if you're Matt now. Can really just knock this yellow out. I mean, yeah, that's either way, it's going to be a tough pot out for Sonny. Yeah, Don't I think afraid. I think Matt will, Matt will see it. He won't. There's no way he'll leave that there. He will. He wouldn't think anyway. I think he might. But the way I'm looking at it is, if, if if he knocks it out, he's that one shot ahead, and, and Sonny can go for the out. But there's a, a bit, of, bit, of, bit, of, bit of traffic to navigate. Although from where they're, they're, they're sitting, um, maybe it's a bit easier from, from here, but it, the right shot is probably just to knock this yellow out. Especially... Mm. Not a bad shot, but... Well, so he, no donkey. it was a very good shot if uh, he didn't want to be able to hit his red. Nah, it's supposed to be a rough on that top left hand right away. So if he can develop this nicely, uh, then Sonny wins the frame. He just has to get on his last red. But You can see where he's see. thinking? You can see what Matt was thinking there? Yeah, yeah um, 100%. But all he's got to do is just set that up on that over the middle, over there. If he can double that dead straight across and the channel the white between the yellow and the black and give himself an angle. Or do that. My goodness. Can't Get out of the way, Dom. Heads in the way. <laughs> Has he got a result there? Mm. Is it? Might, Just there might be able to get a different angle. No, no angle. Dom's in the way. Just say, wouldn't you have um, doubled the red across the table and took the white off the side, bottom row, and gone between the yellow and the black and left yourself an angle on the red as this played? Maybe. It's hard to tell, but. He, he wanted to be on the red, on that top red, that shot, yeah. obviously. Um, yeah, because I guess if you're pumping that, as long as that red doesn't land on the far right hand right above that yellow, and you're guaranteed to land on his red up top like he did and pot it, I suppose you can get position anywhere. Yeah, you can take it. It's all yours. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say earlier, you know, there's quite a few people said that, you know, Matt, there's no way Matt will beat Sonny because he's such a good tactician and, and everyone said there's no way that Sonny's going to beat Matt because he's going to pot out. But, all oh, honesty, um, you know, Sonny can pot out when he wants to. He's, he's great. More of a tactician player. Oh, but Sonny I mean, can pot. But, uh, but from on Matt's side of things, people saying that, you know, he can pot out like anyone. But um, at the end of the day, the Rocky, sides you need to lacking. finish the frame off. And um, yeah, but I reckon Matt, Matt is, uh, yeah, his tactical side of pull, I think, is pretty damn good. Very good, actually. He's thinking very well. He's played the game for a few years now, so he's picked up a lot. He's on the gallows, and uh, well, you got two shots now. So uh, you're distracting yes. me again. Yeah, he's got two shots. <laughs> yeah, he's got two shots, so... 
He doesn't have to rush anything here. His ball's out into nice positions. Maybe try and get another two shots. And then eventually he can, he can dig that yellow out. Because yeah, all, well, as you know, all Sonny's going to do is just keep putting yellows down there. If he gives uh, being given a chance. Yeah. It's not. Sonny's in a good position here because even if Matt does get two shots, he can't kick the yellow out and the black at the same time. So, yeah, Sonny's in a very good position at the minute. And I dare say Sonny will be playing that yellow down in between the black and the... Well, sort of close to the uh, corner bag where the red is. Obviously, he doesn't want to overcomplicate things. Yeah, I'd actually almost prefer to be in Matt's position here because Sonny will put his balls, make him run out of balls, but Matt's yellow isn't in a really bad spot. If he can get it out, he can even get out this shot and find a snooker. And if he could do that, he'd be in a very good position. Um, Just the only thing is, like even if he has got two shots and he's got to have one over the bag, um, get the yellow out near the red, but he's still got to get back down for the black with one shot. No, he doesn't have to rush it, Rocky. He can he can get it out with two, find a snooker, and get another two shots. So he's got his yellow out. Yeah, true. He's got his yellow out. The uh, pretty tall order, but and then another uses another shot to get a snooker. Try and get another two. Yeah, no, I see it. So. Just where that black is, it's just so awkward. Because it'd be nice if you could play the, like the, white off the bottom row and kick the yellow out. But well, Sonny might do the same thing. He might just keep potting his balls. He might try and put another one down there. But looks like he's just going to pot his balls. Yeah, and hug the white on the side of the row. Okay, now, now Matt has to do it eventually. Because you can't leave that, you can't pot all these balls and then try and get his yellow out because then he's still going to be a pretty tough yeah, spot. that's he what I was saying. That's why Matt's got to be a little bit careful, really. That's very good thinking. Yeah, he does that and get both of them out and play the one up the top. That's very, very good thinking. That's huge. I didn't even see that coming, you? So, you, well, you no, but you probably just see Sonny put the black back down there. Yeah, I know. Something <laughs> <laughs> you can do that all day. Um, there's going to come a time when Matt just has to say, OK. <laughs> yeah, you've got to go for out. it. Like I say, if he just keeps like, hitting him around, Sonny's just going to pot it and leave the wide up top and then say, there you go. And he's got to get it out. And well, another, another option he's got now with the balls laying the way they are, if he could cover this, this bottom left red, uh, yellow, if he can cover that hole and then, and then get the black over to that hole, that wouldn't be a bad option either. But now yeah. he's moved that yellow, he can't do that, so that's OK. Yeah. He might even just be going to cover this. Like I say, I'd rather be in Matt's position all day long, even now. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's got to work for it though. Not a lot, Sonny, you can do. He's got to try and keep making sure his balls aren't in the spot where he can just knock it out and, uh, and still have his two shots. So now. I mean, if you were Matt, I can't see exactly how that red, red and yellow is sitting. But to me, you just should, you should smash be it and run it out. Maybe just knock it out. Mm. I mean, you might not land on the yellow. That black's in a tricky spot. But um, you don't want to be in a situation where Sonny's potted your last yellow and then leaves you at the top of the table. And yeah. then, you, then you're trying to knock that yellow out with two shots, and that's your only ball on the table. It's not you got to land on it. So he really needs to make a decision to go. Get that yellow out of there. It'd be better off um, just laying that yellow in the middle of the table and taking the white up there. That's a good shot. 
the only thing is, he doesn't really achieve anything. Sonny can just play the white to the, to the corner pocket. He can do anything. He just he can make sure that Matt can't really do anything with these two. But um, he's stopped Sonny from potting it, though, which is what he was saying about. He's played that, so he doubled it over there, so Sonny can't pot it. So now he's got an opportunity when he comes back. If that stays there, he can then kick the other one out and hold the white there. And he's got four, you know, four pockets to stick the yellow in. And then wherever the but, other one goes, it goes. Matt has just played the yellow towards that pocket. It's to Sonny's advantage. Uh, see, now now Matt will probably go for it. Play off the bottom rail, kick that yellow out. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see what he's going to do. I don't think he is. He's, he's not really comfortable with it. Maybe it's, maybe it's touching the red and he thinks that if he, if he tries to kick it out, it's going to, to bot the yeah. red. I'm not sure. It might be tired of what it looks on the TV. Yeah. If that was me, I'll be playing it now. It'd be, it'd be nice to see the actual angle, like the yellows onto the red, whether he can actually smack it, smash the yellow onto the red that hard and just make it draw in a pocket and and uh, rattle out. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think that that option's on. You're right. You could smash it, the red out with one shot, but it looks like it's going straight in. I think. Yeah. I mean, Matt can't put his yellow. If he puts his yellows in big strife. Um, if Sonny puts his yellow for him, he still could be in big strife. It's not a bad shot. <laughs> this is a pretty hard pot for, for Sonny. <laughs> Who knows what he's going to do here. He's, he's been in this situation a thousand times, but... Because you know, he doesn't want to play that down softly and leave it over the pocket. That's the last thing Sonny wants to do. No, absolutely not. He needs to play a containing shot mm. uh, where Matt just can't pot out. But he's put Matt in a spot where he can't get his yellow out and he's had opportunities to be able to get his yellow out and he hasn't done it. Mm. Um, do you know the amount of times I've done that, eh? You get, you get down to it and you think, geez, I wish I got that out earlier and just done it. And then you end up, you know, getting closer and closer and then again in this situation, then it's just a consistent stalemate. What are the, actually, what are the rules with this? Is it the ref's discretion if you don't proceed after three shots each? That's the ref's discretion, isn't it? Or is that the player's I, discretion? I, I, from memory, I think if three players foul consecutively but it's because they don't hit their own ball. Two players. Oh, sorry, two players make three consecutive fouls because they haven't hit their own ball. I'm pretty sure that's a stalemate. Oh, right, so yeah. you've got a, a, a red, a yellow and then the black right over the hole. Yes, that would and obviously Matt can't do that because he'll lose. <coughs> well, I'll be foul snooker. Uh, you, you won't get a stalemate from here. Nah. Um, nah. Eventually one of them is going to open it up for the other one and you know if I was Sonny he'd be trying to pot his yellow if he got a chance he just got to pot his yellow and leave it white up near that top right hand corner and then Matt's in big trouble Matt just has to make sure that doesn't happen so uh, just then I don't know why Matt didn't play the yellow off the bottom rail kick the black up out of the way and then play safe again and then leave it in such a way it's that hard for Sonny to play safe on him so he had an opportunity just then to play the yellow off the bottom rail kick both of them out and then he's got his next shot, set the yellow up over the pocket, so Sonny can't bring it back down again. If Sonny, if Sonny puts the yellow over the pocket, oh sorry, if Matt puts the yellow over the pocket, Sonny can still pot that yellow and put the red, uh, put the white ball up the top right hand corner. Oh yeah, if but it depends, that, depends where the trouble. black was. Oh yeah, but it depends where the black was though. When it kicked, I'm saying if it kicked it out and it landed good, the black landed good, then you, you could have played that shot. But then you're playing off the bottom rail, blind man shot as to where the yellow's gone, and the chance of landing on it. Like kicking it out with your first shot. So, does he have two or one? No, he's got two. Right. He's got two, so now he's in a spot where, yes, he can get it out, but he's left it to last. So, let's hope we can get a result for, well, for Matt's sake anyway. He might not get a result. And this is why you do it when you've got a few more balls on the table. Exactly. That's unlucky. 
And that is the perfect example. Yep. Why well, you don't leave it to last. Because <laughs> things like that can happen. He's got one shot. Still unlucky, but there's always that chance it's going to go wrong. <laughs> there's one mad shot here, and it's the kind of thing I'd have a go at doing. Put it in the top right hand corner and screw off the knuckle. Come across for the black. Off the knuckle, <laughs> Rocky. It's doable. Yep, it's doable. Doable. It's fun straight on the pot. And it's straight into the knuckle and back for the black. Probably the only shot, you know, he's lying it up. He's looking at it. <laughs> unless, he, yeah, unless he wants to just tri sort of trickle Ooh. off it and snooker ah, him. But, he's uh, playing safe. No, no, he's, he's, he's playing he's safe. going with the rocky knuckle. No, no, he's playing safe. Oh, no. Oh, he's going with the rocky double. Uh, I think he came off you, both jaws. He came off two. That's rude. That was even better than yeah, your, I know, your single knuckle shot, Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Matt. Making me look bad. Yeah. Thanks. Are they free? Yeah. Oh. That was huge. And That's he's massive, that is. Well done, Matt. High fives all around. We've got two more frames and then, and then a break. Yeah, that's fine. Rocky's just having a two minute break. We'll be back in a second. You can see the uh, the emotion building up and, and coming out the last, uh, when he put that black. You knew that was a big frame. It was either 10, 10 6 or 9 7. 10 6 to Matt. an update on the the live streaming 181 viewers now watching from home or wherever they are um, which is great to see and uh, the numbers certainly haven't diminished here thank you probably at least still at least 120 at the venue so a good 300 people watching this match at the moment which is great to see all around Australia a couple of people have predicted then that it's um, see you later Sonny and probably don't think he can get back into the match but there's still plenty of pool to be played so we'll see how it unfolds I think 10-6 um, I think Sonny needs at least one of the next two I mean if Matt goes in 12-6 it's going to be pretty hard to catch him I just uh, caught up with uh, Matt and the uh, gents and um, just uh, said what an awesome shot it was in the knuckle and uh, yeah, he said, did you like that baby? <laughs> did you like that baby? <laughs> and, uh... He loved it. His, his, his yeah. pump, mate, his, his, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he was pumped, yeah. all right. He's pumped he now. come on. I think, uh, I think he'll open up now. You'll see a different Bolton now. Yet again. Well, this is crunch time for Sonny. Yet, yet again, a, another break that's spread good, but it's just that little 20% extra work you got to do. Yep, one of those days. And it wasn't open table awesome. though, Rocky, so hmm? it was an open table though, so he's played the plant mm. and it opened them up pretty nicely now. I'll so revert back to my um, dot to dot sister comment now. <laughs> well, a little bit of work to do, but you know. He's 10 6 down and uh, he's running out of time, so he really needs to be taking his opportunities now, Sonny. Yeah, he's, he's got to go for these for sure. Get some confidence back and pile the pressure back on that. Just needs to dig deep, make sure. But in his mind, he was thinking one frame at a time. Just mm. make sure I win this frame. 
it's not a um I can't visually see a, I can I can't like visually see a majorly easy way of putting out here eh? he, he may have just made it a little bit more difficult I, I'm not sure hmm. I don't want to just trickle that in go behind the red come off the cushion just land behind it with a bit of left he's on it but I, I, maybe I, he's I, not. I don't think it actually landed on he kind of pushed that red into a really bad spot But the longer this goes, the more Matt is going to start to flow. You can already tell he's, he's kind of walking around the table a little bit more like he owns it now. Um, and Sonny has to, has to stop him. Yeah, I think then, like, Sonny got the unlucky cannon on the, on the red, which, which stopped him. But, uh, yeah, just then Sonny had a good opportunity to, to pot out then. I think he really needed that, eh? Just, just to just to get that women free and put the pressure back on and you know but obviously yeah, he hasn't well, done he, it he certainly doesn't want to give away too many more frames nah that's a very nice shot on that because if you let Matt hit his straps and um, fill him full of confidence he's going to be very very difficult to catch yeah no like, like I say Sounds wrong, but the way he came out the toilets, he uh, looked like he was going to be the uh, Scandinavian Express train. Okay. That's the first one. I've never heard that one before. What? That's a good one. Scandinavian Express train. Hmm. We'll see what he can do. Unstoppable. <laughs> you don't want to get in his way. <laughs> Mind you saying that. A perf train would do the same damage. <laughs> well, I'm going to make a prediction here. There's going to be a couple of more t uh, twists to come. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it'll be a runaway 18-8 victory or anything. I think that Sonny is going to show something. Um, no, of course, well, Sonny doesn't give up. He's a, Sonny's a machine at this. Just, this tactics is his game. Full stop. Um, and the guy can pot out as oh, well as anyone pot. else. He can pot. He, but I think these, I think he's got some more to give here. And um, don't be surprised if you see it bridged back to one or two frames of difference. Ah, geez, Matt's only four frames in front. That's uh, nothing, really. Long way to go. So that's got to be a little bit careful here. Sonny's in a pretty good spot. Um, Matt doesn't have a shot, so... All he can really do is make sure that Sonny doesn't get a shot on his next one. I don't know. I don't think he can kill any of his yellows. I don't think he can kill the black. Um, he's got to come up with something pretty good here, Matt. Hmm. He might be trying to kill the black. No. No, look, they're all there now for Sonny. And this is his chance. This is his chance to get back to 10-7, settle, and then focus on the next frame, 10-8. Hmm. But finish these off first, Sonny. They're all there. He's got to, um, it's not, it's not as easy as what it looks, because he's got to work his way around the table and get up to the one in the middle on the right hand side, and he's got to land top side of it to pot it. I think that's got to be his last ball and screw out a foot and a half of the black in the bottom left corner. Uh, in an ideal world, he'd want to get on it. And one of the most important things in eight ball is shot selection, what? Rocky. And, uh, yeah. You see, can make it hard for yourself, or you can make it easy for yourself, but see, you why, need to go for it then. Why there, you know, I'm not putting something down or saying anything, but I mean, why why didn't he just pop that then, and then run the wide up, pop the one over the left hand middle? I don't know why he didn't pot and out. Then... <laughs> that's, that's the short answer. I don't know. Yeah. He's just given, obviously Matt missed that. He shouldn't have missed that, but he's given Matt chances he shouldn't be having. Well, he's lucky, really? to get, he's lucky to get back at the table. He's, yeah, true. He's lucky to be back at the table, Sonny. I'm not saying that Matt was in a really great position, but when you've got the chance, you've got to take it. So, we've got four balls. Sorry. 
So this should be Sonny's bread and butter. Yeah, Come on, Lester, nice. pull it back. You know, amazing how um, you see a easy this one. is, and you know sometimes. Oh, under normal circumstances, you do with your eyes closed, wouldn't you? Yeah, <laughs> and when you're out there in, in this situation, it makes it so much harder. He got a little kick, and he's asking for the white ball to be cleaned. Right, fair call. Cool. I'll do the same. Just compose himself. Yeah, how very how was that when um, I've forgotten the ref's name. What's his name? That is Kieran McCrory. Kieran, that's it. Should know that should know already. Young Irish <laughs> lad. Oh, he's been here for many years, but uh, yeah, when, he uh, thinks he's pretty funny, Kieran, and he is actually. He's a bit of a jokester. Good as me. As good as you. Can't beat problems, mate. Come on, don't <laughs> don't pay the Irish out me. He's, he's pretty good, Kieran. <laughs> no, he's a funny I chap. I started playing Super League with Kieran when I was 13 years old. Really? So that was 20 years ago. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Known him for a while. He's, he's a good guy. Ooh, let's see what I mean. That easy and he's made it that hard now. Should still be running out all day long, but I mean, he's made Ooh. the shot missable. That looks like a hard cut, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. That, that yellow is really tight in that jaw, eh? Right? He'll be cutting it in, the white will be running the underside of the black. He's going to play safe. Surely not. Oh. Oh. Pretty good recovery, Sonny. A minute there, it looked like he was queuing down into the cushion. And he sighs a big sigh of relief yeah, seeing that black go Sonny. in and uh, they're the so important ones. Sonny be relieved with that. If you're struggling and you can win your frames, that's when it counts. So well done. Yeah, what's going on there? there? One more frame and we'll have another that? five minute break. There's a bit of pandemonium in the ring then. Gordon was uh, looked a bit upset. Was going over to the uh, Lister side of the uh, pool table. I don't know what that was about. Well, we've got Matt Gordon. grabs hold of him and beckoned him back. Yeah, we've got Gordon Whitaker in the ring. He's yeah. having a word to Matt. I don't know what's happening we'll take there. Gordon on. Gordon like is uh, Matt's that was right about. hand man, as we yes. know. Um, so I might have a couple of words of advice for the for the champion. Gordon Whitaker, what a sure. beautiful man. I'm not sure what's happening there. He's a pretty funny guy as well. Yeah, I love old Gordy. No, both uh, both parties are good people. Sonny, Matt, and all the supporters have been real good at the minute. A lot of banter. Oh, yeah, everyone's well behaved and enjoying you know, it. It's uh, been no uh, funny business or anything. It's been, it's been good. We had up to 180 people watching online, Rocky. Really? And currently got pretty much that figure, 175, 174. That's good. It's in a bad venue either, eh? Right? For, for this type of thing, one pool table in the middle. Everything around it is uh, it's nice. Plenty of room. We're at the Inaloo Sportsman's Club. Um, for anybody that's watching in Perth who doesn't know where we are, which I'd be surprised at, uh, come down to the Inaloo Sportsman's Club and watch the last couple of hours of this match. Surprisingly yeah. awesome here, eh? It's uh, raced away to aim for $25,000. Yeah, it's nice in here, eh? It's not, it's not humid and the playing conditions are good. And no, it's, it's good. nice now. It's comfortable. Matt was saying before it was very humid. That's why he's got his glove on. Um, your <laughs> finger mouse. But, uh, <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Got to pay out for that pretty, finger mouse. Pretty good in here, now. Yeah, I used to wear a glove when I was a youngster. And uh, Sonny's just broke off and, and uh, not potted the ball. <laughs> Sonny's uh, just broke off, Ron, and he, he didn't pot a ball there. Big frame here, Rocky. It's the last frame before the break. And 11-7 uh, mm. or 10-8. We both know what either player would be uh, liking to think the scoreline would be. Oh, that too. I mean, his son he can get a couple in a row. Uh, he's got the momentum. If Matt can get this one, then he's keeping Sonny at bay, just going yeah. frame for frame, which is all Matt has to do. He yeah. has to go frame for frame. So Sonny needs it's, to it's, string it's, a few together. It's funny how it works, isn't it, in your head when you're actually playing yourself. Like, if, if Matt gets this, he's, he's 11, 
seven up and he's only seven away from the finish line whereas uh, Sonny's 11 frames away from the finish line it sounds massive doesn't it but um, it does sound big but, it, but it's not really they'd, they'd like still be frame thinking frame. about yeah frame for frame um, but you know when, when one of them's one or two frames uh, away from the finish line it's probably going to get even harder for them yeah so. It's, uh, it's your nerves of really kick in, doesn't matter who you are. Nice double one, that. There's a the white gun. Yeah, this isn't an easy out, it's made that exceptionally hard by catching that red. Yeah, I, I, I expect I think that it's probably going to play this down the right hand yeah, corner. Yeah, just, just cover the pocket, eh? He'd be happy to sit it over the hole. There's nothing easy. Unless he goes for it. But he's got to go for it and. Come off the rail and hit the uh, red near the black and kick the other yellow out and hopefully land on the bottom yellow. But, but I don't go for it, I. Looking at the cannon off the red in the bottom right hand corner. Billiards shot. What does he know about billiards? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Twelve time national champion and That's huge. breaking all kinds it. of records. I was and, joking. And, and, and it was billiard, awesome. Billiards on the <laughs> pool table is um, obviously a lot easier than billiards on the snooker table. And yeah, all the billiard shots that he's played so far have been really good. No, I've noticed that uh, when I watched him play, he plays a lot of billiard shots on the, on the pool table. It's amazing how handy they actually come in during the game. Mm. It's, do you know, it's actually a game I'd like to learn myself, billiards. Hey, I've got to set at home. A new table I've got. Yeah, I've got a new snooker table. And a new set of billiard balls. Beautiful. So I'm lucky nice there, boys. Nice to have a snooker table at your home, isn't it? Lucky. What? You're lucky. Oh, well, you know. Nice to have a snooker table at home. I've got a pool table. Oh, I'll be happy with that. Oh, and, I'll just come and I've got a pool place. table too. And a pool table, yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're, just, now you're just boasting. I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> just a shame I can't play. <laughs> Good shot, Mr. Bolton. Well, he's put himself in a position here where he might be able to attack the game and take the out. He's, uh, I think he's perfectly on this one, next to the yellow, next next to the red and the black. Oh, I think, well... If he could just run through it, put the other yellow in the middle, and, and he's got one left in the corner. I think he's in a pretty good spot in that. Not unless he plays it safe, but... He's got to be going no, to be. On. He's looking at it, eh? Oh, he's on that in the corner. He's, he's, just, he's actually in a very good spot. He is actually, I didn't see that. If he can just play that and hold off the red and kick the red over out of the way, just a little bit, he's got to smash it. Beautiful shot. That is as good he's as perfect. Yeah. Just pop that in the middle, one in the corner, and the black in the opposite middle. Should be pretty straightforward finish. All roll shots, nothing to do with the cue ball. Oh, Matthew. He caught it thin. Caught it thin and the white ball's gone too far. I think he actually queued through that too much. Instead of a stun run for he queued through the ball. Well, I, I like the roll shot. I think I think rolling it was fine. Uh, he just gave it a bit too much, but... Yeah, but he, he should have stunned run through instead of the top tip. Hard to see, though, with the angle. I think he had more angle. He couldn't really... Yeah, yeah, true. Let's see what he does here. Oh, is he got it? So lucky. So, a golden opportunity. Gone begging for 11 7, and now Sonny, opportunity to get back to 10 8. Is they're all there, Sonny? Oh, we know what Sonny will be doing here. He's definitely playing safe, making sure he can't play the up down to the yellow. Probably a pretty safe shot from here, be playing the red north of the white closest to it and basically hold the white in line where it is below that other red so you can't play the up down yeah I can't see I can't see Matt winning the frame unless Sonny makes some type of bad mistake here so yeah this is uh, obviously he's got enough balls yeah just a shot good shot Sonny the only thing is he's got the obviously across the table but um, he can't pull it 
but the only thing you could do is play across the table, get the bottom side of the yellow, and then the white goes behind the red at the bottom, leaving Sonny without a, being able to play the sneaker. It's actually looking at a, maybe a mini swerve or just a lot of right-hand side. He might be able to come off the rail. Yeah. Looking yeah, at it. Very goes, confident. And he pots it, Sonny will be disgusted himself. Oh, Matthew Bolden. Huge. Sonny's going to be kicking himself he now. He will be kicking himself. You can't see it, but he will be kicking himself inside. Thinking, how the hell did I leave that on? What a huge... Huge! That's, uh, that's going to hurt, that one. That one does hurt. That would hurt. Uh, yeah, now Sonny's got five minutes to regroup and... Get, get together. All right. So we're going to have a five chatting. minute break. Um, been good. I think uh, when you guys come back, there's going to be Sue and somebody else. I don't know, Sue, Sue and you, Rocky, or Sue and somebody yeah, else. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a break. So You're not bored of me? I'll see you guys a bit later. <laughs> Catch you.
Okay, we're back on again and uh, Maddie to break. Matt's 11 7 up and looking pretty confident, I'd say. Didn't pop one off that break, but um, I'm sure Sonny's having a good look at what he's going to choose here. Rocky's just stuffing his face. <laughs> <laughs> This is a five minute break. Well, that was Maddie's break. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. Five minute <laughs> break for Maddie. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so that's what I was saying just before we jumped on there about how the breaks haven't been, you know, uh, developed, so the breaks haven't been that great. And uh, another prime example, they haven't split and just been there. Yeah. It's just been one of those nights, I afternoons. Think, uh, I think Sonny's sticking to his tactic, though of uh, trying to close Matty down and frustrate him a little bit. Um, yeah, Rocky and I were just saying that, you know, Matty's really prepared for this match and um, he he's prepared for anything, really. He knows what Sonny's game is and he knows his own game and he can play pretty much both those games. Yeah, no, he can. There's, I actually um, didn't have Matt down for a, a very good tactical player at the game, but then, you know, I haven't seen too much of him in the eight ball world but yeah from what I've seen of him the last six weeks in the lockups we had and Matt's been present yeah he's yeah, he's getting really up there with yeah. the tactics I'm pretty all impressed all those matches down at Miss Q's as well like yeah. he's been playing a lot of pool as well as snooker and billiards but yeah, yeah he's and, uh, and even still quite I am not putting Sonny down at all Sonny's in my eyes is uh, one of the best if not the best tactician in WA and I said it earlier everyone oh, brands yeah. him that but at the minute I honestly think Matt's actually outplayed him on the tactics. Well actually I, I agree with you there because there has been a few games that, and Sonny has instigated the game to be like that. Yeah and, and Matt, uh, Matt's finished it up. Oh he's played it beautifully and, and, and you know. But then Sonny has he's, he's held his own and done the same yeah. but I mean for someone to beat you know, in everyone else's eyes, and I'm pretty sure I speak for most people, uh, that, you know, Matt Matt has played him at his own game and, and oh, yeah. uh, knocked him down a peg yeah. or two, you know. I agree with you totally. Not, not in a bad way, but nice way no, that. Yeah. But, but, oh, yeah, um, credit to him, you know. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure he knew what he was coming up against, and, yeah, he's uh, risen yeah. to the challenge and I, I'm doing impressed. it well. Like, when I, when I played him, his tactics weren't that great, and... I'm not reverting, getting off the subject, but I mean, yeah. he just potted out as a potter machine. Yeah. And, uh, well, I think that's you know. kind, of, kind of what Sonny's trying to prevent here. You know, he knows what yeah. Matty's capable if of. If he gets going. You know, and, and that's true. You know, get him on a roll. Those first four frames went really quickly. And yeah. I, mean, I know it ended up to two all after the first four frames, but I think Sonny could have gone like, either way. Oh, yeah, definitely. Could have gone 4 0 match back. Could have gone 4 0 Sonny's yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, so yet again, tactical side yeah. of things, that's a great shot. That's a great shot. And, you know, not only have they been doing the tactics, um, I, I notice, but just with the way that they play their shots and, you know, they're thinking about every little thing, like where that white ball is going to go, you know, how mm. hard it is going to be to get out of a snooker and, and things like that, you know. Like, mm. a lot of people, they, they try and get out of a snooker, but they leave it easy, you know, like they tr they're they not trying to think about how difficult it is to get out of that sneaker. Yeah, that's like the that's like the closing frame uh, before this one, when Sonny laid the sneaker, we, we, I was chatting with Ron on him, we yeah, said what yeah. he was going to do, and yeah. we both said what he would do, and he'd done exactly that, yeah. but he didn't... Is that the swerve? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, yeah. what Sonny was going to do, Yeah. and then, then but Sonny left that swerve on, and actually, we didn't even think Matt was going to do a that. A couple of the times in a couple of the frames, I've actually thought Sonny would go for it more. Yes. And he's actually still played he's the snooker, back and which I was quite surprised, surprised yeah. with. And, and also, when Maddie was playing in, in one of the frames as well, like there was a shot where I was thinking, yeah, he's going to he's gonna go for it. You know, he's going to go for this black. And he didn't. He snookered, you know. So... Yeah, both, both of them have done things. That they would look at it and think, why did I do that? Yeah. Why did I do but this? But then again, you know? I looked at it and I went, you know, well, this is for a lot of money here. You know, these boys are playing for a lot of money and... And there is a bit of pressure out there as well. Yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's the biggest yeah. thing, I think. If, and you want to make sure of the frame. Yeah, if these guys are just having a scratch match and uh, hitting out, yeah. then you, you just send pot-outs all the time. Exactly. But when, like I said, when there's this sort of 
amount of money yeah. uh, on it that yeah your, your game just changes I don't care what anyone says not unless you're, you're you know Benny Noonan's or them kind of guys Jake, and you do that yeah. you know Delhi and yeah. but those boys just yeah from what I've seen their game never changes but but no everyone changes their game yeah, and, and you know, this has been built up for quite a long time too, so there is a fair bit of hype about it, and you don't want it to be a runaway, you know, you want it to be a good match, and, um, well, you know, I think they're doing that, they're giving you a good match, and I still think it's more Sonny's style of pool. Yeah, th this whole match has been based on how Sonny's played, yeah. I reckon, and Matt, Matt's, Matt's actually surprisingly coming to the game, like I said, it's, yeah. it's, it's, to me, he's outplayed him so far. He, so he might be dictating it, but uh, Manny's definitely having a go, that's for sure. Like that, and you just turn it around in one shot. Yep, put and the pressure on. See, that, that's that's the kind of thing that, well, in pause, you know, just get it out as quick as you can. Yep. The amount of people just leave it there, play a shot, pot it, and try and stick that yellow over the pocket. What's the point? Get it out. Yep. And then something Make the game trouble. open, put Black the pressure Stair. on the other player. Yeah, Blackstair can't double it, Reds. Mind you, red will cover the pocket down here, but near the black. But I'm not sure if he's got a clear shot at that red up the top. It doesn't look like it, but it is pretty hard to, yeah, to tell. If he, if got if he does, he might be able to get the black out with it as well. Yeah, he'd have to give it some welly and yeah, top it through and bounce the white around the back of the yellow. He but might be taking it in no, it's not, the middle. He's not even no, playing it. Not even playing it. See, it's very hard to These cameras see are from so, here. It's hard, <laughs> so eh? hard. <laughs> <laughs> I called so a couple of shots earlier and I was like, OK, I'm wrong. <laughs> Computer says no. <laughs> and it is, yeah, it's hard to see if there's a gap with the pocket and yeah. and stuff like that. But see, Matt here, see, Matt's, Matt's got to finish. If if Matt was playing his game like a practice game, he'd be pulling this out all day long. He's got a I mean, bit of an awkward shot over the top of that ball there. To start yeah. off with though. Do you know what a nice shot from here would be, and it wouldn't complicate anything. Play, play the cannon on the two yellows yep. near the black, near the black and yeah. uh, bounce them one off the side rail. You're not moving the black, and you open up both your yellows. And Sonny's red still kind of dead as well near him. Oh, oh pop the ball. he hasn't ended up too good on that. That's not too bad. It might be about a pair of billiards shot off the yellow, off yellow up the top corner pocket off the red. We'll just play the safety behind the um, yellow on the rail here. No. I must be able to no. see that yeah, yellow in the, the middle. middle there. Well, it'll be a nice out if he gets it from here. Just a, a little bit of a worry with that, yeah, that yellow ball here. If this goes, it's looking good. Oh, look where he's ended up. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it was, I, I think it was close to snooping himself there. He <laughs> would have been very close. It's, it's not bad. Maybe he wasn't intending to pot it. Maybe uh, maybe that was what he was intending to do. Uh, you'd, you'd have to think that he was intending to do, to pot it, wouldn't you? Well. <laughs> you wouldn't want him to lay up in a shot like that, would you? No. Nah. But he did play it real general, though. Yeah. Almost if he was playing to cover the pocket, but... Don't think Sonny wanted that in. That all? Yeah. He didn't want that in. You know, I've watched a couple of no, shots. The way, the way he queued that, he yeah. didn't want that in because he's yeah, got it was nothing very now. Slow. Yeah, it was unlucky for Sonny there. A couple of shots that, like, um, that he has tried to sit and they have gone in. I mean, the table is running fairly fast. Yeah, so, that's, um, that's, that's they are just dropping, you know? Yeah, it's not the same one earlier. The table seems like it's slowed up a little bit. That's a very nice shot, Sonny. Yeah, it seems like the table's slowed up a little bit to me. You'd have thought they would have brushed an eye on the table at that interval. Well, they? they they just did it then. Oh, they did yeah, that? Yeah, so, oh, I mean, okay. that's probably the difference between that uh, ball going in and, yep. and sitting there in the pocket. I didn't even notice. That's how much I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, do you reckon uh, the supporters, there's about 50-50 here for each of them? Or do you think there's more on Sunny's side here? I, I would I would say, just judging by the faces on the Bolton side, I'd say it's kind of sorry. I'd say it's probably a 60-40 Bolton way to be honest with you. Really? Okay. Yeah, all, all these boys all on the left here, all the sneaker players from 
pop black. Maybe uh, a few of them have uh, left. Might be a 50-50. Yep. I could be wrong. I know uh, sunny side's got a little bit thin there. Yeah, all the boys on this far left here. Most of all the sneaker players and pop black. Yeah, what's Matt got here? He's, um, there's no easy out, really. Yeah, he's just got to worry about that one on the uh, right-hand side there, really. And that's that's pretty easy to get on, because you can land two square feet below it. Oh, he's going to play the double. And kick the black out, maybe? Nah. Well, he's going yeah. for it. Oh, nice that's call, Rocky. Oh, that's nice unlucky. Call. Tell you what, that was very unlucky, man. That shot oh, was he's spewing. a great shot. He's spewing. That was a that ballsy was a shot, really too. That was a really good shot. If it had a Can't believe that wedged <laughs> in that pocket, eh? Sonny walked up to the table real quick then. Oh. I think he's still on. He didn't want that. I think he's, ah, still, he's still on. on it. He's still on it, but he's the wrong side of it, yeah, so he's got to right. just roll it in and cut the black in the middle. He doesn't want to do anything fancy because he'd be queuing. He'll be queuing down, digging deep, and that makes the pot really missable. He just yeah, rolls the in and then play the cut in the middle with the black. He's got to roll and hope the table doesn't roll out on him either. Get to nap. He's played it nicely. Yeah. Nice fine cut in the middle. Yeah, it's a very tough cut though. He's got to. He's also um, got to watch the in off in the opposite. Looks middle. better from that angle though, doesn't it? As far as cutting it. Uh, Probably a frame right. that Matty should have got 11 there. 11-8 to uh, Matt, tough, tough and shot. that just brought the house down on the Leicester side. That's the first time I've seen uh, Matt wearing a glove. Have you ever yeah. noticed that before? I've he's never worn one before, but I think he felt it was a bit humid in there and stuck one on. I think it was to start off with, but I'm thinking now that you could probably take it off. Yeah, I reckon you could now. See, it's another thing. I'd like to say I've never seen him wear one, maybe that, because Matt's queuing doesn't seem 100% fluent like it I normally is. I agree with you, I totally agree with um, you. Maybe it's the It doesn't the seem glove. as relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is the glove. The tight spandex. <laughs> You'd know about that, wouldn't you, Rocky? Nah. <laughs> Actually, you say that, I used to wear a glove when I was younger. <laughs> is that what you were referring to? I hope yeah, so. yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we call him uh, Finger Mouse back home. Is that you know right? Mighty Mouse? Okay. You know the little cartoon character Mighty Mouse has got a black glove on. Well, okay. <laughs> because he hasn't got a, because he got two fingers out of the glove, and you, you like got two next, your next middle finger and your middle finger and your thumb, you're missing two fingers. So, and obviously Mighty Mouse had one black glove, so we call it a finger mouse. <laughs> uh, that's, what we, that's what we call the gloves back home. Well, there anyone... you go. There's a bit of trivia for everyone out there. Yeah, finger mouse. <laughs> or in uh, Matt's case. Probably could be Danger Mouse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially here. This is definitely Danger Mouse. Now this is more like the breaks we used to see. Uh, even though, you know, like Sonny didn't really give that a whack. What? The, the break. He didn't really smash it. He just did it. Oh yeah, he know? just tapped into him. Yeah, it wasn't a, a huge break. I think, oh, honestly, from what I've seen of Sonny, this is his tactics against him. He's not going to split him open because Matt's going to go gay on him. But, you know, it can work against you too, you know, if you smack them open and pop one off the brake, you're happy days, off yeah, you go. that's you what know? I do, just let loose. Well, I, I pump into them five times harder than that, but then I've had like eight consecutive breaks and don't pull the ball and all sat there and you just get wiped yeah. up. So Sonny's theory here of just tapping into them and not opening them up for Matt, you know, you've still got the same percentage of podding the ball, really. Yeah. So I guess, I guess what Sonny's doing is a good tactic against Matt. He's going to use this, this middle ball here to break the pack out now. It's probably it's a fairly decent angle, I reckon. Yeah, he's got to get that one out above the black there. But, you know, I don't know whether he's got to do it. I think he'll be, I think he'll be doing uh, a good sneaker shot here. He'll be coming off the bottom rail, maybe. Or is he going straight into him? Yeah, off the yep. bottom rail is what I thought. That's oh. not bad. That's good. Yeah, this is the crucial shot here. 
can get this pretty, going out. It's pretty straightforward, really. If the pot's this and holds on the uh, so pot that and go across. If you can just miss the yellow middle of the five and land on the side yellow to play a, a cannon up into the top corner. Oh, he's run right up to the top there. Yeah, something way different. Nice We've got Mrs, Mrs. Bolton stood right beside us with a big cheeky smile on her face. Proud of her hubby. Uh, she's only watched half the match though, you do realise this. Oh, has she? Yeah. Did you rock up halfway through the biggest money match your husband's ever played? No, 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 she rocked up here on time. That's, she just, that's disgraceful. She just can't watch, she's that nervous. <laughs> <laughs> She just waits for the crowd and, you know, if there's, a, if there's a shot there and she's like, oh, my gosh, what's going to happen here? And so she turns away and then waits for the crowd to see if, she, if he's and got And then everyone's got up roaring and yes. she's like a little meerkat she, jumped up behind exactly. everyone having a look. She's like, oh, he must have got it. <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt's got a pretty easy finish here now. Lovely shot. Really, uh, getting these. That's a very nice that's angle. Perfect got angle. it enough from this. Just, yeah. uh just below centre on the cue ball and follow through, just cue through the ball, fluent. Nothing to do. Beautiful shot. It's Ooh. gone a little bit too far. He's overrun it a bit, but no, nah, that's savageable, it's fine. He can still hold this. Well, he can He can just play this. Uh, similar shot of what he'd done, but half the pace and cue through the ball, just below centre and hold on the yellow, uh, hold on the red and the water follow through to cue ball lengths and then dead straight onto the very black into Rocky. the middle. Just pot the bloody thing and get on the black. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just trying to put him to sleep with the watching. He might even screw behind the black. He's going to screw behind it and play it in the same pocket. Ooh. Jeez. What was that, Matt? Wow, Matt. You didn't hit that, that one, did you? That must go in the bottom corner. Does that He's go? just come up a bit far. It would have been nice if he had ended up right near the middle pocket there to get a clear shot at it. I didn't, I didn't it, even know that went. I, I didn't think that was on. I would never have picked him to do it. Yes, he's got it. Good shooter, Mr. Bolden. <laughs> Bring the house down. The missus is going nuts. It's electrifying. He's now got that four gap there again. So, yes, uh, Matt's back four in front again. 12-8 uh, to Mr. Bolden. And uh, yeah, he's going, going strong. He'd be happy with that result there after his little mishap getting on the black. Queuing very well. He is queuing very well, and that, and that wasn't as easy as what it looked yeah. like just over the ball there. So. And uh, we've got a got a text from the Kalgoorlie boys. Um, Mr. Blake Collis is uh, sat in what appears to be a pool hall. Looks like Dean Curry's uh, shedding in the middle of Kalgoorlie in the desert. So uh, shout out to those boys in Kalgoorlie. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you, yeah, they've only got one telly. <laughs> They're all packed into the same pub watching I know. the telly. I know. I live there. I know what it's like. <laughs> got a little fire going out the back. And uh, we've just got an announcement of the raffle, um, which everyone's most people brought into today. And talking of the Kalgoorlie people, Dax Wosley's father has just won the raffle. How ironic is that? We're talking about Kalgoorlie, and <laughs> and uh, someone from Kalgoorlie's won it, or the, his dad is yeah, a little of a desert winner. I've not met uh, Dax's dad, but I think he would be a uh, very Lawrence. interesting man. I, I haven't <laughs> met him either. I've heard Dax has told me about him. But, um, yeah, Lawrence would be uh, oh. that's a very nice break by Sonny there. Um, that was yeah, Matt. If he's, was it? Oh, yeah. okay, my bad. I'm too busy talking about Lawrence. It's a bit of a shame that black ended up over the middle pocket there. Well, no, it's not too bad. A yellow, one of the yellows passed, is it? Um, yeah, we've got another text come in. <laughs> Who's Should this? Miss Cues. Wahoo! Miss Cues has finally won a challenge match 
convincingly beating the Gosnell's Ghosts. 256 frames to 105. Impressed. Go, Miss Q's. Oh, Dan's smoking on his uh, pipe. <laughs> Not that anyone wanted to know, but what we got here, we've got another one come in. Paul Dickinson. You can't stop Pollen Power over 18 frames, but Matt is beating Sonny at Tactics. Dicko says Matt rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Dicko. Uh, <laughs> stamp your authority. <laughs> Now I've got to agree with Dicko there. Is, um, yeah, I think Matt's up playing, up playing to me a little there. Yeah, yeah Sonny's just tried to uh, kill a couple of Matty's balls there, but I what, think um, he's left him on in the middle there. So Matt's on yellows? Yeah. So I've been out of it a bit here. No, he hasn't. Oh, oh that's a nice that's shot. That's a nice shot. That's a real good shot because he's left him on, if he's covered that red closest has left him on the one red he needs out of his way and then Matt's got an easy finish or yeah, easy Sonny's, finish. Sonny's not wanting to touch this he won't want to move yeah. he will not want to move that red near that yellow that's the last thing he'll want to do he'll want to leave that there for sure yeah he's just going to play out of it be careful he's queuing hovering over the ball oh he's missed it can't it? see Oh, he's missed a lot. I think that's foul no. two shots. Yep, foul. Yep. So this, uh, this puts Matt in a pretty strong position, but hasn't left him in the best of places. But all he's got to do is just get that out and set it up. And pot it, bonus. Let's try to go inside the red there. Yep, oh, he's done it. Oh, shot. That would be a massive confidence boost That was a great shot. Now. Gets this frame, he's, he's back on his little... Uh, Staunch. I was saying to uh, Dan earlier, you know, like Matty's such a, an attacking player, and but it, and he has been attacking in his own way, but he still doesn't look as fluent as what I've seen him play in other no, matches. He's seen. And he's, I'm thinking when that comes, it's just going to fly away, you know. Yeah, I've been I've been waiting for it since the start of the match. Yeah, I have um, too. It seems like Matt hasn't really got out of second gear, but he's he's been fifth gear. With his tactics. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, that's a beautiful little shot. He hasn't moved the black away too he, much, and he's, it's, he's it's perfect. Now. He's still got two cue, shots. Cue this one through, nice and gentle. Personally, I'll play the one in the corner first, yeah. and then play the one in the middle. But he's got two shots. He, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah, he's com complicating that a little there, but you know, it's got a bit of work to do. That's all right. He'll just screw it up the table. It's oh, yeah. Beautiful. Wrong, it won't bother him. Oh, hang on. No, you won't. Well, maybe it's that oh. easy. Jeez, it looks like it's above the pocket to me. Obviously not. Yeah. It's Matthew Golden. And, you know, that was all brought on by that little shot that he played, just clearing his balls out and leaving him nothing. Forced the error. I mean, but that was an easy snoop. Like, that was easy to get out of. Like, that's a real bad mistake from Sonny to, to do that. Yeah. You know, he knew he had to hit a cushion. He knew he had to hit it hard. But yeah, to miss to miss two reds like exactly. when they were in line, he's that missed it by technically he's missed it by nearly three balls width exactly. because he's got that much to play yeah. with. But um, yeah, exactly. No, it's, it's unfortunate. He's, he's under pressure. Uh, it's, it's not easy for him by any means. He probably so. could have taken a little bit more time thinking about the shot that he was playing. Yeah, but so he's still in good spirit. He's still laughing, having a joke of all his mates, and hasn't got him down. And yep, it's just one frame. He's no, lost. You know, it's fine. It won't bother him if it's. Sonny is really good at that. You yeah. know, like he has great composure. He never lets his opposition see what he's think, what he's feeling. Even if he is feeling something inside, he always tries to be relaxed and tries to get himself to yeah. be in a relaxed he mode. He never actually shows any emotions, really, even during the game. I think I've seen him thump a pool table once since I've known him, and, and that's it. You know, and that's nothing to talk about. Yeah, I've seen him get fired that. up at nationals, but not uh, at himself. You know, yeah. he um, he's very good at his own composure. Um, having said that, look, I've been watching Matty play snooker and billiards like live streaming all year, and his composure is fantastic as well. So 
you know, it's hard to separate them, really. It's only on frames, isn't it? Yeah. Is this from the internet, Sorry. What you say? It's from the internet. Sorry guys, I've just been interrupted there. Someone's chatting to me garbage. Darren <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice Morris is uh, trying to put me off my commentary very successfully. And, um, yeah, where are we? Back in the game, Mats on yellows. Uh, looking another, pretty good. Another pretty, pretty easy finish here. The yellow smack bang in the middle nearly. Uh, goes into four pockets. I uh, yeah, should be uh, should be getting out. Just got to get rid of that one up top first, and as soon as you can, and get amongst the four down here. A little bit of traffic down here to yes. get through. I think it would just queue straight through the ball and go between two reds, straight up the table. Just queue through. Got nothing on the cue, nothing flashy. Let's put a bit of check Beautiful side on shot. that. And he's on that hard one. Might have finished a bit straight. He probably wanted to come up a bit more on that one. Yeah. It's a bit of work to do here, well, but it's a pretty. Few choices though too. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of ways of going about this, which is it's just nice. Hmm. Um, if he gets misposition on one, he might be having another one for a fullback. But yeah, it should be a pretty, pretty straightforward finish. I think he's just hesitant with this one because he's queuing over the the yellow. Um, it's obviously. He's, now and down your percentages of your pot makes it a lot harder. Also, got to try and get back into the middle of the table as well. You know, like I think this is a better option. Yeah, at this point. he's playing the percentages. Yeah. Um, man of and his cue and ability. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Spot on. Yeah, I think it still might be a bit straight. Hey, Dave, can you change the angle for that? Just so we can. Yeah, he's got a slight angle to cue down. Yep, we cue down. Can onto the red maybe near the middle. It'd be straight on the other red, uh, yellow in the corner. Oh, he's just covered his ball. I mean, in the middle, I mean. That's all right. He still might be able to come around and put it in. Mm. Unless he's going to try for it now in the bottom corner. Yeah, you keep through that a lot, eh? Like, yeah. Way too much. You should have been like nearly a foot less than what you did. He's got um. He could play the one in the middle and hit the cushion, come off the red, and the white would come the other side for the yellow. And he's now playing the top right corner. But if he lands this. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sonny hasn't got an easy clearance here with that one dead red on the top rail. Yeah, so there's not very many places to hide now, no. is there? He's He's almost he's looking, for he's looking for somewhere to hide, but I, I just <laughs> don't think there's a spot on the table that you can... Oh, look, you might prove me wrong. <laughs> well, I think I would have uh, got had a go at something. He's left I him on it. I see what he was doing. He's left him on it. He's, uh, it's a difficult shot, though. But if he gets it, he's done. He's, he's only got yep. to roll it in. Yeah. he just rolls it in, in or over, he should be all right, too. Yeah, he's concentrating the pot, he's got nothing with the cue ball whatsoever. And he'll just nestle onto that red, and it'll be easy shot on the yellow, just the black's a bit difficult, but... It's not badly cued. That's a beautiful shot. It. It's a bit unfortunate, a Chinese sneaker, but... Over the, that is uh, that is such a tough shot from up the top mm. end of the table to do that. It's a beautiful shot. And to roll it as well, and you got to allow for the yeah. nap and hope you don't get a finger mark. And do you know what? This this will just yeah, if he gets this, he deserves uh, the win. Black guy down there. He's yeah, Sonny's uh, lost four frames like this now. Oh, it's very hard to see. Maybe he's going to try for a double. That looks like that's what he's looking at. The black doesn't look on in the in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, the cue through the ball has gone straight up. Yeah, it is unlucky that he's got that red ball there. Yeah, you could almost you could almost dig into it. Uh, oh, he's playing it sensible. Oh. He's meant he's meant to do that. He's uh, 
He's played that with Sun Yang leaving him a cut in the middle and safety on the side rough. That's a touch and ball. It makes it a lot harder for Sunny. You always think that they're going to have a go, don't you? And then they do something like that and you think, you know what, yeah. that's probably a smart shot. Yeah. He's got no, that I, ball on the side there. He actually there. played it. He actually yeah. played that, definitely. Yeah. But, um, Although, you know, Sonny is very good at doing snookers and I'm not sure if this ball is frozen. Uh, he's left him on it. He's left him a chance anyway. Swerve off the uh, knuckle. Double sort kiss of. it in the corner. But then, you know, you're going to go into shot on the black. No, that's right. That, that black only goes in one pocket. And that's the middle left. Yeah. If we could double kiss this and get back across, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, it's a nice shot nice on that. Shot. This this is putting Sonny under so much pressure. Difference between 14, 8, and 9, 13. That's a huge, huge Massive. difference. And he's got no easy safety from here at all. The only thing he could do is go for the pot in the top left hand corner, the red near the middle. Where he's going to have the he's got the natural angle for snooker. Yeah. yeah, and you've got the natural angle for the snooker. Yeah. And you can hide behind two reds. That'd be about the only shot he's got. If he pots it, go game. Don't hold back. Oh, he's come he's out way it. too far there. See, I don't understand he's why. He's still he left didn't. him on the back cushion, but he has come out and, he, you know, he hasn't left his ball in a great position either. I don't understand why he didn't play the red into the top corner and then got the natural angle for the snooker. The red before? The red, yeah, the red, one that was near the middle. The middle yeah, yeah, that's probably the one I would have gone for. Then you got the natural angle yeah. for the snooker, you get the pot, you can concentrate yeah. on it, get the pot bonus. Yeah, that's so, that's the ball I thought he was yeah. going to go for. And that's going to play off the rail here, or off the cushion. And he didn't oh. get what he wanted. Caught it too thick. Needed have been further up the rail. If he had have been just as, you know, a little bit more over the right hand side. But he, even then, he's still, he'll be landing up close to the black. Maybe balls width apart, you know, away from it. And it's going to be dead straight in the middle then. You know, I think he might try and take it off a ball here. Oh, look. Looks like he's looking this at the triple. Is, this is looking dangerous, to be honest this with you. This is not bad, actually. He'll keep straight for this play of triple, kick the red out of the way. Oh, that's a oh. huge effort. That was a huge effort. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Matt, thought he got it. That had to I didn't come even off. see that. Oh I my God, that's I thought, huge. I thought he was playing a triple and moving the other end. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that was a massive. Oh, that, that that just would have brought the house down if he had got that. Matt's yeah. Matt's not happy with himself, there, but he's got nothing uh, to be, you know, not happy about. He's he's done everything right, and to to have a girl like that. After Sonny left him on, you know, Sonny be feeling the pinch. But Sonny's got to go for these now. He's got to punish. Uh, well, he is punishing him, but he does have to punish Matt for that. Um, if he doesn't hear and, and Matt gets back to the table and pots that black, which the shots is pulling off, if he does. It's going to kill Sonny. In the back of my mind, I'm still thinking Sonny's looking for a snooker somewhere. There. It's just the way his oh, brain he works, you know. He, he just he will, constantly. He, will be. He'll, yeah. he'll, he won't want to go for the pot out for the simple fact that red does tell you rail. what, though, if you did go for the pot out, you know, and yeah. got it, it would boost your confidence heaps, you know. But and he, so, um, so he doesn't play like that. You very rarely you'll see him play a shot and kicking balls off. You know, mm. he's always a percentage player, which which works for him. It works, but you know. Looks like it's gone for the out because he'd have snooked by now if he was. Yeah. So he can play that. So he could play that into the middle. I mean, into the corner. And then keep for the ball and screw into the red on the rail and get it off. But when you're, when you're 8, 13 down, you know, it's a really tall order, so it's gone for the snooker. Yeah, you don't want to give it away. And he's left, oh, oh, he left him on it. 
pretty so close. Sonny's having Sonny a look at, at it. it. Yeah, Maddie's. He's left him on yeah, it, by the way. Sonny's be, expression is uh, very close anyway. Just a little swerve by Matt. Maybe. That looks very confident. Yeah, he's just going to put a little bit of a little swerve on it. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was a beautiful shot. Sorry, but go, Matt Bolden. <laughs> well, you know, he's coming away with it. It's going to be really tough for Sonny to get back into it, considering what a great potter Matt is. And Matt's always looking for the out, too. He's always looking yeah. to do something with it, you know? That's, uh, that's going to hurt Sonny a lot, though. Um, yeah, this, this is that's now the fifth time since I've been on there, let alone before, that, mm. that Matt has taken uh, five frames off from now via Sonny playing safeties. Yep, I and agree. He sh you, know, you can't I think say he should or shouldn't, but... Well, I think he should he, be backing he, himself a bit he more. He should. He's, not, he's not backing himself. Yeah. Exactly and, and you point. know, time's running out and uh, frames are running out. You've yeah. got to start You've yeah. got to start going, OK, you know what? Yeah. I know I'm a good player. I've been playing this game for 30 years or however long he's been playing it for. And the achievements that he's got, he's yeah. got to back himself, you know. That's because what, Matty's doing it. Matty's already doing it. He's yeah. backing himself and he'll have a go at anything. And Sonny knows that. So there's a fair bit of pressure on him to perform. Yeah, no, it's, um, I was chatting with Darren Morrison and I was saying to him about, you know, um, Matt's a potter and he's learning tactics and, you know, he's getting real good. Um, you know, Matt would be one of the, you know, in the top, definitely in the top five best uh, able players in WA with oh, Ron Kelly, yep. you Steve yep. Saxon, Just, Justin Oh, Justin's Sides. not here anymore, is Yeah, he's he? gone to Sydney. <laughs> yeah, forget Justin, the trader. But, um... <laughs> We love you, yeah, Justin. But you know, it's okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I was saying to Darren, it's Sonny's tactician. Um, Potter game's really good, but, I mean, but then it's like Darren was saying to me that Sonny can pot as well out of a paper bag, you know, and he's real good, but fortunately tonight we're not seeing it. And like you say, Sonny's not backing himself from the did. I just the think chance. in the last frame, all the balls were there. Right. Yeah, the, I mean, the shots, the shots down the rail on these ta on this table, is you know they're they're not hard to do. Like I noticed that in one of the frames earlier, Maddie had a shot uh, going down the rail, and and he didn't go for it either. I'm like, you know, they're they're great potters. Both of them are brilliant potters. Back yourself, a hundred percent. You know, and go yeah, for the out. He did you see something sunny earlier on. He fired up. He yeah, he he yeah. done a great out, knocked two yeah. balls off rails. Yep. And, and Sonny's the only one that's had a master break, has it, isn't it? There's only been one master break and that was Sonny. Yeah, it might be right, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't really kept track of that or thought about it, actually. But, mm. yeah, at the end of the day, I'd like to come back to Sonny again. Sonny's, uh, I mean, oh, look at Matt that. is... Oh, that's huge. Man, that is that an is attacking huge. shot. See, now Matt's going to fire up now. Yep. This is where he's... Yep. And you know, like even, even though racks. in the last in the last uh, match, you know, he went for that that black, you know, he he lost position. He still went for the black, yeah. even though he missed it. Still fired him up to yeah. know that you know that could have gone, and yeah. and he's still attacking. And uh, you know, yeah. he he sat in his chair and he got a bit angry with himself. But there's nothing to be angry about. He got his composure back straight away. He was bank. just feeling that he missed it. I know, you know? It's, and that's oh. all. And. You know, you shouldn't be spewing that you missed a shot like that. But you know, yeah. he still he still got through the match as well. Hmm. But I do think that Sonny is still rushing a couple of shots. I mean, usually a snooker, Sonny places the ball to exactly where he wants that snooker, where he yeah. wants that white ball, he's, he's and he just run, he, run yeah, he has, and, and, just and that's really unlike him. Left, you know? Yep, and that's all you need for Matt. You know, if you can just Ooh. well, he's going way too Where's far that here. White going? Yeah, that slowed up a bit. In the end. Don't know whether he's got a shot into middle still. Yeah, he has. By the way, he's queuing it, he must have. This would be a straightforward, easy shot from Matt. Queuing three Oops. balls. Does it every day and he's missed it. I think he was actually trying to take it off that, was he? No? Nah, nah, he would have been queuing straight for it. The it way would have been a nice shot if he had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that went straight in. He didn't need to come off it. But that might have got him. I saw one earlier, across because you're playing across the table, obviously the, the uh, rack spots don't miss, and if you're playing across the table, obviously then that veers the ball down. Just took a little bit, yeah. Uh, I did see one go earlier, and I'm pretty sure, you know. 
So now this is where Sonny has got to do something. He's got he's got three balls up the top there, which he can knock the yellow yeah. off the side rail. He's got to do something yeah. with it now. With those three he, balls, he has to bring. You know, it off. he can use this one now in the middle to get on the one down here, and then he's got three balls to kick that yellow off and easy black. Now if he doesn't do this now and put his foot down and gets the confidence back and punish Matt, the game you know you nearly say the game's ridden off. I know Sonny's is a fighter. He'll yeah. he'll sit to the end, but. But he's got to do something to put some ounce of pressure on Matt. Well, yeah. Look, you know, you have to claw it back one one frame at a time, as they say, with everything, you know. But, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a good shot. It's a very good shot. And None of it matters, but touch, touch well, touching just makes it a little bit harder, doesn't it? Mm. You're firing I away. I don't get that why they call touching ball, because... If it moves, it moves. I don't get why they call touch and ball on, on the opponent's ball. It's pointless. I never get that. When everyone, I whenever think I'm playing it's all match, about the, the 90 degree it. angle that you have to shoot ah. away 90 degrees. And yeah, but it's going to move anyway. Great shot, Matt Bolden. Yeah, that's a good shot. But I mean, when when it's actually touching it, yeah. you know yeah, whether if, it's going to move or yeah. not, and, and the ref walks up and you know you during the game. Maybe it, it will, maybe it's uh, so that if there's more than one touching ball or. If it's more than one touching ball, yeah, different, but yeah. just the one. It's so annoying getting a ref well, to walk a up. Well, there's that, that I don't uh, agree yeah, with. Uh, but does it matter? <laughs> Actually, that's a good one. If anyone's listening uh, on the web, just text it on the web and just tell me whether I'm right or wrong. Touching the ball when it's your shot and it's touching your opponent's ball, does that really need to be brought to light? If so, I'd like to know an exceptionally good reason why. <laughs> and I would like you. to know why you have to rack the balls with the yellows in the J. Uh, why? That's, that's apparently I that's a rule, and um, I never do it. But apparently you have to rack the balls and, with the yellow in the, in the J. Did so you know? What's Mr. the difference between red and yellows being racked in the J? Right, yeah. Well, do you want a more confused one for you? And this is right, 100% right. You're supposed to rack. That's a great shot, Mr. Bolton. You're supposed to rack reds. You now you've got your two reds at the top yep. or two yellows. It's yep. supposed to be reds first. Now, yeah, I that's, got, that's yeah, true because yeah. the yellow has now, to be the J. I got pulled off on the UK <laughs> Pro Tour about four or five times and I broke into him. And, and they goes, fouled you. Lost a frame. <gasps> no, like, actually, it used to be like that at nationals. Yeah. It used to be lost a frame. They don't do it now. But, but they don't do it now. They just say re rack the balls yeah. with yellows. So. Yes. Um, the, yeah, but I've, I still don't I've, understand why it has to be yellow. I know, I know, it's stupid. I have but, no uh, idea. I don't get it, but there's a there's a ruling in there, so. And my heart goes out to the blonde that just walked in. Who's that? <laughs> Sorry. So just be watching Sonny's game. Ooh, that's unlucky for Sonny there. Says the single Rocky, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> single eligible bachelor living in Singleton for singles. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually true. <laughs> this this dog is on heat and he is available. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I'm a good boy. Anyway, Matt's just pulled an awesome, awesome double there and he's, he's left him, I mean, an awesome cannon. And he's, uh... <laughs> yeah, what's, uh, what's Matt going to do here? <laughs> I'm changing the subject. Got the, uh... <laughs> yeah, if Matt pulls this double off here um, and lands perfect, he should be able to pull this off and nestle on to the black. All go behind it. Matt Bolton. He's cued that beautiful and just taking his time, not rushing. It's great composure. Yeah. No, he, he, yeah, he's, he's queuing now. Yes, Matt Bolden. Yeah, Sonny, a little unlucky there. But, um, yeah, yeah, again, another example. Not Sorry. taking his chances. He he had a uh, yeah three balls to get it out. So and yes, so honestly, Sonny will 
loop back at this and he'll watch this three, four, five times over and he'll look at it and he will be kicking himself. And yes. Well, it's not, not saying it's written over yet, it's not written over yet, but he'll just be looking back at the shots he's played and think, why did I do that? And um, yeah, the the Bolden is pretty clear now. Everyone supporting Matt Bolden is on the left and everyone supporting the Listers uh, on the right. But Sonny's still smiling, happy, having a laugh with the crowd and composed. He's actually split into the balls. That's more like the Sonny we know. See what happens when you hit him hard? He, he, he's got to, he's got to do something. Uh, you know, he can't just keep covering up because like I said, and it's, it's like a chat with Dicker about it and, you know, uh, and certain other people. Uh, Potter versus the tactician over a, a long race. Doesn't matter what anyone says, the Potter will always win. So... Speaking of which, we've got a phone call coming in. I better take this. If you can uh, keep going for a second, would you quickly take this and see what Sir Dicko has to say? And uh, nothing. Nope. Nope, didn't answer. I'll ring them back. Come on, Sonny, let's see you pot out, mate. Come on, Sonny, do a pot out. I think it goes. It'll if he lands, if he cues through. Um, if he no, he can. If he cues through, I think it'll go. Yeah, it will definitely. He can cue through as long as he's left the left hand side of it, and then he can cue through to the cushion. But he won't want too much of a bounce. Yeah, it goes easy. See what? Nah. nah, if he did, he would have had the ball cleaned. Matt's looking very, uh, come on, let me back at the table. Yep. I'll just uh, take this, cool. And I'm back in the room. That was uh, Dicko putting a little phone call in there. Come on, Sonny. Good shot, Sonny. Sonny's uh, called one back after. Sonny. <laughs> I. Yeah. It's Looks like Matt wants to... Oh, Matt just done a Mooney. <laughs> Only I do things like that. Who's that? It's a nice bottom. I was, I'm being good. I'm, my language is being good. I said bottom. Potential bottom of Australia. Yeah. So yeah, Matt's gone out for a uh, quick cigarette break. Sorry guys, I thought uh, my phone or my Sorry mic guys, was turned off there. <laughs> so Matt's gone out for a quick break and uh, so is uh, Sonny. Uh, to come back at the last well, potential last interval, but uh, Sonny yeah, 
Sonny claws it back, we might even get another one. But yeah, composure of these two guys are putting on uh, very impressive. And uh, yeah, everyone's in good spirit here at the minute. It's great. Sonny's just doing a sunny thing as usual, walking around the table like a jester, enjoying himself, which is nice to see. Tell you what, this club's pretty good, isn't it? It is. I like it. It's, it's a huge club. It's old fashioned, but the old fashioned ones they usually have cheap drinks, so that's probably why yes. they're all in good spirits. I know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, uh, you can't really grumble uh, four dollars for a five seed uh, apple pear cider. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Six dollar jack cans. Oh, gosh. Pretty, pretty good. A few old faces here too that I haven't seen and for if, a while. And if you're real bored, you can go play bowls with the over 80s. <laughs> hey, don't knock it, eh? Have you actually tried What, are you over 80? No, but oh. have you tried playing lawn bowls? It is very similar I to pool. I have played and I lawn bowls before. I am going to try it. When I'm finished with pool, I'm going to have a go at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm that annoying like the, one. At least you can make you can, At least you can play in the Olympics yeah. with that. We well, can't with pool, so True. you know, at least uh, you can go somewhere with it. <laughs> yeah. no, I love I'm, pool. Don't get me wrong, but I'm the uh, I'm the annoying one at lawn bowls. Like you got you got your free little nest eggs around the and jack, the and I'm just going to smash. <laughs> Yeah. Have some of that until yeah. we land on the jack. The same with couldn't jack, jack uh, pull shots the same. I've played it <laughs> once, but um, I I enjoyed it actually. It was a good fun day. And I think it is very close to the game of pool, as in like tactics wise. Yeah. yeah, I guess. But they have an awesome setup here. Like how? No, it's like, nice. I, I didn't even know this place was up here, but obviously being north of the river, you wouldn't know. But uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, Singleton, where's yeah, Singleton? Sorry. Don't revert back to me being single. <laughs> Singleton is about 7Ks, 8Ks north of Mandra and 10Ks south of Rockingham. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's about a, I don't know, it's about a 50 minute drive from Inaloo here. Uh, See, not I a bad little spot. The river. It only took me uh, 15 minutes to get here, so. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't a bad little drive up actually. Quite, in, quite enjoyed it. Uh, um, Mr. Brown is coming over with a big smile. He's just said he's going to go buy me a JD and Coke because I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> I'll buy you one. How about that? I'll buy you one. I'll buy you one. I'll buy you. No, I, I insist. Don't argue about it, boys. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you. OAP. <laughs> Alan Brown. What a true, true, true gentleman. He is... He's one he of the best. Really is. Do you You're know right. what? Him, Alan and Ron, you couldn't wish to meet two better people. Oh, they are exactly yeah. the same. And like yeah. Alan's like a older version of Ron. Ron's like a mini Alan with the <laughs> the whole calm talking, well, nice. I don't, I don't know Al's genuine. parents because they're in England, but I do know Ronnie's parents and Ron's dad whose name is Ron as well. Ron Oh Senior. is it? Oh, Ron and Ron. Yeah, Ron Senior the Ronnie show. used to oh, okay. play uh, pool as well in our league when Ronnie was just a little tacker, about 10 or 12 years old. Really? And he used to have his dad there and him there, and we used to play pool in the same team. So um, his dad is a wonderful guy, and his mum is a lovely lady as well. So <laughs> he's come from a very nice family, and uh, and his wife's lovely too. But I'm I sure you've met his wife. Oh, Kelly. Yeah. Yes, I met Kelly. No, very lovely lady. Cindy. I mean, Cindy. Cindy yeah. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Cindy, if you're listening. Yeah. No, she's a very, uh, very lovely lady, and Ron is um, very lucky. Yes. Yeah, he's got a lovely little family. A couple of little troopers. Yes, they are. Back to the game, Matt's broke, it's not a bad split, but nothing down. Sonny can put his foot down now you like know, he did in the last you game. A, uh, you know, where, the, where it just changes, the momentum changes just that little bit. Hmm. I mean, you've just had uh, Sonny do a master break, and then just off that break there, that yellow ball that he was just looking at then has jawed, like yeah. just jawed. So, I mean, look, you've got to take advantage of this now and go for it. Just freaking go for it. Thank you, sir, Alan Brown, for and, my JD and, and He's just done that. It's nice to see it. I'd like to see it go real yeah. close. You know, Matt not run away with it. Um, need, I want to see Sonny pot out because he can do it. Well, you just saw it last frame. Yeah. <laughs> just want to see him do it, eh? Ooh. 
He's almost rushed that a little then. Yeah, you know. he has rushed a couple of shots. Try and pick up the pace a little bit around the table. Oh. <laughs> so I thought he was giving me the eyeball then. I was going to say I'm ahead of a third. Yeah, Sonny's uh, got a yeah, Sonny's got a bit of work to do here. Uh, going to play, the, no, so he can play the he's safety. Just leave the white low and, here. Uh, knock it out, leave it in plain sight. That's a good yeah. shot. Very good shot. Hasn't left the mat a pot. No easy safety. That's that's a very good shot by Sonny. And that's why we brand him the tactician. Just nick off this red here and run it up to the red up the top. And then he's, yeah, that's what I'm looking at anyway. Maybe he's looking at the pot in the top left. Might be. Oh, I'd be, if anything, he'd be killing that red yellow on the side rail. He's gone for it. Uh, yeah, he's kind of killed it. He's looking at, looking at killing that yellow with something. Hey, Dan, did we get any, uh, sorry to interrupt you, did we get any feedback on the touching ball? Or did everyone ignore me like they normally do? John Housen, what's he bought? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We've got feedback. Johnny Housen has said the red is deemed the higher value if one... If one each is jumped off the table, the that goes closest to black spot, then yellow behind it. Huh? That's about the right. Oh, okay. How can red be deemed the higher value? Is it because it's got more pigment in the colour? <laughs> red, red goes faster. Red goes faster. Oh, red goes... Ah, oh, it does too, doesn't it? Yes, go faster stripes. Oh, foul two shots. So he's angry with himself there. I have never, ever seen Sonny do that. I swear down. Never seen him feather a ball like that. And I've just missed mis it. Mis it. He, he just played the white was right on top of that. Yeah. And he's just going to feather that and loop the one side round. And he's just moved it half a ball's width. Uh. Never seen him do that. Matt's now got two shots. Not an easy finish at all. One good shot here, though. He's oh, it. See what I mean? Like, yeah. that little change. It's kind of catching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so suddenly you can turn it around. And... Not a bad oh, shot by Matt. Wow. That's huge. Very, that very is, nice skin. That is a huge shot. <laughs> he put a shit on left on that. Excuse my swear word there. <laughs> a shed load of side. It's just ended up very nice. Yeah, Sonny's got a lot of work to do here. He can play a free cushion escape. Uh, Preferably, I'll be hitting the uh, where you got the little dots down yeah, the pool table. I'll, I'll be playing top side of the middle with a load of right, but he's gone bottom to hit the uh, red near the cluster. Trying to go through. Oh, yeah. Good shot, Sony. And that is a good shot. on a roll again. So yeah, this yet again is a pretty straightforward finish really for Matt. The hardest one is the uh, red near the yellow in the middle and the black spot. Yeah, that's right. But should be playing that last really. Yeah. I think he'll have a go at him just to put his foot back down again. Is, you know. 
Yeah, uh, well, I, I hope he has a go. You know, like, when you're six frames up, you just attack, attack, attack. Yeah. Just go it's, for it. It's Matt style, full stop, and uh, oh. Matthew Bolden. Jesus, that was a shocking he, shot. He, got his, he brought his head up before about, he... Yeah. His yeah. had his head up before he even hit the ball. That's probably the worst shot I've seen him play in this mm. match. So... He'd be pretty bloody happy he's six, six up at the moment with that shot. Now Matt will compose himself again and come back. He's only, in his head he'll be thinking I'm three away from the line. Yep. And in Sonny's head he'll be thinking I'm nine away. And it's doable. I think Sonny will just be looking at clawing it back one, time, one at a time here. Yeah, Matt's, uh, Matt's still got to finish from here again. Sonny's let him in. Is he going to go the plant? Yeah, he'll play the. Oh, jeez. That's a bad shot by Matt. I'm surprised he didn't put, run the uh, red up the rail, like into the rail, off the rail, and pop the yeah. red that was over the pocket. Uh, that he just played on that corner there. Been uh, probably been a better oh, option. Sunny, you got to yeah. do it now. That's all I can say. <laughs> Yes, um, oh. back to talking about uh, people that are watching. Uh, Miss Q's pool hall has got their knockout tonight at 7 o'clock. So they'll be underway already. Yep. Got the live feed on the uh, on the wall there. And, yeah, she said the atmosphere in there is electric as well. Yeah. And everyone's enjoying the, the show these two boys are putting on. Yeah, Carrie's got a good setup there. Yeah, no, she has. She's got the big screen at the end. But, um, yes, uh, yeah, great venue, uh, Miss Q's. Definitely, uh, definitely the best in WA by far. Yeah, Matt's in a bit of a situation here. It looks like he's going to play, play, uh, the yellow up near his balls. Oh, no. He's playing it dead. Wrong again. You know, don't don't give um, Matty too many chances here. If he doesn't go now, Matty's going to have a go, and yeah, it'll be all over. Well, Sonny, Sonny really <laughs> should be putting out here, eh? He's got to, he's got to go now. Because he he can play, he can play the dead uh, yellow down the rail, and have no worries about the red near the black. Um, That's right. He should be playing attack and shot here, full stop. I'll be playing the dead yellow down the uh, round. I am totally with you on that one. And that, yeah, that's just negative, 100% negative. Yeah, I agree. Just, that, just giving Matt, no, no, yeah, Matt's if got I, an if opportunity I was Matt now. Right now, I'd be thinking, you know what? If you're not going to have a go, I will, and and, yeah. and I would be thinking. Yeah, but but he will, Matt will, he'll punish him. Yeah. See, like he can he can knock that out, hit the black in front of his yellow now and cover the pocket which is what he was trying to do yep you know but straight away now Matt's in control of the game but Sonny's never going to lay his safety well, uh, Matt, no. Matt, you know Matt well, can get Sonny out should of be it. running this one up the top now he's got a huge well, yeah. pocket up there off the red if he goes if, if, if he goes dead if he plays safe from this oh he's not he's going for it he's got, he's got he's to go got, for you've got to have a go he should have done it three shots ago to be honest with you yeah good shot Sonny Now, if Matt was going to be spewing about any frame, this would be the one yes. to be upset about, he, I he think. Would, he would be very annoyed. He's, he's missed a couple com. of easy shots, and he's still had chances after that. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, Sonny will Sonny should be getting these all day long. If, uh, he shouldn't even have to think about this. Yeah, he shouldn't, but yeah, you take everything into consideration and, you know, the amount of money that's on the line, you, you're down. You just want to make sure. And that's what Sonny will definitely be doing. But sometimes by overthinking it, you, can. you know, you, you, you make can. mistakes more. Yes. If, if you just get into your rhythm and just keep on going with the flow, then... You know, and Sonny can... But Sonny, Sonny's not really a fast play of such. When he gets going, he is. That's uh, a nice shot. When he gets going, he is. But, um, you know, those play two slow shots. Now, if he gets down quick like this, this makes him missable. Because he's changed his rhythm. But he won't miss it, obviously not. I mean, that's, that's he, how you he can take fluster. He time when he was down on the shot, though, on that shot. You know, like, he might have got down quickly. Yeah. That's, you know, that's how you mess up sometimes. You can be play slow, play slow, yeah, and then speed change up. Your rhythm, yeah. you, on the finish line, then yeah. you, then you go bang, you miss it by a quarter of a keyboard, it rattles, and you kick yourself. Opponent clears it. Yeah. Right. I think uh, Mr. Kelly is coming back in the room. I will hand him over. Have a nice evening, guys. Uh, thanks, Rocky. We all know you're single and eligible, and where you live now, so it should be good for you. <laughs> I'll see what I can get. <laughs> hey, Susie. Hey, Ron. How are you? Good, good, good. Well, what I just say, well, Sonny's uh, grabbed the last couple of frames. But I'm it fine. hasn't been convincing, has it? Not totally. I mean, but, uh, but he did pot out in one of them, and uh, that one there, they both had a lot of chances, so... I, well, I did notice Matt just played one or two yes, loose ones, and uh, the closer you get to the finish line, maybe a little bit difficult for I'm him, but uh, to, um, he's still hot favourite. I was uh, saying to Rocky earlier, you know, there's a momentum in, in matches, and, um, you know, uh, Sunny a, broke and potted out. Yes, yeah, Sunny broke and potted out, and then Matt broke, and a yellow ball jawed, jawed up the top. Now, I see that as a little momentum change. Could be a little bit of a twist in the, yeah. in the story to yeah. come, so... You know, he's won the last couple. He's got the momentum. Matt's still favourite, but I think there's a little bit more to come and, in and this. And who was the favourite to start off with, Ron? Uh, going on, on public opinion, it would be Matt, I think. Yep. Um, and, you know, that's the way the scoreline's going at the moment. And what I said before is match, Matt's a lot more match fit. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, definitely. I think which has got a lot to do with the scoreline, uh, to be honest, because Sonny's had his chances. Yes. Um, and Matt's still favourite at the moment, but Sonny's is, is always going to be looking at it one frame at a time. Yeah. Um, and if, yeah, he can, if he can get the next one, it, it, Matt's just going to be thinking, come on, I need, yeah. to get, I need to get the next one now. It's a little bit more pressure. So. Um, at the uh, Miss Q's tournament a few weeks ago, Matty was playing Ben Foster, and uh, he was up 7-0. And, you know, he was looking fairly relaxed in that match. And then... Uh, Ben came back and back and back, and I think it ended up eight all at one stage. And uh, yeah, the momentum just changed, and, yep. and that's what happens, you know. But yeah. I really don't think like Sonny hasn't been backing himself, you know. Like he needs to back himself more. It, I know he's got his own game and he wants to play his game, but he's been you know, a little, a little a bit negative. Even with the, even when the balls were there, he wasn't he wasn't quite confident in exactly. going for it. And to be honest, he's, he's not going to win by being defensive now. He has no. to take his chances. Because Matty is going to take his chances. And pot the like balls when they're there. So. Oh, but this will be an interesting next couple of frames. Yes, it will be. And there could be another tight one here. Obviously a sunny break. Sonny's actually looking a little bit more confident at the moment he than, is, than he was a, about 20 minutes ago. He's looking a lot ago. more confident than what he was about four frames ago. I think uh, a few times he's tried to sit balls over pockets and they've actually gone in. I think yeah. by playing you know, a couple of inches up the cushion now, he's making sure that it's sitting over that pocket. And just as we expected, there's the 200, over 200 viewers online now, which is great to see. More towards the business end of the uh, of the match. 
and the crowd here has always um, been up around 120, I think. So. Yeah, it's been a good crowd. Over, over 300 it? people yeah. watching for the entire match. It's great. Yeah. Cuball TV, as usual, doing a great job. Thank you, Dan. Dan's done an awesome job. He just needs to get another 20 uh, cameras in here. <laughs> <laughs> one behind the cue ball. <laughs> Maybe one of those... Player those, cam. Uh, player cam yeah, soon. The, play Maybe. the player cam that just roams over the table. That would be great. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're just... Ah, oh, head cam. That's great. We could do that too. There we go. A few ideas for you there, Dan. Send us around the world. <laughs> Now the commentator's getting photographed. <laughs> Thanks, Dom. Oh, there's a bit of a gap there down the bottom there. Matty could probably wait. Oh, he might have a go at it now. Well, he loves this type of frame, Sonny. Um, but Matt has been thinking his way through things very nicely in this match. He's, his eight ball knowledge has obviously improved in the last few years. And he's, he's played a lot of the right shots. Even uh, in the tactical game, too. Yes, definitely. Yes. I don't know. I think, you know, in Sonny's head, I think that he could possibly, even, even though Matt has been playing a really good tactical match, I, I still think that he thinks that he can wear him down tactically. And you know what? No he doubt. might be able to. No over, doubt. Over all these frames, he might be able to do that. He's still got to win three frames to win the match. and um... I'm sure that's in the back of his mind, too. <laughs> Yeah, well, until he's until he's 17 frames and, and on, the, on the black, um, it's probably still going to seem a little while away from that, especially while Sonny's winning winning frames. That's a lovely shot. You can squeeze this under there as well. What's he going to do? Is he going to attack this? If he attacks it, he does, he, if but he, he hasn't got a hell of a lot after that. That's a problem. Unless he can get up on that yellow in the middle and crack it open. What would you do, Ron? It's always difficult to tell. Uh, and always easier to say it from here, but um, even if he did attack that frame, he'd still need to, that little bit of luck. So, yeah. you know, I think, I think Sonny is... His spirits are being lifted here. He's, he's probably actually seen... walking to the table a bit quicker too now, Sonny. Yep, he's you got, know, he can... got a bit of a hop in his step. Yeah. And... Probably in a better position in this frame as well because I can't be certain, but he could pot this red up the top corner and then and then play a plant near that black on, on his red onto the yellow and push that yellow over towards his uh, his red ball. Yeah. He's tried to take some more cover. He's going to make sure of it. Yeah, if, if you're going to do it, don't don't leave gaps. Because <laughs> that's what's happened in both these bottom corner pockets and, and Maddie's put a ball in both, hasn't he? He hasn't been at his uh, pocket blocking best today, Sonny. Um, no, I think, I think he's been a bit worried about how the ball's going in. At the start of the match... Um, he was trying to block pockets and they were falling in. And they were sliding so in. So now he's hit them a little bit further out to just cause a bit of pain. Look, I wouldn't mind seeing this shot. The, the red onto the yellow near the black and, and pushing that yellow towards his red over the hole, but he's not... He's got something else in mind. Hasn't really left him on much here, has he? Just keep that white low. Well, if Sonny's not really prepared to open up the pack, then, you know, Matt could just probably push his yellow up towards the hole, see what Sonny's going to do next shot. Um, yeah, it's about who's going to open it up first. And yeah, I don't, it doesn't look like Sonny's prepared to do it. But that's actually <laughs> that's a very that's good shot. That's right, actually. Because now Sonny can't play that shot that I was talking about because he's got that yellow underneath the red. So good shot by Matt. I'll tell you what, Sonny could still have a go here. If he, yeah, if he did put this red up the top and put the cannon on the red on the red, and then 
he can develop yeah, he can develop he those balls have, with the red in the middle could, pocket, can he? Definitely. He could actually get an angle on that red near the black, put it in the middle pocket and open it up. <laughs> Still leaving he, a red he, down here if he puts a cannon on. Did he see that or is he just is he just a little bit too negative still? I that, think, I uh, think you're right there. I think, he, he's I think pretty he tentative. Is. I always believe that you've got to look at how to win the game, you know, not how to stop the other person from winning a game. That's right. You know? And, this and if they're there, as you say, look, he's got balls. He can develop yeah. the balls and still land on balls. Yeah. And while you've got that chance, you've got to yeah. take it because... You're going to run out of balls eventually, or run out of chances, because you yep. let you let Matt back to the table. And it's a pity Matt's right on the cush here. I mean, he still might be able to get down to the one on the bottom. It's just he might have to hit it a bit thicker into the middle. I don't know if he can develop that pack from where he is no, now. No, no, I'm talking about getting onto the back cushion down. Yeah, where he's looking now. But the only yeah, Probably even, even if he does, he's not guaranteed to land yeah. on anything. Um, Whereas Sonny did have that option and yeah. didn't take it. So well, Sonny's had so many, so many chances, I believe. So he's definitely looking at developing the pack. He's got to hit it sweet. Well, but who knows like where they're going to end go up? Anyway. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And another twist in the tail. Yes. He's had a go. It's an interesting game, mate, Ball, but when you don't have, you know, balls to land on. But that was unlucky. It was unlucky it that he went on unlucky. off. But even if he hadn't have gone in off then, he wouldn't have been on anything at all. So, you know, it was a risk. But um, was a risk that he was willing to take, risk. at least. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> unlucky to go in off but you know what Sonny's got to go out and let's see if he's shaky or well probably wanted a the fact that he's got two shots should should release quite a lot of pressure for him but um yeah it's always handy that's what it's it? all about too so it's, it's usually when you get two shots you do it in one don't you yeah <laughs> You can get yourself into the best position in the world, but until you actually finish the frame off, you haven't won it. Yeah. And Sonny's sort of fell short a couple of times, so he needs to dig deep here, finish the frame off, and 15-11, oh he'd gosh. be pretty happy. <sighs> Even with two shots, you know, like, you've got to be positive. You just have to be positive. Pull it out of somewhere. Well, I think he was just concentrating on something else there. <laughs> he was trying to pot it. But there really wasn't a lot to concentrate on. No, but um, no, he still should be going out. You'd still back him to pot out. <laughs> you would. Yeah. It's not. It's not as easy as it seems to everybody watching, but he should pot out. Because sometimes when you you know, you know Sue, when you're feeling a certain way, which which Sunny might be at the moment, things seem twice as hard. Yeah. Um, Sometimes it feels like you've never picked up a cue in your life when, yeah. when you're struggling at the table and when you know you're down. And you just kind of, you have to play your way back into it. I think, you know, that's what Sonny needs to do is just play his way back into the game. But if you're struggling and you can still finish off the frame, that's even better. Yeah, you know? I agree. And, and that's got to give you some confidence doing that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's using his too, but... He just has to grit he's his still teeth. still finishing it. Finish the frame. He knows they're easy shots, but he's still got to do it. He's still, everyone still has to do it. Because even though uh, Sonny might not be feeling the best at the moment, every every frame that he wins is going to make that a little bit harder for Matt. Yeah. So, And that's three on the trot for the Lister. Matt's still got a smile on his face. It's still a smile, but he's probably think, yeah. turning inside yeah. thinking, hmm. Get that next frame, damn it. Sometimes it is good to, you know, after a couple of frames, just walk away from the table and reset your mind. The and, tactical and toilet break. Yeah. Oh, Justin yeah. Sayich is an absolute expert at the tactical <laughs> toilet break. Yeah. Oh. Or he drinks a lot of water. I, I drink know. a lot of water too, though, <laughs> and I'm the same as Justin. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll go to the toilet every two frames if I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing to do with tactics. <laughs> but I am a lot older than Justin. So <laughs> the, ner the nervous we. Yeah. It's come back to. Um, Oops, sorry. <laughs> for the difference now. So, yep. Yeah, Sonny was 15-8 uh, down, and uh, now he's just climbing back. Mm. Just getting that touch easier for Sonny. Touch harder for Matt. Nobody switched off. Now we're up to 220 watching online, so. We're getting to the really interesting part of the match here. What time did the match start? About 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock. So we've been going for just over 5 hours. Wow. Potentially could be another hour and a half. Could be another 20 minutes too. Could be. <laughs> Pretty good split, but... Um, I don't know if he's got an easy starting ball, maybe that yellow. I think that's his only starter, really. You don't want to miss the first one either. Well, the first shot that springs to mind here is, is to cut that yellow in and maybe develop his, his problem one in the middle, which is, looks to be a natural angle. I'll just clip that red, but. But he's in, he's in first, so. And he's still at the table. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see if Maddie can respond anyway. He probably needs a um, good settling frame here. Well, you wouldn't be surprised. He's a true professional. He's been under pressure a lot this year. Won some big tournaments. I'd expect him to respond, but, you know, Sonny's going to have something to say about that as well. Sonny's a grinder. Just make sure you hit a red here, Sonny. No, he's going to make him waste a shot and give away too. Probably just as good. So Matt really just needs to set the frame up for himself here. Try and take control of at least one pocket. Going for a good pot and... Uh, wow, good effort. I can't see how straight that is. He might be able to develop that yellow now, but I think he, he might a have a little angle. bit too angle, yeah. too, too much angle. I think he's just trying to figure out what ball he can use to get that ball out of there. Yeah, and the earlier the better. Yeah. But it's good, you know, Matt's still sort of sticking to his game plan. He's yeah. not going into his shell. Uh, I mean, if he attacks this, then, you know, he hasn't changed anything, really. That's the way, that's how he's got 15-11 in front. Um, so you've got to keep playing the same way. Here we go. And he's got a nice he's result there. Beautifully. Well done. So he's given himself a good chance here. Couple of couple of tricky ones to negotiate. That uh, that yellow uh, above the tape, above the middle pocket, yeah. might end up going in the top right hand yeah. corner. And if he takes on a tough shot like that, that's the key shot. If he gets it, he wins. And um, he's had, had a couple of George shots too. Yeah. Recently. Yes, recently. He'd be thinking about that. 
Made it a little bit tougher. Didn't want that. Wanted to keep that black as clear as possible. He had a bit more angle than I thought he did, but. Uh, uh, hello yes. to everyone out there, like in uh, Victoria, Queensland. I know there's a lot of people out there. All um, around Australia, watching, watching the massive $25,000 match. Thanks for tuning in. Mm. Um, oh, wow. He's broken it out beautifully, but he's left himself nothing. And the only ball he's got on, the yellow on the side, is going to clear Sonny's red. So... And again, it's one of those things, he was never guaranteed to land on anything. There's, yeah. there's two yellows on the table, but they're not really in a spot where you're going to land on something. It was working earlier and now it's not. That's the difference. Yeah, and it can change yeah. very quickly. You can, you can get the luck or you can get the bad luck. And, um... Oh, shivers. Probably, I would say, Sue, he's just probably losing a little bit of composure here yeah. at the moment. Um, to Sonny's delight, he's got another two shots here. Uh, the only good thing out of that was um, Matt's left those two red balls together. <laughs> and, I mean, they're, they're not that hard to get onto either. Well, he might, ex he might just develop the these high. the first shot and, I mean, then, left, and then leave one the shot to pull out. Probably develop them now. Yeah. And, and back himself to pull out with one shot. So. Yeah, he's hit that a bit thick, I think. I think he's still all right. He, he probably wanted to hit, hit a half a ball, fine, but... He'd have been finer. He would have been down on this red down the bottom corner here. He still should be okay. One good shot here. Just screw back, screw back about two and a half feet for the um, for the red in the middle yep. of that of that three. He's running through. Oh, it actually goes in there. Okay. Hey, sometimes well, that's even it is easier. hard, hard <laughs> to tell <laughs> hard if you to can see, You kind of feel a bit silly as a commentator when you you don't realise a ball goes into a hole Especially and, uh, when you're on Kelly. and and then they play the opposite <laughs> shot. <laughs> That's okay. I've got an expert here, <laughs> and he still can't pick it. <laughs> we need pocket cam, don't we? We do. Pocket this, cam. This is it. You know, mm. I said an, an extra 20 cameras would be beautiful. <laughs> one in each pocket, one roving. <laughs> All right, key shot. Just one good shot here. Crowd and cam. It's all we can over. crowd cam. Well, you know, the way the game's going, there's a lot more money in it, Sue, and maybe we can get a few more extra cameras for Dan, and I'd like to see Q cam as well. Maybe tip cam. Q. Q. <laughs> tip cam. Maybe Q cam. Did you say? All right, Q cam. Great <laughs> shot. Great shot. <laughs> now, now people are starting to raise their eyebrows. <laughs> Well, Sonny definitely is, and Matty definitely is too. I can see Matt from here, and he's looking a little bit stressed, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, Sonny <laughs> is fired up now. Uh, this is what we like to he's see. He's getting his rhythm. Let's just hope Matty can fight back. <laughs> And I'm sure he can. A bit of a fist pump there from Sonny. Look, he's just wiping his hands. Hang on, Matty's having a chocolate bar for some energy he up is. there. He's got his supporters on yep. edge. He's his son and his wife and, and uh, his backers and everyone here. Yep. But whatever happens from here, it's great to see that he's actually fought back. Oh, uh, definitely. Making a really good match yep. of it. You know that was he was going to do that all along. Yep. Uh, he would never give up. Uh, and, uh, and now it just makes it better watching, so... I think the pressure, even though Maddie's up by three still, Sonny's just won the last four on a trot, and uh, Maddie's probably feeling way more pressure than what Sonny is right now. Not feeling as good as he Guarantee was about 40 you. minutes ago. Just when you thought Maddie was going to run away with the last three frames, and Sonny, the comeback king, is looking pretty happy with himself. And that is the beauty of sport. You never know what's going to happen. He's still doing that. Corner know, ball, that straight like that. But look, it's changing each. for him, isn't it? Yep. Reds are looking pretty nice. They're both alright, actually, but I mean, I'd go Reds. 
Yeah, I think the Reds, he just has to work nicely in a couple of tight spaces, but um, there's only a couple of couple of balls, really. That's and, a uh, Just flicked that black over just a little bit there, just made it a little bit more difficult, but I'm sure that he can figure this out. I'm not sure if that red goes in the bottom left. Uh, if it doesn't, you'd probably be, just be leaving that leaving that red until the last last ball. Yeah, and then coming around and putting the black in the same pocket. Yeah. No. Well, if it doesn't go in the bottom left, he can he can put it in the bottom right. Yeah, and then come around. Well, the yellow's in the way, but the black will be on in the corner or the middle. Um, hard to tell. I don't know if it's on. He might be developing again. Got to hope it turns out okay. Oh, yeah, he's just. We've seen that double shot bit hard, about three or four it? times in the last 20 minutes, developing, but you. And not landing you, where he wanted you, you're to. You're not be. guaranteed well, to land a on few it. few times right. now, and it's lost him the frame. So. In that situation, you might just be better off making sure you get on that red blast, making sure that you got a shot at it, and and making sure you've got some type of shot on the black. But yeah, he's, he's chosen to develop yeah. it, and you know, all Matt's balls are out in the open, and now he's under pressure to make a big shot. He's so. under a lot of pressure now. Nice shot, though. Well, he's having a go, and. Uh, I'll tell you what, this will bring the house down if he, if he uh, wins his frame. And I've just had word that New South Wales are behind this man at the table. Sonny Lister, Damo and the crew in New oh, South Wales. Damien Smith out there. Shout have out to Damo. They're all riding the Sunny train and at the moment it's got the momentum. It's got steam coming out of it. The steam train. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunny locomotive. <laughs> All right, Sonny Lister, one shot. Oh, what a pressure pot. It was a pressure pot, but, you know, he took his time on that shot and he played it beautifully. But he looked really good. He looked really good over the shot. He yeah, was confident. He yeah, you knew he was going to get that. And uh, if, if this black goes in, I can tell you what, Sonny is feeling twice as good as Matt. Do you hear that? My goodness. Game on. <laughs> <laughs> and it did bring the house down. This is what we came to see, folks. 15-8 to 15-13. Five on the trot for Sonny Lister. Nobody's going to bed. Nobody. Not even in the eastern states. We've got 216 people watching right now. Oh, it's only early over there. It's only about 10 o'clock, isn't it? It is early. It's 10 o'clock, but it is <laughs> 20 past 10. But it's a Saturday, isn't it? I was it, thinking it's a Sunday. It is. Saturday no night. No work tomorrow. <laughs> you can see uh, Rocky on, his, on the screen there. Making a phone call. Yep. He's... Um, put himself out there as a single man from Singleton. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky the single man from Singleton. <laughs> oh dear. Well, what's going to come next? We don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, what Matty needs right now. I know one thing. A break and a pot out. The right hand side of the room is become a lot louder. <laughs> and the left hand side of the room is a little bit more sheepish. Yes. But they've still got their support. Uh, I know that oh, yeah, um, Matt, Matt's, Matt's no got his left. dad and Gordon Whitaker, Barry Saxon. Uh, he's got he got Jed Renton. He's the president of the Snooker Association here. And, he's got uh, his dad and his uncle. Yes, there. yeah. yeah. He's, um, and his wife. Plenty of support for both the players, which is great. And they'll both be urging their, their player on. Well, oh, and a dry left break. A fairly, fairly safe white there. Does he have a starter? Unless... 
Ah, uh, look. Having Maddie, a giggle to each other. Maddie and, will be uh, happy where he left the white, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Matt's invading the sunny list of territory over there. He's, he's just about yeah, to take it. the other. <laughs> he's had enough. Oh, that was... Uh, he still left the white up. Good thinking, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing about it himself. Jeez. He probably looked at him going, what was that? <laughs> and then he went, phew. But uh, he might have got, 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 got a tough plant, but it's on. Um, and the yellows are available, so. A couple of tough ones near the rail, but they're all there for Matt. This is when, as a, as a, a really good player, uh, a deep, tough competitor, you, you dig deep and you yep. respond. And he really needs to. And this is his chance. Even though by this point the pockets look that little bit smaller and the balls look a little bit bigger. But um, I think he'll hold it together all right here. Isn't that funny how it's like that, eh? <laughs> when you're confident everything's going. And that was a really good confident shot there, you know, like to develop ball on the cushion. He probably didn't need to, he didn't have to do that, but he still wants to be an attacking player. No, he still wants to attack the game. He certainly hasn't backed this off to his credit. He's pretty good in the middle here to get down on the bottom. Well, I know one thing, Matt hasn't changed the way he's played the entire match. He's just missed a couple of pots that he shouldn't yep. have. Um, Sonny sort of went into his shell for a little while there for a few frames, but... But now he's playing the way he should, and he's uh, yeah. and he's getting results on the board. So it's going to be a good finish. Oh, it's all right. He can put the one up the top, and then uh, the one on the left-hand rail, and then go through right. Still depends on that angle. If he can get straight enough on the one on the left-hand rail, then he can run through. Yeah. I just don't know. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. I'm just. <laughs> I, I keep. It doesn't help if you. No, move, it doesn't look. If you go like this, it doesn't help moving your head over. There. Susie and I are both looking to the, trying right to trying to move side. our heads on the screen, but it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Yeah. We haven't figured that out yet. If he's straight on this, it's he he's could. in a pretty good spot. I just don't know if he's straight enough to follow. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's a very good shot, yeah. mate. Very good shot. And that is almost perfect, I reckon. Brilliant shot. You just got to try not to leave yourself on the cushion on the left-hand side. Looks like he's got a little bit of angle, so it's actually it's actually landed perfectly, I think, for him. Yeah. He ran that through and it came off a couple of inches off the rail. Super shot. Looks like he's putting a bit of bottom on it, unless it's drag. Let's just put a little bit of drag on it. Just wants a little bit of angle to come out for the black, so it's the only thing he really needs to concentrate on. Yeah, Probably leaving it on the bottom, on the bottom rail, and I don't know about you, Ron, but. When I play pool, I love people watching. I love people cheering. Um, a lot of people don't. They don't like it. But I find with with a crowd, you know, you get that that energy from a crowd. And I think they're both getting that at different stages, you know. Absolutely. I think Matt's just lacking that little bit of energy at the moment. If he finishes this, let's, let's hear what the crowd are going to well, do. Well, they'll be back on their feet. Yeah. And, uh, <gasps> and he, he just, lifted his head. He just jumped up a little shot. bit there, yeah. so. He you know, really there's a did. few nerves. Yeah. It, it gets to the he best of us. He needed to really concentrate and get down on that ball properly. And that wasn't a hard shot. The, he's, the, a, he's actually hit that a bit too firm as well. Like, he, he didn't need to hit it that firm. He just needed to pot it and make it a sweet pot, and that's it. He, he didn't stroke it as nicely as he had nah. a few of the others. Uh, We're looking for a snooker here, Sonny, on the right-hand side. Oh. This is, this is quite yeah. amazing. It's... Uh, you can definitely tell the shift here. Um, Matt's not feeling the best. 
Yeah, he went straight back to his table and have a bite of a chocolate bar then. Looking for some energy? Uh, yeah. Yep. I was actually looking forward to his fight have a yell there for a minute. And Damien Smith says, hi, Sue. Uh, hi, Damien. How are you? <laughs> he said, you're good. He said, you're a good commentator. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, New South Wales. I hear they've got a pretty good team this year for the Nationals. <laughs> Very good team. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a huge shot by Matty. Wow. He's left himself right on the cushion here, but... Not much Sonny could do about that. That was just a brilliant shot. On this one, Matty. Oh, gosh. I tell you what, that only just dropped in. Oh, I tell you a what, high fives going around here nothing, as well. nothing is easy Jeez. from here on in. No, I was looking at his backhand, the grip on the cue there when he played that shot. It, it did look <laughs> loose, but I tell you what, I bet you it was tight around the fingers around the cue. His heart would have been beating at about 100, 100 beats a minute, and uh, maybe even quicker. Oh, look, Matty's, Matty's fired up. He's got his chest out. He's this ready is to great. go. This is Game on. What a I game think, to I watch. I think we should be hearing the ding, 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 <laughs> round three. <laughs> Gee, 17 all would be something to see, wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't Could happen it? too. Well, that yes. was a uh, heart starter for Matty, I think. What a massive shot, though, to put that yellow. Could have been 15-14, could have been but what a shot. Well yeah, done. Get out of a snooker, pot the yellow. I was always taught if you can get out of a snooker, you can pot it. So. That's true. Uh, Just like that. We've got another message from David Fallon, who's uh, who's on the Gold Coast watching the match at the moment. He he lives in WA. So good day, Dave. We might be all going back to um, Maddie's house if he wins tonight. <laughs> Tell you what, though. He did it, say it he was going to have a seem, couple of drinks either way. It might but seem like, you know, he's only got two frames to win. But, you know, about a, an hour ago, he still only had three frames to win. And, um, yeah, it, it, probably, it feels like probably further away now than what it did. An hour ago, yeah, you know, when he funny, was seven or eight frames up. The last couple uh, probably be pretty hard to win, but um, that would have given him a confident, confidence boost, that yeah, last one. Uh, definitely. Although he did miss that fairly easy pot, so that could still be in the back of his mind as well by just missing that easy pot to yeah. get onto the black to start off with. And I think Sonny would still be feeling pretty good because he didn't do anything yeah, wrong in that so frame. Too. He played a good shot. Yeah, and, he didn't um, have much of a chance. He went for the snooker, he got the snooker, and Matty got and out and of Matt it. And Matt played a freak shot to get out of it, so... How that, how close that yellow is to the, to the middle pocket. I don't know if it drops in there. Yeah, it, it doesn't look tough. easy. That's a, that's the only one I was looking at. That it looks like it could be a little bit of a problem. Other than that, they're all looking fairly good. Hmm. He's looking at, he's looking at trying to get on it to develop that ball, so he's obviously not happy with the middle. If he can either develop it or run it down to the corner, but if he's going to run it down to the corner, you want to do it pretty soon because I was just thinking, there's enough though, traffic on the table to just sit yeah, that in or over. I haven't seen too many shots down the rail. Most of the time they're trying to get him off the rail, which is great. But I just haven't seen too many. Like, I mean, he's going to try and get it off now. Well, he's got a ball to land on. There we 
go. Oh, he's just double kissed it and it stayed on the cushion a bit, but it's still giving him a little bit more of an angle, a Look, little bit more of a pocket anyway. This is the shot now. You, you, he's got to run that ball down the rail. If he pots it, uh, he's only got that one at the top and then he comes back down for the other two. If he sits it, it's still not easy for Sonny. No, he, he, could, he could take the top one first and then run it down with an angle to come over for these two on the right-hand side. But if you leave it over the hole, um, at least you got that other ball up there as a backup. And oh, okay. He's going, he might be even going the double. Or maybe it does go no, in the middle now. Well, he did bring it off probably like about half a centimetre. Maybe it does go in the middle now. We shall see. Yeah, we shall see. So he's left, he, well he will be trying, that, that's the last ball he's going to go for, down the rail and then on the black in the bottom right corner. It looks like he's running into the reds, he, but it might be to the camera get, angle. If he's straight on it. I think he might go through. It, it looks like he's running straight into those reds, doesn't it? The problem is he's left himself on the cushion. Can't really... Well from there, it looks pretty tough and he'd want to be pretty close to the, the yellow the as well. So. Is. That's why I would have preferred to see running it down the rail. If it goes in, you win, shot. because you don't have this problem. Well, I would have taken the one up the top instead of screwing down for the one on the right-hand side. And again. I would have taken it down earlier and left those two on the right-hand side. But Well, he's had a look at someone in the crowd there. I mean, might have been put off by something. Well, but it was never an easy shot. But It could have been... The only reason you get put off by things in the crowd is when you're not concentrating, and, and that's a fact. So, you know, if little things are bugging you, yep. then you have to be mindful of that and just block it out and just go, you know what, it's been like this all day. Yes, I was just... Get on with it. Yep. I agreed. Just noticed the glance that you gave at someone. Don't know exactly what happened. But, Sue, there was enough traffic there if he had to run that yellow down. Yeah. Enough traffic there for Sonny. Even if he had to miss that ball, uh, it was yeah. going to be very difficult yeah. for Sonny to do anything. And, and, and it was in the black's corner, yeah. you know. And now Sonny finds himself in a better position. He, he'd be favourite to win the frame from here. He should be. Six balls to two usually are. Um... Being a commentator, Sue, you have people coming past every 10 minutes. Do you want a drink? Do you want a drink? I wish I was actually drinking <laughs> something other than lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just pretend and put them under the table. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what he was trying to do then. Not sure. He did have a plan. I'm not sure. Oh look, you know, Sonny's got to fire up. Just do it, Nike, mate. Just do it. Well, his only concern is that red near the yellow. Um, and uh, but he, he, he's got the luxury of the two of the of the two difficult yellows from that. So. He, even yeah, if he tries right. to put that red this is down why you've the got corner. to go for it now. You don't punish him. Well, yeah, and you've got to go for it at the right time too. Yeah. You, don't, you don't really want to leave it till. Don't, don't let him in. Don't give him another shot. He's at the table. He's got control of it. He's a brilliant potter. He's looking fairly focused, I think. Is he looking at a red off the yellow? Probably not necessary, but I think that's what he's looking at. I think you're right. He he might. I'd like to see him just run just through. If he can run through and just play this bottom right and just stun the white ball, leave it in yeah. no man's land. If it goes in, he wins. 
Uh, if it doesn't, it's still still very difficult for Matt. So in the back of his head, though, he's he's still thinking, well, if, if I miss, I'm gone. Especially that red next to the yellow, because Matty knows it'll go. Sunny well, knows it'll go. The red right in the middle of the table was actually preventing him from doubling the other yellow back. So the, if, he, if he rolls this one through and plays this other red, yeah. it, he's in a pretty good spot, whether it goes in or not. He probably wanted to be dead straight on it, though. He doesn't want to be knocking his yellow out into, into a better position. Um, no, he don't, yeah, he so he wanted another inch on that, and a couple of inches. But, hey, you know, what all he has to do is pot a red. Pot it. That's it. It's that easy, Sue, isn't it? Oh, it's so easy <laughs> for me. <yeah. laughs> Concentrate on the pot. You don't do anything with a white ball here. Missed oh, that, and he's brought the yellow out. Well, at least he covered that hole because even if Matt runs through on the yellow here, he's still got to try and get onto the black. Well, but he wanted to be straight on, yeah. straight on that red, so he never knocked that yellow out. He didn't want to knock the yellow out, but um, yeah, that, was that was where he landed. Off position there. That was where he landed. Oh, if Maddie can pot this one into the top corner or into the middle and leave himself an angle to slide over and put the black in the same pocket down the bottom right. Thank you. Hey, you're right. The only consolation you got out of that is putting the red over the pocket. But at least he blocked the black. Yeah. You know, it, it makes Matt try and come over the other side of the table for the black. And, um, oh, jeez. Like you said, concentrate on the pot, stay at the table. Well, you can, un you can understand how difficult it's getting now for, um, for Matt. But he needs to just try and break through it. He wouldn't have missed that pot uh, in the first three no, or four hours. No way. Um, and you know, Sonny is doing a good job of taking advantage of it, so good on him. Tables have turned. He's giving it the big Q pump. Come on. And he, he's thriving off this suit. Yeah, he, he, he thinks he's at the Nationals back oh, in yeah. 1998. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in Perth, I think. Was it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 1998, Fremantle. High fives everywhere. <laughs> he's. he's he is pumping. Oh yeah, that's like his whole team across the side there. His whole team. They sh I'm surprised they're not all wearing state shirts. <laughs> to be honest with you. I think Rod Gurney might be. Yep. And a shout out for Shez as well. So. Uh, G'day Shez, back in Victoria. Hi Shez, how are you? Oh, the message came through from, from <laughs> one of the Vicks over there. Hope you're enjoying the match, we certainly are. We're up to the peak of their viewers now, 229 online. And I don't think anyone's left from here, so. Oh, by the way Shez, I got my gardening done, thanks mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a five minute break. It's uh, 30 frames played. I don't think I'll go anywhere, Sue. I'll just stay no, right here. I'm enjoying this. Isn't it? So, Ronnie, um, how much money do you think the, these buyers have actually put in of their own money? Um, I, I don't know for certain. Um, I, I don't know, Sue. <laughs> Not a question at, you want to answer. At, at least a few thousand each, yeah. yeah. But, um... There is a lot of interest from around the country at the moment, I can tell you that. Yeah, I bet there is. <laughs> a lot of side oh, betting going on. It is good to see this kind of stuff. I know um, when my ex-husband used to play years ago. Chris um, Bacenich. Buzz. Yes. yes, Buzzy. You know, they used to have matches like this. And they weren't huge money matches, but there was a lot of people in the pub. And, and it actually, this 
this actually looks like what it used to look like, you know, 20 odd years ago. It's an old pub, you know, yeah. and, and the atmosphere and, you know, the days when uh, you could kind of drink a little bit more and drive home. <laughs> I'm not saying do oh, that really? now, people, oh. but... Um, <laughs> you only just got your licence 20 years ago, didn't you, Sue? I did, actually. Yes. <laughs> so, but... Well, it's you good know, to see. The atmosphere is here, and um, bit of old school atmosphere. Yeah, it is. It, it is quite old. And school new age players. Well, one of them is anyway. Sonny's been around forever, but um, Matt's coming into his own in eight ball. It's good to see. It's the pool revolution. The pool revolution. The eight ball revolution, uh, particularly in WA. Yeah, actually. We're all loving it, aren't it, we? It's brilliant. You know, it's it's brought you out of the woodwork. <laughs> um, and, and they, all these little money matches they've got going down at Miss Q's and, um, you know, it's just great to watch. And it's, you know, people are getting down there just to watch it. Absolutely. And uh, having a good night out and there's a lot of interest in it, which is brilliant. It has actually, you know, brought back WA Paul, really. And the internet plays a big part in this because I know that even over in Queensland they play a lot of money matches yeah. too. Uh, Rusty and Craig Stevens yeah. and Shanna Purcell. Uh, guys like that, they're playing a lot over there. Um, Victoria, obviously, obviously playing a lot of money matches. South Australia's always been big in eight ball. But um, yeah, South Australia have always got matches going on. You know, like I mean, but the, the difference between WA and South Australia is, you know, South Australia they've got so many leagues. They've got a whole women's league. I know that. Um, the men's league, you know, half a million pool holes there uh, anyway. Yeah, they got hundreds of good players. So. And uh, and they make it happen. And there's so much interest there. They've got so many people playing. Um, WA is a little bit different in a way that we're, we're very much spread out as we're well. We're isolated. We're spread out. Yeah. And we have a lot of country players, you know, in Kalgoorlie and Geraldton, you know, um, up in Karratha. There's a lot of people that play up there. Um, you know, there's people in Albany down south as well. And it's such a wide space. Um, we, and credit we, to everyone, we're making it happen here. We're um, yeah, and thanks to Dan, people can just get up there and click onto Cue Ball and watch it. Well, to me, Cue Ball TV, like you know, really good streaming makes makes anything like this twice as good. Oh, and, uh, definitely. If people can't watch it, it's pretty hard for people to get involved. So, pleasure to have him here, Dan. Paul Hawthorne's just come over and he said he's uh, lost his voice. Paul Hawthorne's lost his voice. <laughs> I've never heard you shout once, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a dry break from Matty. Uh, he won't be happy with that. Another shout out from uh, over in uh, Queensland. Come on, Sonny. Everybody loves to see the underdog come through. That's from Bronson Blackmore, I believe. Hello, Bronson. It's great having this real-time chat. See what people are thinking. Yeah. So we're back to business. Sonny trying to stamp his authority on the frame straight away. Andrew Saltmarsh in um, Tasmania has put on here in 1998 Tasmania won the Nationals <laughs> is that the last time they won it? That was in Fremantle wasn't it? Tasmania yeah um, I think it was the last time I'm they won it. I'm pretty sure Thank you Salty And was it the first time they won it? Is it the only time they've won it? That's a, there's a question for you Salty How many times has Tasmania won the Nationals in the men? Could be, Sue, because... Could be the first and last. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I was there and I can't remember that. I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> South Australia, Victoria and uh, WA, maybe Queensland won one or two. But other than that, Tasmania might be the only one. 
Well, good shot there from Sonny. He's, he's cleared his difficult red up the top of the table, and uh, Matt's still got a problem yellow down here. But I wonder what frame of mind he's in at the moment. Can he get underneath it now, or is that black in the way? Oh, ooh. oh. That's Sonny's even. eyes just lit up on that shot. Yeah, it did too. <laughs> I got a message from Sam Hart. He's obviously watching it at home. He said he's one of the uh, guys in the Masters team for WA. And he said, tell him to hurry up. I want to go to bed. Well, Sam, we know you're an old fart, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's exciting enough for you to stay awake for. It's a Saturday night, Sam. Yeah. And um, Diane Meekin, she's watching in Sydney at the moment. Um, sorry about the Dockers, Di. I know you flew over there just to watch the Dockers win and they lost, but um, they've got another chance, so that's cool. And, um, yeah, we'll see you when you get back. Yeah, it's a huge day in sports, Sue. We've got the Fremantle Dockers playing Sydney. We've got the North Melbourne, they beat Essendon tonight. And, and we've got Sonny Lister versus Matt Bolton. So I know. It's all happening. It's huge. And that was a great shot by Sonny. <laughs> He cut a ball in, developed his problem red, and uh, he can actually take oh, this to 16-15. This he's is looking really good here. This is huge. Oh, he's got to take that red now, doesn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. just deciding ideally you'd want to play the one in the top can go wrong you'd, if he well, cuts the one in the middle that can go wrong so it's just no, I'd be taking the one up the top it's a personal preference he's taking the one in the middle first ah beautiful <laughs> bit, bit thicker than I thought that was nice and uh Sonny Lister coming home Ooh. with an absolute bang he, he has is. won uh, he's won seven of the last eight frames when everybody thought it was done and dusted. Sonny says, hello, I'm still here. And he is. Look at me go. This is a huge match from being 15-8 up. Well done, Sonny. That is a massive, massive comeback no matter what happens from here. He showed a lot of fight. This would be one of those matches um, that will be talked about for quite some time afterwards. Now, Susie, it's 16-15 uh, a mat, but I reckon that, that Sonny might be a $1.80 favourite for here. Uh, just, just the way it's gone, $1.80, $2 a mat, maybe even dollar maybe even seventy. Well, I'm not a sunny. better, um, but I'd go 50-50. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still not. <laughs> just, just the momentum. Um, But we all know what, what both of these players are capable of, so let's just sit and watch and, and see what happens. But, uh, you know, if you're a betting man at the moment, um, a lot of people might might shift their, their money towards Sonny, I, I think. Well, right now. yeah, with the momentum, yeah. Yes. Well, Matt, Matt's still I, looking pretty cool there in the chair, but probably not feeling that great. But I've got to give it to Sonny. He has stepped, he's kept with his game plan. And like I said, I mean, there hasn't been too many strategy strategy games in the last one. Like, they haven't had to deal with too much. Yeah. But it's just, yeah, it's just, you know, being out by half a ball or a ball on it, on each shot that's, I mean, Maddie should have won that last frame. Yeah, it's a game of millimetres. You know? It's uh, one thing for sure. Now this is Matt's chance to to, to do something great. Can he stop him in his tracks? Yellows are there, but they're not easy. Can you hear the crowd? If you can hear the crowd, you know, like after um, every shot now, Matty's getting a bit of support. You know, they're trying to jeer him up, get him over the line. 
not sure in his head if he thinks he's going to get over the line at the moment. Sonny certainly does. Yeah. I... His body language on the side there, you know, he looks pretty good. Looks like he's ready to go for a run, actually. <laughs> <laughs> a 10k run, I reckon. Yeah. Mm. Well, if he can, can pop this one in the, on the bottom left-hand corner and get the white back towards the middle pocket and run this yellow down, that would probably be ideal. He doesn't have to pot it. Get rid of your bad ball and um, and, and claim one of those pockets, which would be the bottom right. So There's not too much value in blocking the bottom left, but the bottom right would be a lot better. And, um, um, well, they're open. Well, I, I, right. think, I think the red near the black goes in the, both the, the corner pocket and the middle. At least the corner. The, um, the two on the right-hand rail there, you know, how I many he can use the top one to break off the other one? Just See how he feels. He might not be going too aggressive, but um, they are there for the taking. You missed the pot, but it's not too bad. Uh, got, got Matt's wife walking around here. She's probably getting a little bit nervous as I well. Think she's actually pulling down yep. her hair, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. It's a lot harder to watch them play, I always think. Way to. It's not going to help his cause at all. I think I think Bea needs to go and give his give her husband a massage or something. <laughs> He's just going to use this ball maybe just to. Well, two shots. Look, as long as, he's, as, as his position is, is good, um, there's he's no reason to nick this why ball he can't. Out. Oh, maybe he's just going to roll through. Looks like he's putting top on it. Yeah. Commentary has changed a lot, I'd say, over the last few grams. Look, they're all there. He just needs to um, keep that white ball um, where he wants it. If, if he doesn't run out of position, he, he's going out. Yeah, he should be all right. That's uh, an ordinary shot. See, he's just rushed that just a tad. Like, well, just it, to get down on that shot, he just rushed it. Might have stabbed at that one a little yeah. bit. The white ball didn't really, uh, didn't really move too much. I'm going to this. Well, you know, ideally. Uh, ideally, yeah, he didn't. He could have gone into that a little bit harder, I reckon. Just to clear it out a little bit more. He's still got two. Now he's got no choice but to go up the table, really. Well, you'd really want to get rid of those three at the top first. And uh, now he's faced with a problem that um, I think they're all still on. So he's still not too bad. But, I mean, he could... It's probably better that he, he just even sits this out of the pocket. Yeah, too. exactly. Um, just get this over the pocket it, and then use it to get down to the bottom of the table and yeah. he should be right. But he certainly made it a little bit more difficult for himself. Spotted it. That's okay. He can still run down and just push the uh, left hand one just off the cushion a tad. As long as he can hit this red ball straight in the face, yeah. um, he's okay. Just needs a bit of good touch here, which he usually does which have. Which he so. has good touch, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not too bad. It's okay, I think. He can just roll through on this one, put the red in the middle. Here's a happy days. He might even screw here. Um, I don't know if he's got too much angle to try and hold by running through. He might even screw back. 
between the middle pocket and the red, and then he's got. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, how much angle does he have on that? It's hard to say. Yep, he's screwed it back. Yeah. One of another foot and a half. Yeah, it's better to be um, above than below. But he's got that yellow there. He can he can just sort of run straight into the yellow and, and maybe hopefully the yellow hold onto, onto the, the red. Side. So just like that. There's a right. Yeah. So who about an hour and a half ago would have picked 16 wow. all when it was 15-8? No not that it's 16 all yet. I, I better not uh, put the knocker on him. I'm calling 16 all now, Sue. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Sonny's, Sonny's uh, been back in town for the last few frames, that's for this sure. This is quite incredible. Hello, Sam. <laughs> wow, huge match. This is quite amazing. Basically, it's come down to the best of two frames. Uh, Sonny just went into a dollar forty. Effectively, best of three. Sorry. Sorry. I was just getting a little bit excited then. First two, two. First two, two. You know, we haven't actually seen a lot of Matt in the last few frames. Is um, Sonny's had most of the table time. Matt's maybe had a chance to uh, contain him a little bit, but um, well, I think the shots just haven't gone his way. Yeah. pretty quickly. It's been all sunny, hasn't it? Uh, eight of the last nine frames. Wow. New That's South Wales is buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are. Is that better? Is that better? Is he attacking better? Yeah. He had that lull in the, in the you know, when he went to 15-8 down. He, had, he was just way too defensive, and now he's just playing the pool that he usually plays, especially in WA, and, and getting results, so... I reckon I picked it when that... Oh, when that yellow ball rattled off the break, I reckon that was a turning point for me. And that is another turning point there. Jeez. Funny things can happen. And now Sonny's at the table at 16 all. Not easy, but he's going to try and develop this ball first shot. And if it, if it works out nicely, he's not going to develop it. I was wrong. Yeah, he's not really done anything there, as far as I can see. He's he got probably a could have done a bit more that <laughs> He's got a that. different plan for that um, yellow. <laughs> but, hmm. I don't think he wanted to land there. No. I mean, you know, you can put the ball wherever you want behind the ball. <laughs> yeah, he's developing it now. And hoping, please land on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a huge shot. Have we had that yellow over the top hole? Yeah, that's just a huge shot from Sonny. See, he was, he, had, not, he, a, he was not doing that he had at the, a plan at the, from the first beginning. half of the match. No. He, he was uh, not doing that. No, he's feeling it now. He's, uh, he's buzzing. The confidence that he's got right now is is sunny. That's that's the way he plays. That's that's the way he plays at Nationals. And um, and that's how he looks at Nationals. You know, he's pretty yeah. intense. He's fired up. He's got a bit of tempo. Yeah, he's definitely on a bit of a roll, isn't he? Take him just a little bit more time with this shot. He knows it's important. Have to get this cannon right. It's all right. He probably would have wanted less of an angle on that shot. Well, for anyone that tuned out at 15.8, let's just switch it back uh, on. Um, welcome back. Well, we've got 238. 237 people watching online at the moment. 
Oh my gosh. And this. Sonny's just taking. Could you believe it? To take the lead. <laughs> Who would ever have thought? Amazing. Sonny's on the hill. Well done, Sonny. Well done, Sonny. Who would have thought? That's a perfect example of never say die. Wow. Yes, I tell you what, if Matt gets another break, he won't want to be going in off like, like that. And well, I yes, don't his next Matt, break would be at 17 all. I don't think Matt would have thought that he was going to go out either. I mean, Sonny's just big time backed himself and just put his foot down and like he was putting out a cigarette that it was like I think crushing, he's realised too, so I think, oh rushing. gee, if I, if I just attack here, I'm, I'm actually going all right and if I don't try not to be so defensive um I can actually win some frames and he's put the pressure just back on Matt's shoulders yeah and um I think Matt also I think Matt also thought that even though he was that far up he hasn't ever looked like he's been that comfortable I know he's been potting beautifully I think he started looking comfortable but then he but then he just played a couple of loose ones and Sonny took advantage that was a difference Sonny started taking advantage yeah and uh And when he did that, it just got a little bit harder for Matt, and Sonny just kept rolling. Yeah. And um, he hasn't really put a foot a foot wrong in the last seven or eight frames. No. And Matt's tried to have a go, tried to have a go in a couple of frames. You know, he's gone to break the pack out or do something with it. He's gone in off once, hasn't quite worked and that out. cost him the frame. And the other one he just missed. So, and Sonny's taking advantage of that too. So. And that's the difference. bit of work to do here though. I yeah. think, you know, I Nothing. think Matt's going to get back to the table. But, who knows? Yeah, the I think so. Who would have thought uh, that this would happen anyway? Not, not even Sonny in, in this mood would be going out from here, I don't think. But, yeah. um, well, he'll just be trying to just play the right shots. And now Matt finds himself in a position where he just can't make a mistake. Total contrast to um, a little while ago. You know what? It'd be really nice to see Matt win this one just to take it down to the last. Seventeen all would be pretty good, it wouldn't it? Good, wouldn't it? But no matter what, Sue, this is going to be a match that people talk about for a very long time. Um, Nice Especially pot. with that scoreline, a lot of people would have written Sonny off, um, understandably, but he shows a lot of fight. No, you can never write Sonny off. You can never write Sonny off. No. He's a one-frame player. So actually, some people read him off from the beginning, wrote him off from the beginning, and, you know, as a lot of us said, you, you can't do that. The two contrasting styles, I, I there's actually... never been a money match of this sort of um, size um, before. It's a different atmosphere. Um, I actually thought from the start, I thought Matty would win. Only because Sonny hasn't been playing as much as Matty. Matty's been playing in all these snooker tournaments and winning them and billiards and pool. Mm. So, you know, he's had some huge matches and, and I just thought that he, uh, yeah, was more match fit, like you said. Oh, I agree, yeah. And yep. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much the reason why I gave it to Matty. I actually um, went and saw Matty a couple of weeks ago in, in uh, at his work, and uh, he was fired up two weeks ago, you know, or even more so earlier than that. I mean, I hadn't seen Sonny much because he hadn't been playing a lot, but um, it's Sonny, Sonny, you know, he's been to 20, how many nationals? 28 nationals. 28 nationals, you know, and... I agree with you, though. I, I thought that, that, if anything, that would be his downfall. Um, but he's shown a lot of spirit, a lot of fight, a lot of experience. Well, that's a good shot for Matty. And, um, you know, this could very well go to 17-all. You know 
I kind of think that's better that he put it over, like that it actually sat over the pocket for, for Matt, mm. I mean, you know, because it means that he doesn't have to do anything right now. Mm. Maybe Matt needs to bring Sonny back into his own game and see if he can beat him at that like he was doing earlier. He was doing very well with that, wasn't he? He's mm. uh, pretty switched on. Doesn't need to do anything special here. I mean, this, this yellow in the middle of the table, near really the red, is a little bit tied up. He could just he could just knock the red onto the rail, uh, put the put the red up to the top. Maybe that's what he's looking rail. at now, try and take it off the red up to the top corner and move that red over to the rail. Just You know, you can just get that yellow out in the open. He's Sonny will have a couple of problem reds. Um, and that would still be in the best spot. That's, that's a good shot. shot. Yeah. So, so he's uh, put one of his other reds in a, in a difficult spot. Um, Sonny's got the bottom right-hand corner covered, but there's really... There's not too much value in it, although it is blocking the black. Uh, yeah, black's pretty much in the middle of the table, but, though, too, isn't it? But the it? black goes in, what, one, two, three other pockets? Maybe four? It's a bit of pressure here for Sunny. Mm. And it, he knows he has to do something pretty smart. <laughs> because, yeah, there's a few balls. Well, they're all on, aren't they? Who's going to double this back into here or not? Oh. oh, that's a very good shot. That, that is a very a good, good shot. shot. And even though they're all there, it, it, Matt knows, okay, I have to go. I have to go out from here. Uh, he's got two shots. He has to waste one. Uh, but he has to get underneath this black and to, to finish off the frame. So his position still has to be good. And, and Sonny's just said to him, okay, if you're good have enough, a go. Yep. have Put a go. Put the pressure on, jeez. Probably a perfect time to do it too. 17-16 yeah. down. Um, or well, 17, it's Matt's up, game to yeah. win or lose here, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty much all on him. And in this it's scenario, it's, it's not that easy, really. Ah, uh, uh, settle down, crowd. <laughs> it's worked out all right for him, but I'm pretty sure that's not where he wanted to be all right. No, it's worked out well. I just thought he would have clipped off it, made sure that he, he could pot yeah. the yellow, but yeah. he went for the double. We wanted to try and keep his two shots, and it's worked out okay. He has missed that double by quite some bit, though, hasn't he? And if he did have two shots from now, he'd be looking pretty good, but he's only got one, and he's still got to find a hole for the black. He just doesn't and want to be low up. on it. Yeah, he's ended up on the wrong side of it. He's low on the yellow. You might have to uh, go up and down the table. Yeah, you just needed, just needed about another ball to to his right. Even if it had been straight, he still could have worked worked it out. But I mean, I mean, he's on the choice. Right side. He's have to go around the angles or, or punch it in and try and come off a top rail, but I don't think he's got any other choice. He has to it's he has to go. He's playing the other one. Oh he can cut this in, can he? Okay. Oh be careful. There's a lot of obstacles around him. Underneath. That's a lovely shot. It's a beautiful shot. And that looks like a pretty good angle. To just roll straight through and put it back in that middle pocket. Is well, that what you're looking I can't, at? I can't be certain. I don't know how straight it is, but if he's got a little bit of angle, maybe a half ball angle, it's perfect. Just follow right through. It does look pretty pretty good, that angle, from here. And That's folks, lovely. That's lovely. That's we, fine. We could be going all the way to Hill Hill. What a massive shot. One of the biggest shots, one of the biggest eight ball shots he's ever played in his life, Matt. 
He's got to get this one though. It is a huge, <laughs> <laughs> huge shot. I'm glad he's playing it. And you know what? <laughs> he's got to put a bit of bottom on this too. Yeah, well. He's going to be getting up at. He's getting up. He's jacking up. I love these shots. Listen to the crowd if this goes in. He's got it. <laughs> 17, 17, 17 all, this is huge, this is huge, Goodness me. and you know like good sportsmen, you know, they know it's down to one frame, <laughs> and now it's a footy match Sue, this is pretty huge, <laughs> And this is why it was difficult for so many people to predict the outcome. Look what's happened, 17 all. Hill, hill. Well, that was a great effort from Matt in that last frame, considering he, he missed that first shot from a double. I mean, that was a tough shot he anyway. He held that together very but nicely. I think he end. knew where he wanted his white to be to get onto those other two yellows. and. He sat it beautifully. That shot, that cut into the middle pocket, the second last yellow into the middle pocket to come around and get absolutely perfect on the yellow into the other middle pocket was just awesome. Well, and here well we done. go. Here we go. Well, it is Matt's Very professional. Break. He held it together very nicely. And, and I uh, did say... No, we're not. If, okay. Matt gets, yeah, if Matt gets another break, which he has... He will not wa be wanting to go in off on the break here. Dear me. And you really will want to pot one. So it's a $25,000 frame, Sue. It is. That's what it, it comes is down to. Best of one, $25,000. It's huge. Matt Bolton to break. Wow. So we have 259 viewers now on Keyball TV. Oh, they tuned in at the right yep, time, didn't they? they have definitely. Well, uh, I'm hoping that word's got around. And uh, ring your buddies and tell them what's happening. Get and on YouTube. And come down to the last frame. Keyball TV All on YouTube, over Australia. guys. Watch this space. <laughs> One frame for $25,000. Ronnie, I'm gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> the, the crowd gave the big oh, ooh shoot. and <laughs> oh my goodness. Still not easy. Still not easy. Uh, Matt, Matt probably looked wow. at a couple of those difficult balls and sort of had a sigh of relief. But uh, oh look, I, I would hate it to come down just to a break. You know you? what? Wouldn't you hate it just to come down to an in off of, off the break? It's not easy from here, Sue. Well, you know, he can use this ball right now to get these balls out of there. Yeah, black's still Develop difficult. Develop those balls. Yeah, he's got work to do, Give it a bit of an something. angle. He's got work to do. Give it a bit. He's but done he looks that very pretty well, cool. eh? Hey? He looks very cool, Sonny. He just still looks pretty... Oh, yeah. He's pretty focused. Very composed. Who knows what's going on in his belly, though. Mine would be churning about now. Surely that heart's pumping a bit quicker. But he's at the table. I think the only thing he's probably really worried about right now is the black. I mean, you know, that's the toughest ball on the table, but on the table right now for Sonny, I'd say. I mean, you know. He, he, well, he does have a couple of balls there. Got he's got some potential to, to develop that, that black, as you say. Um, maybe the one underneath it. Maybe one. Close at the bottom right. Yeah. Just needs to get uh, get a good angle on it somehow. I reckon he's going to try and kill his red up the top rail. No. He's hit that nice. Good shot. Just no matter how long he's going to leave this one, uh, how long is he going to leave it to try and develop that black? He needs the angle as soon as he can. hardest of shots. Probably really didn't want to let Matt back to the table just now because he can use this red in the middle. 
Definitely didn't want to let him back and on the table, Sue. Well, <laughs> <laughs> shut up, <Ron>. Definitely. <laughs> it just gives him a chance to, to get rid of his dead balls, you know? Yeah, well, nothing easy, though. It's, um, I'd love to see a huge out from here. <laughs> well, if Matt Potts out from here, he deserves to win the match because yeah, under that definitely. pressure, and all the, these balls aren't easy. Um, no, they're not easy. I'm just going to sit back um, and watch to see how it all unfolds, I think. Um, there we go. Oh, he's missed a pot. Oh, dear. This is, this is an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. If he can just drop on drop on the bottom yellow to develop it. Oh. <laughs> can he get an angle if he's trying to develop the black that is? He might have got it here, Ron. He might have got just enough angle. It looks like he's got a good angle yeah. to screw into the red. If he had gone just a little bit further, it would have been nice. But he can probably just screw into the red. If, he, if he's a bit straight, he could screw into the red and knock the black out. Um, he if he's got, got more angle, he can come off the rail. So. You want to... From oh, there, looks like he's got a bit of angle. Decent angle. You can always cheat the pocket a little bit too. Grab a little bit more. Oh. Hey, played it nicely. That is a fantastic shot. My goodness. Wow, hasn't even got into the red. Really, he's taken that black out beautifully. He couldn't have hit that any better. Well done, Sonny. Wow. Wow. Three more shots for an 18-7 victory for $25,000. Oh. oh, look, Sonny's used to pressure and he's done this amazingly well. And what we've seen here is nothing short of unbelievable, Sue. I know. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. From 15 8 down to win 18 17 against That's huge. a world class That Kyrus. is huge. What a huge match. Sonny Lister, you are a legend. Absolute wow. legend. I think that a few more people have joined Sonny Mr. Side over there. <laughs> well, that was huge. The Sunny Chance going. We've got 270 people online and uh, never ever write off a champion. He's giving his wife a massive hug. Brownie. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a match. That is amazing. And uh, Vicky, um, Paul Hawthorne's wife, he just won $10,000, so congratulations. I, I, I just lost 80 bucks, so I'm not sure how uh, Matt feels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got some stories out here. Well, Paul Hawthorne actually told his wife that he only put 1000 on it, but... Um, yeah, he actually won $10,000 then, so he's pretty happy about it. So Vicky, he's going to take you out to voice. a nice hotel, a nice meal, and he's yeah. going to buy you a nice new dress uh, and nice. anything else that you want too. So thank you everyone for watching, and we hope you enjoyed that. I'm sure you all did, because that was an absolutely that was a incredible, huge match, wasn't yeah, it? And it's I enjoyed <laughs> it. Yeah. You couldn't script that any better. 15 8 down. Uh, to thank win 1817 over Matt Bolton was amazing. And um, thank you everyone for watching and tuning in all over Australia. I'm sure you enjoyed the match. We certainly did. The atmosphere was brilliant. Um, like I said, there's a few more people that have joined Sunny's side at the but moment. Look, <laughs> they just shifted across the room somehow. But I'm sure Matt's going to be disappointed. Yeah, and um, Congratulations to both of them though. Matt, yeah. he's done awesome. Um, He's shown that he's a force to be reckoned oh, with in the eight ball uh, definitely. world. Definitely. Um, no. And he's only going to get better, too. So good on him for putting up his money and, and taking on Sonny, the legend. Even though Sonny, uh, Matt was probably a hot favourite for a yeah, lot of the people. Yeah, I, I, um, I agree with you. You know, Sonny yeah, is a legend in the pool world. And absolutely fantastic, <laughs> I think Brownie's just about lost his voice as well. <laughs> yeah.
Congratulations, Sonny Lister. What an amazing comeback. From being 15-8 down to come back and win our 18-17. Huge match. Well done, guys. Well done to Q-Ball TV. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, thanks, Ronnie. Well done. And thank you, uh, Dan. Excellent job. And um, Until next time, I guess. Yeah, we'll wait for the next big match. All right. See you all later. See ya.
weekend summer in Jesus. Thank you all very much to all my supporters. That's everyone won today.